All right, so. This is not a uh, mixing board sound stream because I'm going to have Shane Jackson commentating with me. Oh, it sounds good. Um, I'm taking Clay Davis. We're playing eight ball and nine ball sets. We don't know which one yet. It's not up No, Chris is here. We're getting ready to start. You there? You there? Check. Hold on, man. Don't start yet. Let's get all this money together. If you like Dunbar, uh, let me know. Got audio. I'm trying to get Shane Jackson in here. It's billiard nut. Yeah. Well, yeah, but Mike, you gotta... I'm here. Okay, yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I had a. I was outside picking up Girl Scout cookies. But, yeah, eating them. Yeah. Well, I I had to get a a guy drop the box off of them. <laughs> All right, we're about to start. I'm just going to get this money right. Um, All right, it's not it's, live up on YouTube yet, right? It is. Okay, I'm it's on It's in 4K, net. actually. I'm on BilliardNet. I don't see it yet. Refresh it. Okay. I mean, it should be. All right. 
So uh, if you like, if you like Dunbar, there's some available. Check this out. I can zoom right here. I'm gonna count up mine real quick. Okay. Yeah, you're not showing up live on YouTube. Visit channel. There it is. Message me if you like uh, Dunbar. They're playing two sets. This will be a race to, uh, it's not 25, I'm sorry, it's 21. It's 21, Rice, right? Yeah, it's normally 25, but this is a race to 21 and 9 ball, and then they'll play a race to 21 and 8 ball. And we're betting per set. So if you, you want to bet like 100 a set or something. What uh, do you want to do, Mike? Oh, we're doing, oh, you're talking to them. Yeah, we got something. Me and you got something already. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, okay. I probably got a little bit more available. Either that or Clay will probably take some more action himself. But um, is it is the start where this is it? I believe so. It's two thousand in the middle. Head? You sound good. All right, I don't have I my mean, headphones you, in. You should be coming through the stream. Let me check. Oh yeah, you sound good. So it is uh, 2000 uh per set in the middle right now, including mine. All uh, right, so it's Mike actually, is, It's Mike actually is, more than that, but uh, it's like 24. Okay. With you and Mike, me. Mike is live. Uh, they can hear me? Yeah. You guys can hear Shane Action Jackson, right? Devin, I'll take it if you want cash up. No waiting five years to pay me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Friday night. I mean, uh, we just came up with this game earlier. Dunbar messaged me and said I might have a game. And and here we are. So this was like making this is a little... like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is a little bit of a haul for Clay, right? He's from the Parkersburg area. Well, he's not from that far. He's from Coshocton. He's from down by where Brackets was, like oh, over okay. by maybe 40 minutes from like where Brackets was. Okay. He's the uh, he's the shoe dealer. 
he's a teacher that I know of. Yeah, he uh, he deals in shoe he's dealer. A, he's a sneakerhead. Oh, I got you. There's a lot of those type of people. Yeah. We got Shane Action Jackson guest commentating, guys. So, you know, the game will be called uh, much better than it would be called if it's just me calling it. So, especially 8-ball, uh, or especially 9-ball. On 8-ball, I, I like 8-ball I like commentating more. Anybody want some more action, send me a message. What do you want, Devin? I'm taking Clay. I mean, I don't... He's he's currently in a cast, so I don't even know if that's a great. Idea. He's in a cast. Yeah. So. I mean, what part of his body's in a cast? His wrist. <laughs> See. Oh my goodness! It's his. It's his. Uh, it's his backhand. Uh, yeah. Apparently, he's a baseball coach, and he injured it, like you know, catching a ball or something. Yeah, Dunbar wow. likes that. He's like perfect. I was like, uh, I figured you would like that. <laughs> I figured you would like that. What are they saying? Pool hall junkie? No Ozies? No Ozies. For real right. this time, no Ozies. Yeah. All right, Devin. Uh, good this luck. This is a tight little shot, and and it's like a tester right out of the gate. You know, really get a feel for uh, how you're hitting them. You can set the tone with this shot alone, but he didn't didn't execute. <laughs> That's okay, but he might have enough to just enough to cut it in. Sometimes it's weird like that. The only part of the ball you can hit is the best part of the ball. Man, I got to think playing with uh is it broken or sprained? Do we know what the injury is? I imagine it was broke because I don't think you're really put into a hard cast unless it's sprain, if it's sprained yeah. it's just like a wrap or something, you know. Wow. Well, another six ball opportunity for Dunbar. It's out in the open. All you got to do is just punch it to the side rail. Not too hard to actually dream of getting outs like this. But the cheetah, he's, uh, he must be thirsty, you know, he's, he played that one set, and now he's ready to rock and roll. Oh, wow. As he does this to himself. Uh, I mean, the chili popper will get over this. You're only jumping a sliver, but it's just hard to get it up that fast and land it down. To be, without ac almost... to be accurate. Yeah, sometimes you'll like land on top of the seven. And it'll do goofy stuff. Like you'll catch it fat and then it just it hits it hits the ball kind of wonky. I don't know if you've ever been over here or played I've never, on this I've table. Never... It's a little funny. It's uh Andy Cloth. The cue ball rolls pretty extensively. The pockets play a little bit tighter. Um, well, it seems like somebody talked to everybody in Youngstown to switch to Andy Cloth. Yeah, they've they've had it here as much as I've... Oh, they have it over there now, too? Yeah, Icebreakers was Andy. Yeah, they had it underneath the, the rails just like that. Okay. I've been over there since they redid, redid everything. I mean, if you're Dunbar, you can't say you didn't have an opportunity the first game because you had two, maybe three. 
Don't let him get his cast moved up. <sighs> Man. It's... Yeah, I remember seeing a picture not that long ago of him in a cast, and I was thinking, oh, shit. I was like, I'm betting on this match. Does he still have his cast? He's like, yeah. I was oh, like, well, my. He's, he's like, it don't really bother me that much. I was like, well, how much does it bother you? I don't know. I don't let, let, know. Me, let me mute myself real quick. I got to take this call. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Clay takes... Uh... The first game, uh, we're here at Loose Racks in Youngstown. Uh, everyone is going to be at Dumpster Jim's Nine Ball Tournament at Icebreakers. Uh, they're probably watching over there right now, so shout out to our friends over there. And uh, I'm also missing the uh, Pin Brew Festival in Girard. I wanted to go play pinball all day, actually, but if I really wanted to go that bad, I would have left in the morning. Happy to get out of the house, get some blood flowing here. Uh, Clay has been on the stream with me a couple times. Uh, we have not done a feature match unless you count the match we did with Mackie. I think I streamed it. It was like a race to 10, 8 ball. Mackie gave him like three games about a year ago on a really uh, challenging valley. Yeah, there is a missing person alert for Mackie. Basically, his, I, I just gave him a new phone, and apparently the phone uh, stopped working, or he don't know how to turn it on, or it died charging, or who knows. He just said it don't work, and I told him to go to the store to get it. Go to go see Spectrum, because I got it through Spectrum Mobile. And then, uh, I don't know if he did anything of, about that or not. I wanted to take him to the tournament tomorrow in Meadville. There's like 80 players signed up. Seems like a fun time, and uh, we got to get up early if that's the case. So if anybody out there sees Mackie, tell him to call me. <laughs> I thought I streamed that one. Spectrum is a cable company that also now provides cell phone service. It's like Roadrunner. It's like Comcast. Spectrum. You guys don't have Spectrum, apparently, but it's a major company. So, yeah, hit that share button. Let's get some action here. We got one of Ohio's up and coming players, uh, Kashockton, Ohio. Kashockton Clay. I see dogs of five ball. A little unexpected there, but the tables, like I said, they do play challenging. I mean, everyone in Kashockton will be watching this. I would say I need to share this down at the West Virginia and uh No, we did that little match at, at that other place with all the gambling machines in it. I'm pretty sure we streamed it. Or maybe I didn't. I uh, I mean, who knows. The billiard net page is, is gone right now. I had a all Half right, I'm back. Conversation with Facebook, so hopefully I might get the page back. I don't want to put anything on him here, but I think I came back just in time to see my guy get a W. He missed the seven. Or he missed the six ball action. Okay. <laughs> I got to think that having a cast on and going through the ball kind of is hard. Like, it, it prevents your... You know, like the when you're cradling the cue, how well you squeeze it. You know, I was thinking, I was like, dude, you know what? You can't even move your wrist side to side. It might help you keep your wrist straight. That's true. Like the bowlers who wear those things. Yeah. Huh. All right, we're tied at one. Did you uh, end up getting a hold of John Mackey? I have not. I have not yet. I just put the back call out. If you see him, tell him to call me because I want to take him to the tournament to, tomorrow morning. If, he, if he's gone another day, then we got to put his face on a milk carton. Yeah, Devin's like, uh, Mackie got a new steak horse. He's going to play somebody in Wheeling. I'm like, I don't think so. 
Who would he be playing? Booker? Uh, Martino? He, he said he said he's going to go go play combo. He's got a new steak course. I'm like, who the fuck's going to do that? He's just messing with me. I do want to. I wanted to take him to the tournament, but like Meadville is probably two and a half, three hours from us. So that means I got to get up, and the tournament's at ten. So I got to get up at like six. So I got to network with John, and if if you see him anywhere, if anybody sees him, I don't know where he would go on a Friday. Uh, you still have a car? Yeah. He might go to Fiddlesticks and hang out. We almost did this at Fiddlesticks. That would have been a nightmare because there's just too many people there socially on Fridays. Uh, all right. So really don't know what to tell you to do here other than maybe bank the one, two rails behind the two five. Like if you can bank this into the side cushion and above the other side cushion on the left, you can get it up there and lay it near the one nine, kind of put it behind the wall of balls, the two, five, three, four. You gotta be careful you can actually accidentally make the ball. That's okay. It's like there's no real you know, like at least you would have put the one up in a clustered area, is what I was, you know, trying to trying to do there. Because a good player is going to make this ball and get positioned somehow, whether he comes to the end rail or the short rail and back up. You can still see the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. It'd be great if I could, if you could widen that up. I try, I try to zoom, but it doesn't stay. Um, hold on. You're all right. I have my TV on too. It's 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 behind, but I, I can see it. But I don't really know what he's going to do here. This is that's a game over. I mean, how do you beat a guy you, you, with a cast on? Do you really feel like you've done something, or do you feel like, you know, the guys the guys uh, at a disadvantage at a handicap? Smart shot by Clay, and but he overhit it. Now, if Dunbar can just make two balls, he's got a dead wired combo on the floor. Nine. I mean, it's basically a freebie. He's just got to punch it in and punch to the middle, to the left middle. Our left middle be like one pocket after this three in, a, in the top right and the four nine. I got my screens all settled. They went crazy for a minute. All right. You think we're playing call nine? Everything right? Nine don't work. Nine doesn't count in a break. Uh, I'm not. I didn't get the details. That was on three you. fouls. I'm talking to the guy next to me. Actually. Okay. Well, Dunbar better check his pants after that one. In another pocket. It's an incoming player's option. <clears throat> Mike, I can't see my screen on your on the, the shared screen we have. Well, you can't. No, I see okay. your uh, I see your white box that and yet all the User TV mic one drive pictures that stuff. All right, let me see some good shot from Clay cutting that ball in. I'm probably a couple seconds behind until Mike gets his uh screen right. So I'm using my TV, yeah, you'll be but you'll up. be behind you. Yeah.
really Dunbar, he, he boo-booed that one. He had a fairly easy shot to get on the to the four nine. He misses the three. Is that better? I see nothing, Mike. You don't see anything? Or, or I'll show you what I see. I'm gonna send you a picture on Messenger. All right, looks like it's coming through. Oh, that's the lower part of the okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can share you actually the the top half. I mean it should be. You see that? Um yeah, but it's uh it's not moving. Oh, okay. Well, that's, yeah. That's the camera. Just bring me back to uh, the original video. When I, whenever I complained about, about, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Is that better? That's, that's better. Yeah. Show me that. Better. I got it zoomed in, so this is really good. Um, okay. All right. This is real time. He's on the yeah, wall like in a side. Okay, great. Oh yeah, that's good. You're good. Yeah, it's real good. And I, and again, I'm not even using uh, headphones. I'm just using the microphone from the uh, from the iPad. So this is tricky because if you make the you can't jack up and elevate the draw down for the two. The only thing maybe you can hope for is, is if you fram it, you can catch a double kiss off the seven to get back toward the middle. But that's like, you know, real low percentage. The cross bank is sketchy because you're still going to the wrong side of the two ball. There's another shot here. He can shoot a stop shot and three rail the one. There's that double kiss I was talking about. Oh. That was the shot to catch the double kiss and play to the middle. It was it was kind of low percentage because if you catch it the wrong way, it just kisses you down table. He actually shot it like dead perfect and caught the scratch. Uh, I would not I would not even put that in my mindset. So that's kind of a cold roll. But what a what a shot that was to play to play the kiss. Man, if only every rack could look like this. Everything wanted out in the open. Got a little straight. Should be okay. It's got an option. Punch it straight across or draw it straight back. This is where the bar table gets weird. You have to pick one of the two one of the two shots. There you go. It's like the bar table is easy, but if you play it real generic, sometimes you can get the wrong angle, and it's just real it, – it complicates things. Like here, he's super straight. Uh, hold on. I could have – I mean, you stick with him. I'm just going to jump off here for a minute. Okay. Somebody's trying to talk okay. me about a bet. Okay, so he's super straight again. He's just got to draw to like the middle of the table, but it, it's weird when you're super straight like this because he can accidentally draw this and hug it up the left side and actually be on the wrong side of the ball to cut it in. It, it all depends on how, how full he hits this eight ball. Perfect. Nice shot. I mean, every time you wear a pair of new shoes, you feel like a million bucks 
and this guy got a room full of brand new shoes. It's uh, his side hustle. If uh, anybody's into, uh, if anybody's sneaker into sneakers or sneakerhead, uh, message Clay. He's always got uh, some of the hype sneakers that can get you whatever. All right, this is what I like to think of as the uh, early or beginning match. This is when the mistakes, I don't want to say aren't important because there's so much more to go, but there's time to recover. When you start making a lot of boo-boos out of the gate, that's when the guy can start feeling well and and get the momentum and start start rolling. Let's see if he gets a good center ball pop here. Real good cue ball. Caught a nasty kiss. I don't think he can hit enough one to make it happen. Oh, he's dry. Broke dry. Tricky, but I would try to lay the one ball. I'd bank the one ball over toward the two six past the side pocket. It's imperative to get it past the two, past the side pocket, or you leave the guy dead out. So that's, that's, that would be the shot that I shoot. Float the cue ball to the top left. There you go. Get it past the side pocket. Pretty solid. All right, Dunbar, I I would draw the one ball, or draw, draw the cue ball behind the six and bank the one ball up table. You can play it wide and put it up on the left side of the five, our left side of the five, and play the one nine to the pro side. Good shot. Okay. Would have been nice to get that one a little closer to the nine to steal a free game. This isn't a, a real hard two railer. If you just do the train tracks or the parallel lines, and that's what he's looking at here. It's kind of right in the track for a, for a two rail scratch. And so he'll be coming to this ball pretty full, could get lucky and make it. Crazy. So the 4-9 looks to be off, like off angle. I don't know if he can make the 4-9. I don't know if he took a look at it. If the 4 is closer to the rail and the 9 ball is off the rail, Sometimes that makes it more difficult, depending on how much space the floor is off the rail. But he must be okay with it. Got to make sure he gets a good spot here on the three to get around. Just like the Beach Boys. Round, 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 I get around. Okay, so he's straight. I don't like this place. Watch the seven. Yucky. Seven's in the way. Can he play the carom? I think he catches. The, I mean, I'm looking at. It's still pretty good, high quality, but I'm watching this through Zoom, guys. So it's a, it's a little bit more blurry. I have my TV up running. I, I think he catches the nine too fat. I don't think it's there. Oh. And to be honest, Clay can just shoot the 4-9 and just make a quick. There we go. 
There we go, young soldier. Shoot the shoot your way out. Show them you don't need to take the the quick blood. Not gonna lie, I probably shoot the four nine there, not. It's pretty simple. He seemed a little let down on himself there. He's got the wrong angle, so you, I think here you got to go forward, short rail, long rail, so bottom rail, then our left rail, and then get the cue ball right where it's at. It's not that bad of a shot. It's a little bit of force follow with top and right, and that should get you right back into play. Or you can try to draw into it, catch the eight, and put yourself right back there, but I like running two rails with this ball. One, two, One, two, and in the hole. Um, now he's probably scratching his head and thinking, "Man, maybe I, maybe I should have played the uh, the four nine combination." Well, that's Dunbar missing with ball in hand, folks. That's what happens when I bet my money. Um, absolutely disgusting, really. Come on, Bella. You want to come root on Justin Dunbar? Bella's had enough. Oh, that was just that was just gross. I mean, ball in hand on a bar table. Gross. And that's kind of what I'm talking about, about setting the tone. So now Clay's thinking in his mind, this dude can't get out with ball in hand. So what a confidence booster that is. You're over here trying to get out. You made a, you made a mistake. You went two rails. You scratched your ball. You're upset. You're down on your luck. You're, you're in the chair talking to yourself. Then your opponent gets ball in hand and doesn't make the ball. All of a sudden, all that negative energy has been just converted into positive energy, and you go, wow, things are on my side. And you got to ride that way for as long as you can. Josh Warnbeck, it's me, Shane Jackson. Uh, sitting on the couch, I just got home from uh, getting injections in my back today. I had Six needles in the back was not a pleasant experience, uh, but, you know, I can't get out there and play today, so I figured I'd wager a little something and, and watch some good pool. Uh, so far, what I've seen is not good. Dunbar with a tricky spot. I think you just got to roll out here. I don't see why you would do this. Why not just take the rollout? Why not push from there? Because where the 2-9 was sitting, if you left Clay a shot on the 1, you would have gave up the 2-9. So he got real lucky leaving this kind of wonky. But I'm actually doing remote commentary from the couch. Uh, Mike, uh, you know, Mike is – a computer genius basically uh but he he rigged it up so that we can do a zoom call and i can be uh commentary remote so it's it's pretty cool i've actually did this with him quite a few times while i was in chicago i did it a few times and stuff so uh it, it helps out if he doesn't have somebody in the booth and it gives me something to do when I'm not feeling well or, or, you know, just stuck at home. Tom Geyser said, make us some omelets. They see my Snapchats. I, I cook a lot on Snapchat. All right. Dunbar playing the safe. Look at that ball control. You can tell he's played there before. Loose racks must be uh, secondary home court. But when you're a cheetah, you travel far distances. 
when you're a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. they got the they got the stream on it at the bar. That's uh, cool. And like people are coming out and they're like, "Who the hell is commentating? Are you commentating outside?" I was like, no, that's my man on the couch in West Virginia. They're like, man, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, for sure. We tried to get it on. They couldn't get it on the TV when you were at uh, King Seat Billiards. Um, they tried. They couldn't get it on the TVs in the front so that the people in the sports bar side. They normally could watch. can. Yeah, that would have been ideal because it, YouTube. Was, uh, it was a little bit difficult to get back there to to watch even for me i wanted to watch and um ended up working you know teaching that one younger fella some shots and some drills and stuff and i had a good time yeah i saw you working on the rack with him and stuff yeah who was that kid um he just added me on facebook i wanted to say his name was clay but i don't think that's right um I just I, I was outside maybe. talking to somebody about ma- making another bet, and uh, I seen I seen there was what, three balls on the table, and it missed in the pocket. Dunbar, and then you're like, Dunbar. "Oh my god, this is what happens when I bet." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dunbar has ball in hand. Uh, the seven balls right at where the word Andy is, and the eight balls kind of out toward the center, and all he has to do is just roll it in. And come out to the center to play the eight anywhere. He has all six pockets he could shoot the eight in. And he misses with ball in hand. You know, there's there's something that I told somebody recently that's played on your stream. And and I, I don't want to call him out, but I said, listen, you guys are betting real money and you're playing serious pool. You got to treat it like, you know, like a job, like it's serious. This is real money we're talking about, you know? Review the re, when you play bad, and I do this, and I've I've watched whenever you recorded me or or Chili's recorded my matches. It's really important to rewatch the tape, and I tell people that it's like any other sport. Probably football is a good example where they spend a day and they watch tape and they watch, you know, this is how the play goes. This is where you should be, whatever. And in pool. You've watched enough great players play to know what's good fundamentals, what's a good pattern, and sometimes during the heat of the moment, you don't, you don't catch it. You don't see it. You don't see it. So whenever you watch yourself and have this uh, kind of strange outer body experience, you see yourself in a different light, and you go, "Wow, that was the wrong ball," or "I jumped up," or "I poked at it," or whatever. So you get a different perspective and and I really think it's important to watch it once, twice, five times until you go, wow, I I need to really reevaluate myself. So, you know, what you do, Mike is great for, you know, all the fans of pool and the guys wanting to bet and stuff, but it's a really great tool if used correctly for yourself and, and, and the growth of your own game. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've I've been around people reviewing their footage and then they're like, what did I do there? I mean, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just don't see it in, in the time that it happens, you know, uh, for whatever reason, emotions, um, you know, outside interference, uh, you know, maybe your body hurts and, you know, you're in a Steel City Bill situation where, it's hard to stay down with your arthritis and stuff. So you're popping up, but to be able to acknowledge and recognize those issues um, is important. But yeah, you're giving them the tools. They just got to exercise it. Let's see if you can roll in between this six and the eight without scratching two rails going to the top. I actually play this. If you can one, two, three rails, if you can spin it, that's okay. There you go. What's well, up, the, Derek the Reynolds? Cheetah better quit chasing his tail here. Start hunting because this is bad. It's a 5-2. <laughs> I like that. Start hunting. Start running. 
Yeah. Yeah, Cage Burkhart was the young man's name over at uh, King Seat Billiards. A left-handed uh, straight shooter. He's 20 years old, and he seemed to be really uh, intrigued by the, the lesson and the – Oh, what, you know, the what was his name? Uh, Cage Burkhart. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was he Cage, really C A G E. K. He's gonna he K A G. -E. Oh, K. -A well, regardless, that's pretty. That's interesting. That's a new. That's a new school name. Yeah. All right, because Shockton Clay is up uh, five two. I mean, you you miss yep. like you miss like that or cause that's gonna give your opponent confidence. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, right now, uh, Clay's got, you know a blue or you know the the plus sign and of confidence and and Dunbar's kind of in the negative of of good good energy good he's just made too many boo boos already uh Derek Reynolds is having issues with commentary he said what no commentary so maybe I've seen that maybe... I'm pretty sure he hears you now but before, maybe you didn't. Okay, great. So don't really know what to do here. It's kind of tricky to, to, to roll out or push anywhere because the 2-9 could be a carom. It could be a bank to the other hole. It's kind of hard to tell. Where do you push? Definitely don't push the 7 on top of it. I might bank the 6 over to the corner just to prevent the nine from having uh, an access hole. It's pretty cool. I didn't even tell nobody we were on YouTube. There's like 25 people watching on YouTube. It's in blazing 4K. It's yeah, guys, I'm high def 4K. So he tried to kick at it and foul. So that's that's an unforced error there. That's Dunbar got to make sure he makes this. This looks kind of funny and off angle. You can catch I mean, this I, ball two square and put it right up on the point. I think it definitely shoot it because of force tied up. Yeah, I think Clay made a, a pretty uh, bad choice there. I mean, I know the four and the eight were tied up, so it wasn't like he was going to get out. But, you know, now you risk giving Dunbar ball in hand. Why not just lay the six up like you were going to bank it? And, yeah, he just laid it up by the point. Mm. He tried to force push through it. I see what he tried to do, put top on it. Yeah, I'm watching it on 4K uh, YouTube on my living room TV, and I have to say you can see the uh, reflection of the light on the balls. It's the edges of the balls are crispy. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. So he's going to go right into the 4-8 here. This is a big shot. This is the key to the rack. You make this ball, you run right into the 4-8, pushes the the 4 down table toward the hole, but it's kind of weird. It's an off, you know, back cut to the blind hole. Not the pocket you're looking at. Yeah. So it's weird. A lot of players miss that shot, and it's because you're. it's not – the ball's not your – or the. Um, let me rephrase that. Players miss that shot because the pocket that they're shooting into is not in your vision. It's not even, it's almost not even in your peripheral vision. Oh man, you're heavy, huh? Was that that little dog you had when I stayed over on your couch? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm talking about your, uh, your action here. I see your page. <laughs> All right, whatever happened here, uh, I missed it too. Dunbar must have got the W. 
Oh, there we go. The back cut on the the combo. It's like you That's like good. this game. Dumb Dumbar don't really. He's not a huge fan of nine ball. Yeah, and he doesn't play it bad. He came to Pittsburgh once and uh, played some big table, and he played it pretty well. I mean, if he played it more often, he'd be a heck of a player. Okay. Ball went in a weird spot here. I don't I don't think he can hit enough of the eight or enough of the one. He's pushing to a jump shot. He wants to jump this seven. It's a big distance jump with not a lot of reward. If you jump and make it, the cue ball is headed toward our bottom right corner pocket. If he hits it bad, then it's really going to the far right because you have a tendency to come across the ball. Oh, goodness gracious. Ooh, other way, huh? You take out that hot spot in the middle, Mike. Yeah, I was just trying to like work with the color a little bit. It's a little, oh, I mean, Clay. the lighting is good in here. It's it's uh, LEDs. Yeah, so Clay almost scratches on that ball. Almost got lucky, but Dunbar ended up being the beneficiary here with the uh, dead wired 1-6. It's just making sure that you hit it enough to leave the cue uh -oh. ball uh -oh. in the middle. He's going to get to jump another one. He's losing his ball a little bit today. I don't know if he's not comfortable or, or what. I mean, after that after that ball in hand miss earlier, you got to ask yourself, what am I Sorry? doing wrong? He's at home. Clay is asking about you, Mike Cease. Well, I mean, honestly, Dunbar says he's only, I mean, this is like his home area, but he doesn't play here per se very often. He's like, I've only played here about five times. That was a good shot. Yeah, I, th I think Dunbar has, Dunbar has three, if you can see the. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because he made that. Unless you just want to wait until he runs out here, and you could just put up a four. I don't want to. I don't want to see you do too much extra work. He probably got goofy here. Straight a bit. in a little or bit. Going the wrong, going the wrong way, and that's where, if you're a player, you got to take an extra second and say, you know what, anything to the left of the. Oh goodness. Uh oh, uh -oh. I mean this this table will keep her only. It's they they clean this table pretty good before matches, Mike. Uh, you, you don't got to stick up for the guy. He's got to be four feet anywhere down table. Yeah, no, but I'm saying that ball does keep rolling here because they yeah. wash. The, they they give us fresh balls and clean the cloth when I tell them we're doing a game. Yeah, I was just giving so, you a hard time. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're supposed to win that. Yeah, he could be. I said four feet, but you know, three feet below the side pocket anywhere is good, and to play generic position is bad. The more the smaller space that you pick, the higher chance you land on that space or something that's close. But if you just say, "I got to be over there." Well, over there is like such a, you know, like I said, just a generic generalization. Term. Yeah, that, yeah. that things, bad things happen. But that, that all could have been prevented from the six ball, making sure he was a little bit better there. You, you've seen guys make a ball and they progressively keep getting worse and worse out of shape until they have to come with a hero shot. All right. Let's 
Let's count them out. Three, six, nine. They're all there. Do you count them in threes, Mike? Yeah. I count them in threes, and then in one pocket, I count them by five. There's a one pocket tournament at the rack. That's a big trucks thing. Yeah. Some some pretty good names are up there. I think Tony Showhand's up there. Billy Thorpe, Evan Lunda, mm -hmm. Sergio Rivas. Dunbar's just a, a mistake or two behind in this set. I think he got a fresh cut. Must have got that with the Bill Romy win. <laughs> Let's celebrate, get a fresh cut. Yeah. Cheetah got a buzz. Buzz cut for springtime. All right, make sure you're not straight. You know, I think it, I think if uh Justin gets a little frustrated with himself, he kind of bears down pretty good. You know, he doesn't totally implode like some people. He looks very confident right now, focused, staring at the table. He took was he he was wearing a hat, right? So he took that off. He usually does wear a hat. Yeah, so maybe he's like, "All right, I gotta do something different and, uh, you know, take care of business." That was much better. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I, you know, Clay's made a reasonable amount of mistakes as well, scratching in some spots that, or giving up a cue ball they shouldn't shouldn't have. Are you going to the expo, Mike? No, I'm not. Okay. I mean, I would if I did find something to do. Right. You're going, right? Yeah. After to work seeing, with Chile and stuff. Yeah, after seeing all the action the other night at King Seat, it uh, really gave me the itch. You know, we had a three thousand dollar, six thousand dollar set on one table, three a man. Then you know, Chili's playing a thousand dollar set, two thousand in the middle. Dougie Fresh playing, uh, you know, thousand dollar five hundred. Yeah, that was a lot yeah. actually. Yeah, and then you know, even Chase is playing fifty hundred dollar sets, and I'm just like, oh yeah, this is what this is what I need in my life. This is what this is what you know starts the fire. I'm sure Reyes Gomez will oblige. No, oh, I tell you. I don't know if I want to mess with him. Not right now. Not so. I don't have a whole lot of expectations for for performance. I know how to. Th that was the best year I ever had last year, and and it was from playing conservative pool, and not shooting crazy shots, making the guy shoot the jump shot, Would making you get the fifth, guy six or something. Third, fourth. I was down to the final two tables. I lost oh, to the okay. kid who won. But you know when a, when a guy's kicking at the ball and selling out or jumping at the ball and selling out, that you know those games I was winning instead of being that guy, I was on the receiving end of the you know of their of their miss and just really took advantage of that and just you know made sure I I didn't have to get out every rack with ball in hand I would tie them up and make them feel the heat of a race to five. Is he still like what is it seven? Is it what's the Fargo cutoff? Because I've seen a bunch of post people bitching already about it. Oh, uh, I I really don't know what the Fargo cutoff is. They let Chris Mitchell play. Um, I don't know if they let Houston Rodriguez play in the amateur. Um, yeah. Um, and you know Chris is Fargo seven something. Oh, yeah, he's like seven twenty something. Yeah, you know, and then you got, um. Uh, I don't know if Rob Kroll's playing. But then, you know, you have Ryan McCreesh, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm a 684 on Fargo paper for whatever that's worth. Yeah. Maybe I am a maybe I am a 684, maybe I'm more I think I'm like a 7 710 or something. Like I don't think I'm too far out of line. I just don't participate in those kind of events. You know, where you get a rating like you know, play a lot of money matches if anything. All right, look at that. Got go. a good little roll. Another weird angle here. Yeah, but I'm not sure what their what their requirements and what their cutoffs are. Um, and I, and I don't want to say that there's any favoritism or anything, you know. But there's some good players. Like I beat Chris Bruner last year. He was last year's defending champion, and I'm pretty sure his Fargo is higher than mine. Yeah, that Derek Reynolds said they won't let Nathan Wallace play. I mean, even a Mitchell play, you're gonna let just about anyone play. I would think that's, you know, not to, uh, you know, not to, not to, I'm on Mitchell's side. You know, we're we're friends, but I think he plays the bar table sometimes as good as it can be played. You know, and Dunbar Dunbar's popping a lot of shots in with this with this chili popper. Uh, shameless plug there. Yeah. I don't think he's had it that long, actually. Yeah. I think we have around uh, 50 or 60 chili poppers for the for the expo. My prediction is that um, they'll be gone Saturday. A nice little combo. Oh, hold on here. Might might have a woofing dog. Not mute myself. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I just seen something online that was like, I mean, the guy's not even. He's like a 55-year-old dude that's like a 670 or something, and he put his entry money in. And then they told him he couldn't play, and he can't get his entry money back. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. Let alone, like, I don't think he's anyone that anyone would know about. Unless it's maybe another division or something, but... Uh, we've already pretty much made our bets, but I mean, I'm probably good, man. I, uh, we put, put enough on this, I think already, but especially with a dude that's, uh, got a cast on his, uh, on his wrist. But yeah, the horse is ahead. I mean, most people say okay, but I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'm back. I got some uh, neighbor kids, young kids outside playing. My dog's going nuts through the window. So I missed the combo that Clay made. I saw it, but I didn't get the comment on it. I think he might be getting a jumper out. All right, Mama Cheetah said, is that Shane? Yes, it is. I would like to do Tyler's tournament, but I can't get a hold of Mackie. Um, but, I mean, I don't want to just go out by myself.
he's got a uh, predator jump cue. Ooh, hit it in the Ooh. face. Yeah, the old He's going to get a double. good leave about it. Uh, of course he will. All right, time up. Yeah, I see that. Play off the left side, get the cue ball over by the three. Yeah, it's important here. Take control. And he hit it wow. weak. Yeah, he did. He can. I think he can openly see this ball. I mean, any other time this table rolls so fast, then he hits it quarter speed or something. You know. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I do believe this table, you're right, it, is, it does look like it's playing tighter than, uh, you know, the uh, neighboring place and their equipment with the blue yeah. cloth. Okay, so same similar shot, same result. His his speed control is just not there right now. And he's throwing his hands up. These are all, you know, I, and I know this is amateur pool, but when you watch the elite players play, it's like poker faces the whole time. And they do that not to, not to pump up their opponent. Let's see what you're saying. Like don't I mean, you, don't show yeah. anything. Like if you get bad or you're like you get frustrated, don't show it. Because I if I know I got you, oh, it's on. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna hammer you with safeties. If I know you're uh you know, a couple straws from breaking the camel's back back, then I'm I'm laying it on you. And you don't you don't wanna give that guy that upper hand and that mental edge. You know, talk to yourself. Go to the bathroom. I've had plenty of pep talks in the bathroom. Dip your head in the sink and look at yourself and say, hey, you can do this. And don't get, don't, you know, don't be your own worst enemy in this situation. You know, but throwing your hands up and, and expressing yourself like that out loud is just, it's bad business. See, look, Clay played a two terrible shots left Dunbar, the one ball. He didn't make a face. I don't think he left them enough to make it, right? You can just see like two thirds of the ball or something. Let's see if we get some hands up in the air here. Now we got the old dreaded, let's lay on the table lean. But it's just a bad it's just a bad habit. And you know, and some players don't realize that they're wearing their their heart on their sleeve. But the ones that can read it or see it, you know, I'm I'm always staring down my opponent. I'm trying to find any kink in the armor and just see where they're not comfortable. Do they kick bad? Then I'm gonna keep playing them safe. If I play a guy like John Mackey who, who can't jump, I'm leaving him jump shots all day. I'll just roll out to a jump shot. Yeah, he tried to jump the other day. It was, it was a little humorous. I mean. He he has the stroke and the ability to do it. He can do it. I've seen him do it before. He, we just don't practice it. He, Don yeah. really doesn't even practice, period. He just plays so much. You know what I mean? So. It's not like me and him just like, hey, John, you know, let's go practice on something. I mean, I know a yeah. couple of shots that I know we should practice because I know what his weak shots are, you know, but like we don't go do that.
All right, so not only does he foul here, he opens the balls wide open. Five's in a little bit of a tricky place, but he should be able to play one top left, three top right, four top left, five down the rail to our bottom left. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So, so not the best place to be kind of elevated here because this is the big key shot getting on the five good enough to get on the six. So you really don't want to like be here. You don't want to be elevated on a key positional ball. And what he's looking at is trying to hold this ball. Oh goodness. Yeah, I mean if, it, if it's putting this is inside. It I mean it looks it's like steep. it's off the rail like an inch, but I mean it's hard to tell on it's both close. even even though you got ultra high def 3D, I'm sitting in the pool room yeah. camera. It's still hard to see. The rail kind of blends with the cloth. I almost wish that we played with contrast colors for cushions and uh, and tape and bed table. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Just for that contrast of of you know, can you see what is Ooh. what? Like a, a definitive line. Well, that's a big mistake. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm but... better capitalize on that. Well, he has he hasn't capitalized yet on the opportunities that Clay's given him. I mean, the guy almost lined up the five seven. <laughs> okay. You either shoot it in the corner on the bottom left, or you shoot it in the side, and stun it. Okay, so it looks like he's straight, which is kind of weird. Straight here. on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, straight that's... on. Okay, punched it well. Got to get above it. Okay, he's not. He's on the wrong he can, side of it. He can put some left and hold it there, but yeah, it was real close to being on the wrong side again. And that's just there's sometimes when you're playing the bar table, it just seems like you're always just a hair on the wrong side, and it makes it a little difficult. Or harder than it should be, we'll say. Commercial break. All right, guys. We're in a busy pool room. We've got some great improvements in the industry here. You can now get an entire month for a free trial of Let's Get Streaming TV service. You heard me. It's a fantastic deal. You can't turn down. We'll help you configure it, and you will have an entire month. Hit up TV Mike, and we'll get back to you and get you going. The best apps, the best tech support, the best service you can get in this industry. I promise you, you won't regret it. Get our deluxe package for $44.97 a month. Cut the cord, cut the box, go mobile, and let's get streaming. Hit me up. Thank you. All right, we're back. Had to promote the streaming service. There you go. That was a dry break. Okay, so if Dunbar is in his right mind and he's been paying attention, he has realized that Clay has missed two for sure, three probably kick shots, that Clay has not kicked well at all this set. So from there, I'm punishing him. Mm-hmm. You know, he showed me enough that he can't hit a two-railer. He can't hit a one-railer. I think he missed the two-railer and once and then two one-railers for a total of three missed kick shots. I know we're not uh, AccuStats with, the, with, the, with all the – or Matchroom with all the stats, but, um, you know, just, just 
thinking back, I, you know, that's big. If you see a guy can't do something, you keep giving him those opportunities. Oh my, Zing Pow from Dunbar pulling out the popper. But if you don't make it and draw back, you you lose the game on the five nine. If he thinks he's gonna okay, he thinks he's gonna kick it. Oh no. All right, so if I was a betting man, which I am, I would bet that Clay kicks this ball in because it's a six inch ball. Oh, well, I don't even think he can see the edge of this. Maybe just a hair of it. He's totally hooked. Yeah. Well, he's not going to kick the five and touch it. Not one rail. He might be able to go two rails around the eight. I think that's the shot is, is two rails around the eight uh, or even three rails around the eight. Uh, you don't need to do all that. You can just go two rails around the eight and then hit the Andy. And that's a three rail kick. You can go that way. It's not a lot. of You don't got to do a whole lot. One, two at the Andy three missed it. So that was, that was the shot. Let's see if Dunbar can, this shot's a little trickier than you think sometimes. Got to catch the, the nine just thin enough. All right. Got ourselves a ball game. 7-6, race to 21. Here so are loose racks. I'd say there's a little bit of a momentum shift again after a few failed uh, – Attempts at kicking, leaving the ball in the hole and getting stuck there. You know, those things kind of work on your mind a little. So, you know, Dunbar got a little gas in his tank. Gonna frame at the nine. Hey, nicely oh, done. That was pretty. Maybe he's feeling it now, Mike. Maybe he found himself. Well, the thing with the race to twenty one is you can have a couple different swings in momentum. Oh yeah. This isn't – I think you got to shoot the Bruce Lee, the jump kick, jump the four. <laughs> the yeah. Bruce Lee, he just gave up basically. <laughs> so, yeah, I might I might hurt him here because I don't like the three. So I think I would play some kind of uh, defensive play on the two. He's not. Well, I, I mean, I guess if you get pretty good on the three. Yeah, actually. I mean, I guess if you get if you get right there, <laughs> who cares? Same shot, stick them on underneath the nine, or put the four underneath the nine, cue ball underneath the six. I hope he doesn't think about cutting this ball. Cue ball will be traveling down table if he cuts this ball. He could shoot the bank, but I think this is a red label. Probably goes a little short. He hit it long. BRB. All right. Thanks for tuning in with us, guys.
So he's on the wrong side here. I kind of looked away for a minute to check my phone. Pretty steep cut, probably runs into the nine. There's also an overlooked safety shot here where you bank the five and roll the cue ball under the nine. It's a really easy shot. It doesn't sell out. He got lucky here. Dunbar can see the ball, but he doesn't have an intended hole for the five. I don't know if he's just going to cross back over. That's not good. So I would have liked crossing over the other way, cross the, hit the five to the bottom rail, and put the five up table by the Andy logo. That was a big game. That was a big game. I would have really thought about banking that five the other way. Big game to, to tie it up or just stay trailing, which is – it works on the mind when you're just continuing to trail all night. Well, see what he can do here. I think you got to shoot the bank in the side. I don't like this. You scratch in the corner if you try to cut it. Yeah, there you go. Bank to the side. It's makeable. This is makeable. Big shot for Dunbar. Trail by two. Tie it all up with the break. Watch the side pocket when you cut this ball. If you put any right on this ball or even like a little bit of top and right, you can catch the side pocket and scratch. So just be careful. If you put too much inside, you might come back down and scratch right where you're at. Big shot, a lot of focus. Let's do more than two stroke it. And he two stroked it. Oh, goodness gracious. What a roll. What a roll. But I, I notice a lot like – when I watched the Dunbar Romy match, whenever they had a difficult shot, they like to just kind of get down and fire at the ball kind of quick. And, you know, a big shot like that requires a lot more focus and a lot more energy. Like, watch this. He's going to hit it. Okay, so he didn't like it. So he gets back up. He was one, two. I don't like the shot. I'm going to get up. And that takes a lot of self control. Get up. Get down on the ball. I don't like it. I'm going to look at it again. Let me look at it from a different way. Give yourself opportunities to get comfortable and situated in this shot. Wow. Absolutely terrible. All right. I also don't like running to the table. I don't like getting the heart rate up for no reason, but. You got the game handed to you on a silver platter here. Really take advantage of this situation. If you don't like it, self-control, get back up. All right. It's all tied up, 7-7. Seven, seven. We're officially one-third of the way there. I'd like to call this the beginning half of the match, or the beginning third. We're now entering the middle. And then we'll be playing the end game. So let's uh, let's see how these guys do in the thick of it.
I've seen it. All right. Yeah, I don't really know what they were doing there. I mean, they they were both shooting the ball kind of quick and just kind of two stroking it. I mean, he's lucky he didn't scratch really Dunbar, but. We're watching out icebreakers. What's up, everyone? How many players at Dumpster Gym get tonight? All right, a little steeper than he'd like to be to get position on this five. He had the right idea with getting an angle to get back down table, but he kind of let it go. There was a lot of places he could be. He probably overrolled that ball two and a half feet, three feet. To the, I mean, going into the rail and then back out. I mean, that's that's a lot <laughs> when you think of it. When, when you're controlling the ball within a couple inches and then all of a sudden – you uh, you lose your ball by about two and a half, three feet. It's a lot. Wow, I think he got there barely. Wow, I think you're right. A little little stun over, and or even float to the rail like floating it. There it is. A little straight, so he's got to punch out. Eight seven. Mm. Where's some of the cues I got now, guys? Uh, a few of these cues are sold, but the ma majority of them are available. All those are available. Half of those are available. Those are the Mike Cease blanks. Those are all available. Uh, some of those are sold. That Honduran Rosewood with the blue. That one's almost even sold. I've got a guy that's like, well, I really want that cue. I'm like, dude, you, you got to buy cues when you want them. You just got to get them. Otherwise, other people end up getting them. You know that. And then, then you never see them again. I know, especially the one of ones. You can't. I mean, it's different if like I got an HB1 or an HB2. Uh, I mean, I can just get another one, but something like that, you can't get another one. I expect that cue to be the next one to go. A little short. I think he's getting a little more settled on this table, though. I mean, he plays it the league room a lot and that one that stream table is like a pretty tough pocket table but I think that this originally is a red label even though it's got a it's got a blue top on it but it, it just it's plays tighter I don't know what the deal is you might know more about that than I do but That was a pretty clean run. Pretty good pace as well. Just a little bit 
close on the ball. I like he's taking a little more time here. Like Shane said, you know, you got to focus more. Yeah, I mean, it's just not 100% ideal, but it's not a real difficult shot. So just give it the attention it deserves. And He and, stayed you know. down real nice. He stayed down real good on that shot. Nine seven race to twenty one, and then we're going to play a race to twenty one and eight ball, which I'm sure Dunbar is looking forward to, win or lose. But when I flipped a coin and decide, you know, who is going to call the game, he's like, "If I win the flip, we're playing nine ball first. Yeah. That's what Clay said. No matter what. Hey, Davis. Nothing down there. Representing the league room. Big shout out to Chris Wilson. He supplied all those tables for the Moose's. Uh, yeah, it's just because he's, he's, doing an, he's doing an event or something. And then they got a Scotch Triples, I think. Yeah. Tomorrow, Hooker was trying to get Mackey to play. And originally, uh, he was like, why don't you, Mackey, and uh, Jerry Ensley play? I was like, I mean, if he'll let me play, I would. I mean, because it's Fargo rated, and I'm like a 470 or something. I mean, I, if I play a little bit, you know, it's Scotch triples. I mean, I gotta, I don't got to get shape on, you know. I'm only be shooting one-third of the balls. Scotch Wait. triples, that sounds like torture. Yeah, they like that over there. I wonder if Clay's playing in it. I don't know. All right, are we are we popping here? I think so. We swapped or no? Or yeah, he is. He swapped cues out. It's a hard shot for me to reach, being uh, vertically challenged. Right. But <clears throat> as a as a guy like Dunbar, I don't know. I guess average build or whatever. I mean, it's. It's easier easier to reach out in the middle of the table, but even even he got to show us a little leg there and climb up on top. Oh lord, Mama Ch Mama Cheetah's been feeding him pretty good, apparently. Well, you know he's he's you know doing uh, better financially with work and you yeah, know, sitting around on the phone. Well, you know, he's probably eating shrimp and and you know steak and lobster. <laughs> That's uh, well, it's heavy. He missed it. A little bit of the Kitty action. Weird spot for the four. Wow. You playing in Scotch triples? No. <clears throat> it's going to be uh, rolling up. Man, I thought it would stop like second diamond. I mean, it, it actually left him a shot in the side pocket. What's good? Bam, bam. Speaking of bam, bam, does Travis Stamper still play? No. Nobody's seen him in a long time, man. That heck kid could player. play. Yeah, heck of a player. Yeah, not too many people had to like it. Playing him just about anything, really. I mean, I know the bar table the most, but he played the big table really well, too. 
I don't know if this is good or I don't know if this is good or what. Uh, so this shot is a low left and a slight elevation. There you go. And you kind of pinch it there. That's about, well, he overhit it a little, but that's about as good as you can hit it with that angle. It's kind of like you kind of mass a into that seven to get you to, to uh, produce an angle, manufacture an angle. I think they call it. Yeah, I did hear about that. I didn't know if I was allowed to spread that gossip. Uh, Russian Kenny played Mikey uh, McLean. Mm-hmm. I heard. A, a race to uh, 15 and not, of eight ball for 9,000. And he won on the hill, Russian Kenny. While every other day he calls me up, find me some game, man. I can't find nobody to play. I'm like, what the fuck? You just played this dude. This <laughs> fucking big set. Yeah, nobody else is playing like that around here. Come on, dog. That will not go. Yikes. And that's a, I mean, he hit it pretty good. I mean, I just watched the replay on my thing. He hit it the right way, which is to overcut it. And, you know, you overcut it, it sometimes bounces back and leaves the guy a difficult shot. It's actually harder. People struggle hitting the ball that thin. So, you know, kudos to him for playing it the right way. But. 9 8. Hey, Bells. Shh. I got like the young kids. They're probably elementary kids in my front yard yelling, throwing a ball around, and my dog's just going insane. So these are mistakes you can't do. You can't Bad win break. a game. Have the momentum and then give it right back with a ball in hand scratch. You just can't. Clay's watching on his phone. He's looking at the comments. Obviously, it wasn't a good spread. I'll BRB, Mike. Okay. Let's see if he... I mean, I don't think he's got enough room to make the two and then get right into the three. So he's probably got to spin into the nine and bump it. Bump it. Get a leave. I mean, that's that's pretty favorable from where he was. Key ball is going to go flying now. There's actually a bunch on the side on this. I just didn't really add it in because I don't want to do math, but there's uh, 2,000. Wow, that's that shows you how tight the pocket is right there. Yeah, they pinched up in there. Oh, don't worry. Don't even look at that. You're playing a game. Don't look at that. Yeah, it's not bad. They're nice people. They led us to a bunch of games. They got pool leagues in here. They got two nine footers in here. We did a couple games on the nine footer before. Buffalo played uh fuck, what's the guy's name? From Maryland. I forget his name. Twice. Yeah, don't even look at that now. Uh, he actually he he does play. He don't play very often, but he just played and won his tournament not that long ago. But he he don't play that much. 
but uh, I don't really know him to, to gamble too much. But just, uh, I mean, I would suggest players don't look at the phone and look at the chat room while you're playing. Because if I wasn't here, you wouldn't be doing that. You know what I mean? So just play your game and appreciate the players for obviously for letting us broadcast the game. Obviously, you know, I enjoy watching, I enjoy betting on it. And enjoy having you, all you guys watch because otherwise I, I get bored at home. There's all these big state tournaments going on, and I'm not doing them. It's depressing, actually, but as such is life, I guess. I should have went to the pinball tournament. LOL. You could have uh, streamed a pinball event? Well, there's actually uh, a three or four day pinball event up here, like probably 10 minutes from here. In Gerard, it's called Pin Pinbrew Fest. It's a combination of pinball and uh, craft breweries. Okay. And they had a pinball term. I was going to play in it. Not that I would do that good, but I've been playing pinball a lot lately. It's fun. How about yet another kick shot by Clay that he doesn't hit? Yeah, I mean, it's about four of them, right? Yeah, M minimum, yeah. You know, not that I'm keeping keeping track or anything. Yeah, it looks like maybe he would, like you were saying, go back in and watch this and be like, oh, okay, well, I need to work on my kicks some more. Yeah. Big games, man. Really big games. All right, nice and easy. I seem to miss this exact shot with ball and hand earlier, so it's, uh, I'm, not saying it. I'm not saying anything. That guy's back again. He's like, how much is this cue with a black shaft? How much is this? The guy that wants that cue, he's messaging again. I mean. This is the world of cue. It, it doesn't change. You know what I mean? Like, Does that count? Unless you, no, it does not count. Oh, how's that ball spell? Well, it looks like Dunbar got to the window here. It's nice he went to that rail and gave the cue ball some time. Now you just gotta I almost roll this ball, play the five down unless he can put top see that's why if you were trying to thread the needle and come in between those balls and get back to center, that can happen. So it's almost like you know, just kind of take what the table gives you sometimes. Don't try to force it. It's a bar table. You have the ability to make anything. Nothing is hard. At least that's how I feel as a big table player. That when I look at the bar table, I go, none of this is as hard as what I'm used to. The cheetah coming up weak again. Big shot from Clay coming up.
Great shot. Is he going to get behind the seven here? You know what you need to have queued up? You know that you know that song by Foreigner, Cold as Ice? Yeah, I'll get banned for life if I play that. I like that song. But I mean yeah. you can't you can't play me. You can't play music in the stream, especially on YouTube. Man. You might have to buy the rights to that. Because that shot was cold. All right, Dunbar. Not a hard shot. I like to put top and a little bit to the right here, come on the – and hit the cushion. Putting the left on this ball makes it incredibly hard, and then that's what happens. Not only do you miss, you get crappy position. You, If you put the right on there, you kind of throw it to, toward the hole. I feel like if Dunbar – and have a little bit better of an attitude, quit throwing his hands up in the air and get one game ahead, he would have this. You, you know, he's, he's been playing from behind the whole time, and you have a different mindset when you're ahead. And nothing against Clay. I think Clay's, you know, he's doing all the right stuff. Wrong side of the ball. Good recovery. Semi steep here. Fairly simple, straight across, back and forth. Good shot. He's been played. I'm telling. He's playing with his phone way too much. I mean, I know he won there, but he's just on his fucking phone too much. I mean, Billy Thorpe is notorious with that too. You know, like he'll be in a match and just be on his phone and. Yeah. I mean, that's a dis that's very distracting, really. I mean, like I said, like. You know, this isn't exactly uh, a secret, but the more you actually look at the table, the more your eyes adjust to the balls and the lighting. Absolutely. And and when you stare at the phone, it's a different kind of focus. And then whenever you return to the table, the balls are blurry. It's more difficult. If you can, put your phone away, check it periodically. I mean, in the rare chance of... Uh, you know, family emergency or something. Yeah, you know, you might only be a minute or two different. I mean, I, I was I was playing in some just local tournament, and I was playing all right, but then all of a sudden, like my eyes just I just started seeing everything more crisp, and I was like, "What?" I mean, this is just I didn't do anything to do it, but it was it was actually very noticeable. I mean, it was too late because a guy was like running out, and I had already lost like on the A side or whatever, but I, I told Mike, I was like, I'm starting to see the balls really good. Like if I keep playing, you know, it it would have, it would have been a better performance, but I mean, race to one, you don't. Oh man. I mean, yeah. Are we popping here? Are we popping up over the six? And do we have a full pocket at the one? No. So we're about halfway there now in this set. Really got to start. I, mean, yeah. I think both of them could play bad. So is there a two-way shot here? You can play the one, nine, and the eight, or at least the eight, or at least the one, nine, whatever is available. I might even jump this ball. I believe he's just calling the 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 one nine. 
Okay. I didn't know if he could see enough of it. Well, I think, well, I don't know if he was or calling the nine or. And he wants to shoot it in the easy pocket, which is the bottom right, because it has the chance to slip slide in there. But, you, you know, you got to get comfortable shooting this two ball on our bottom left. Um, it looks a little weird, but it's the only way to get the best position. You know, everyone wants to shoot it in the hole that that's that, that shaped like a, a vacuum, you know. But the more familiar you get with this shot, which is like a, like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a forward punchy roll type stroke. It's like a below center, but you shoot up through it. It's not going in. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a roller. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta give it a little love. You can't roll it. You got to stroke it with confidence and not just, you know what it's like when you hear that crispy, you know, sound and that pure feedback, that's what you got to shoot that ball with. Even if you don't know you're going to make it, even if it's a difficult shot, you got to believe in yourself. You know, you got to hit it like you think it's going to, do what you you know your your brain tells it's you know th this shot's going to end up like this well then your arm better swing it like that you hit this one crisp yeah it's a zinger Is this one of them like slightly below center? <laughs> but he's like half yeah. jacked up though. It's like kind of funny. He is half jacked up. Yeah. I think he could probably get to the spot on the ball that he needs to kind of punch this toward the spot. Yeah. He looks good. All right, this is uh that that two game trail. Dunbar's gotta get himself together. At this rate, Clay's gonna win this set twenty one nineteen. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a Here's some teal cute videos, guys. dyed jump maple burl like with obviously a epoxy and resin Granted, they're $2,000, but they're one of ones, and you ain't never going to see them again once they're gone. I mean, you're not going to see anything like this. It's got a nice wrap on it. Up into a full... Eight on the side. Does he have a shot on the one? Not much. He's got a bank shot on a one. The table's not really opening up too well down there. Or at least it didn't for him here. So I could have hit that better, but obviously still a lot of work to do. Or Loose Rex in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, this is table four. This is where uh, Magnolia massacred Mackey. This is where uh, Dumpster Jim beat Mackey on the hill uh, a couple times, actually. Uh, we also played uh, Danny Martino on this table. Uh, Mackey did. Well, Mike, if you come to the Super Billiards Expo, I'll give you 
uh, $40 to stream every match. So every, every match of mine that you record and stream, you get 40 bucks. I win the whole tournament. I don't know how many rounds that is. You might make uh, four or 500 bucks. The only way you could do something like that is on a phone. Because you never know where you're going to be. Yeah. I mean, Zach's going to be doing, like, the pro thing. I've been trying to do the amateur thing for ages. Do my yeah, own amateur you, stream, but... If you did, if you brought a camera, <clears throat> like... I mean, I, we just did... We did it off a tripod last year, and... um yeah, I had pretty good quality. I'm gonna do do it myself this year. But if you decide to go, I'll pay you to stream each one of my matches. That's kind of you, but yeah, I don't I don't see that happening. Well, I mean, it, if you ended up coming, that would be yeah uh, something to make some money. I don't know. Well, looks fairly simple here. Especially, sure especially with a bump, broken but... hand, it's super simple. Oh, well. <laughs> I think there's something to it. I think you might be right. I think... Uh... Come on, Bell. It's okay. Lay down. I mean, his wrists don't move, so... Yeah. I mean, I remember I skated with a cast, and that was a disaster. I had a worse accident than when I fell and broke my wrist on the mini on the half pipe, quarter pipe, or whatever it was. It was a it was a mini. It was like a four foot half pipe. I've been thinking about skating again, to be honest with you. It's like one of them midlife crisis things. How many How many years young are you? I'm fifty one now. Probably haven't skated in 20 years, 25 Thing is, years. Man, when you hit the pavement, it don't feel oh, the God. same <laughs> when you're young, you know? Right. No, I, I get it. I mean, everything I've is. I've crashed on that Segway, and it's just like, oh, my goodness. It's not the same. John? You made a rubber. Uh, I think we're on a uh, we're on a little break here, so I'll get back into the Q video real quick. It won't be long. Dunbar's just getting a Mountain Dew or something. Those little dashes of color. I just like sitting around taking pictures and videos of cues. This one right here, check this figuring out in this wood. That is Honduran Rosewood. It says Rosewood on here, but I know it's Honduran Rosewood. It's one of the most expensive and rarest woods there is. So there's several segments with the Honduran Rosewood in it. And th these little rings here, that's olive wood. There you go. This piece is incredible. Now obviously it's a one on one and when somebody gets it, it is gone. So you better hit me up. Here we have another <clears throat> hybrid piece. Impregnated buckeye burl, bird's eye maple up here. And then you have purple heart, which is a nice addition. And then you also have bloody jasper. So there is a lot of resin in this piece, a very plum type color.
and also those little purple rings. Nice addition. Of course, as always, this is a one of one. So if you like it, you better hit me up. Thank you. Here is the other unique piece <clears throat> that was in this style. I think this was the first one that the builder uh, experimented on with this process. So we have a full section on the butt, a couple colored rings here, a textured wrap, and then we have the whole forearm casted in the resin. All right, so we're back. There's more of the hand tossing up by Dunbar. He just, uh, he don't look like the same guy. All right, you can kind of go, you can try to almost spin both of these, try to make the two and the nine. There it is. Good shot. Nothing wrong with that. Trying to go into both of them is not a bad shot. Check it out, guys. For only $24.99 a month, you get all the live TV channels and networks you can handle, basic and advanced channels, premium movie channels, all the sports leagues, even wrestling, boxing, and your UFC fights, okay? Do you got a Fire Stick, an Android box, an Apple device, another web platform? We can help you. Let's get streaming. Send me a message and check it out today. It's, it's the same, you know, it's Bob actually Bob run by the, it was the old chief of police, the right. fire chief, but he just passed away not too long ago, but it was his old game. Bob seems like a guy talking to me, you can't play it. I think it's a good run, it's just, so, so, Bob, there's a lot of guys, I don't want to say they play together, but they, they play together so much, I don't they, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, 
where if you're playing in a game, I'm just being honest with you. If you come playing that game, there's an effect on the shooter. But if I'm playing in the game, it's a little bit more checking down. Right. It's it's not as aggressive. Right, right. You know what I mean? Then they would go, they might fire at 50. Right. Fire at 300. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. So I was saying that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're ever going to break free of this two-game deficit or if Clay's ever going to stretch his legs and get past two Dunbar seems to keep it somewhat neck and neck it's a good shot from clay again with the confidence of the fresh white sneakers you can do anything Oh, that was unexpected from Clay. That wasn't that difficult of a back cut. It looks like he just kind of clipped it a little too full. Big shot from Dunbar. Pick your pick your spot on the table. Overhit it. Oh. It's not over. It's not over. He, and he's playing like it's over. He's shown a little frustration, and we're only halfway there. That was a similar shot Clay had just shot. Uh, on the five, so it was pretty good that he made that. Now he kind of lays a little weird here with the wrong way. So he's going to look to see if he can shoot this eight in the side, which it does go to small area. And then you got to kind of make sure that you run into the nine ball the correct way. You don't run into the nine ball the right way. You push the nine to right about where his chalk was just sitting uh, over near the middle diamond. So got to make sure you get to the, the right spot. You think about the spot that you want to land in, and then you also think about the place in which you're going to – okay, that's smart. Play it in the corner, not the side. There you go. Because if you were to play it in the side, then you can push the nine over the corner and get stuck. So he's going to elect for a little more difficult of a shot. Good shot, Clay. And this is the first time, I believe, since the beginning of this set that – Anyone is, is well, I Clay's led the whole time, but this is the first time in this match where Clay has really spread it out and stretched out past the two games. So uh, Clay Davis with a three game swing on top of Justin. All right, TV Mike, if you're out there, make sure you update it to 13 to 10. Clay Davis to break the balls. Let's watch those wing balls. See the two and the eight. Two in the top left, eight in the top right. Let's see where they go. Neither one went. We had the six on the side. It banked two rails, if I'm not mistaken. No, I got a little kiss from the nine. The one nine was rolling close together. If you can reach this with a bridge, you're in good shape. This is one of those, those positional drills almost where you say, just leave the cue ball in the center of the table. There's not much I can't do from the center. 
and on the bar table, big table too, but mostly the bar table, the center is kind of like your happy spot. That's where you want to go. It's where you want to be. So pop back out to center here. Don't get elevated on the seven. There you go, 1310. Mike, welcome back. Dumpster Jim says tails. Oh, I'm I'm ready. I said he's now he said he wants to play the winner or whatever. At icebreakers afterwards. I said, what? And piss off the barman? Because you know we'd be there till like six in the morning probably. He missed that one. He should have missed it. He hit the rail too early. Got away with it. Clay's Close. got all the Oh, my goodness. I mean, that four was wild. Clay's got yeah. all, the, all the momentum right now. Dunbar's, he's not comfortable. He's, he's doing all the gestures that we were talking about earlier, throwing up his hands, leaning against the table, laying on the table after the missed shot. I mean, he's... Uh, He's he's showing he's showing his cards. And and Clay knows it. Clay knows this is the first time that he's had, I don't know, since the beginning he might have had a three game lead, but he knows he's got the lead now. And he's gonna he's gonna open up a little bit. He can he can afford to play a bit more Ooh, freely without someone nipping up. at your toe. You see that? Oh, wow. That's a gift. Yeah, he did. He jumped up and kind of steered it. All right. So Dunbar doesn't do anything Dumbo-ish. Then he can uh, – I don't like that. I don't like drawing back like that. You can draw right to that hole. You, I just go forward two rails, but whatever. Just get the W. All right. Wow, just when I was saying Clay was going to open oh. up. He he uh he let up if any, if anything. Hey, with your streaming service, is it recommended to use a VPN? You can. You might need to, but okay. it just depends on your internet service provider. Okay. That's that's why I've got a partner with Nord. Some some okay. some people have have problems because certain internet providers like to block them from like seven at night till like 11 at night or something. There's like some time period where they put up extra security where you need a VPN or you just, you just can't get in. Um, oh, like, that's, and those are like peak hours when people are watching stuff TV. like that. Yeah. It seems like anytime there's like a major sporting event, they block the shit out of people and people, and people that <laughs> got streaming services, they get they get upset. I mean, yeah, because, you I'm, know, I mean, they don't want it, nobody, they don't want nobody using stuff like that, you know. So oh, they absolutely. they throw up intermittent uh, blocking mechanisms to like piss off people. But that's why <laughs> that's why I've got you know a, a VPN partner, and I do okay. all the tech support on that and everything. So. I mean, I okay. can pretty much figure anything out for anyone. I can figure out if you're getting blocked or or whatever. But how much is the uh, VPN? Uh... It's like three dollars a month. Okay, nice. So that's good to know too. I almost would throw that up there and advertise that. That uh, I probably you know, should, especially because I'm a partner now. But yeah, because people people have asked me um, about your service as well as some of the other competitors. Yeah. that do similar stuff and they say hey man should i get a vpn blah 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 and i'm i'm like i would think so but i don't know how all that stuff works i i had a i had a competitor's uh box and i wasn't i don't watch enough tv to make it worthwhile for me whether you it was had, a 200, you had, you had a vc 
I did. Yes. Did you sell it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's and, a lot of hype wrong. about those, but I don't know, you know. You, you know, nothing against the, the product or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, you can get that product other places. Sure. Um, it's the same thing. And And sometimes even that product is a later model uh than what's online and you know they're cool but i just don't i'm not a big t like for instance tonight if i wanted to watch tv what am i doing i'm watching tv mike you know and if i'm not watching you i'm watching something productive like josh filler or i'm watching a one pocket match or whatever because i'm a student of the game i love it and i want to you know I want to learn, and if I'm if I'm at home because of health issues and stuff, and I want to go play, that almost scratches the itch. He got a, he got a little roll here. Hiding yeah, I mean, ball. like like instead of spending uh, nine thousand dollars on a Godzilla premium pinball machine, I just watched guys play it last night. So that's probably <laughs> some that's probably a similar idea. Not quite there yet. That's, But yeah, I mean, you got the other thing about the boxes is with with something like what I'm doing, it's like you're actually getting the service. Yeah, and you can run it on anything you want, so it's not tied to a box, you know. But for for whatever reason, the boxes have come through the pool industry pretty prevalent for whatever reason, and you know. Dumbbells All right, at the table. He's got a little bit of gas in his tank he's, here. He's got that weird spot again. I mean, this is this is where if he stops, you know, four to six inches prior, he's got it straight in the hole. If he rolls another foot, he's got it in the side. This ball has to be shot in the bottom left corner, and it has to be Drew. I just don't know what what was that? What was it's a one pocket that? shot, apparently. It's a it's a burn your backers' money is what that is. <laughs> that was the dumbest shot that he could have shot there. Sorry, I'm I'm letting out a little frustration there, but I don't feel that the bank was the ball to shoot. I mean it's a two rail bank. Who plays that in nine ball very often? Not very well, often. Well, I think I think he tried it one, but he hit it so bad. Oh, goodness gracious. We got Kentucky watching. What's up, Dominic Perkins? Hey, man, I would love to come down there again and do some events. And obviously, you know, when I come down here with like fucking 10 guys, everyone's action. You know, he Dunbar wins that game. He's within one and he's really putting the heat. And the cheat is nipping at the at the toes of Clay Davis. And well, he shot he's it given... in confident. I was I'd be scared of that shot actually. Well, he, he was he... he was jacked up a little bit. Uh, he probably remembers the eight that he let up on the the rack prior. But that was a big game for Dunbar, and I I think he chose the wrong shot. Fourteen eleven race to twenty one. We got action here in Youngstown, Ohio at Loose Rex. Dumpster Jim says he'll even come over here and play. I mean, I don't know if they'll stay open super late over here. Probably. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm good. We'll 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 do it on Cash App. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. I use them for raffles. <laughs> yeah, they shut my Cash App down for uh too many similar reoccurring payments. Really? Mm-hmm. Like like drawings and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I was doing some uh at the time I was running some case giveaways, some pool cue case giveaways. Dude, no and, shit. Uh, That's crazy. People, yeah, so like like one spot was like seventeen dollars or something. So, you know, I had like 
I don't know, four or five seventeen dollar uh incoming payments. And you know, I'd like to think they're evenly distributed amongst all the platforms, PayPal, Venmo, Zell, you know, whatever. And uh yeah, they were like this this is suspicious activity, blah blah blah, bullshit. So I mean, is it is it uh, is it against their policy to do drawings and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck! I never had no problems. I mean, I, do pay, pay, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I, I mean, know. Well, a lot of guys. I almost wonder if okay. Here's a kick shot from Clay, real quick. Now he's just going to time up, take the intentional. Now I'm done, bar. I'm riding this ball, or. I'll tell you an even better shot is you shoot the two up into the four, seven, eight, like, like bank it to the long rail to the Andy and then lay it up two rails behind the seven. And, and what you can do is three foul a guy. If they're playing three foul, if they're not, then. Oh no, I'm definitely you could twist all that all you want. I'm on the headset. I, I like putting the cue ball He's calling on the, the other side. The side to be honest with you. No, I don't like this. I don't like that. That wasn't well thought out. Are they playing three fouls, Mike? Are we playing three fouls? No? I don't well, think so. Okay, well, either way, I'm, I'm, I'm getting control of the two ball. So one thing you can do is you can play a safe on the two and freeze them up to the ball. doesn't really matter where the two goes as much, but now when you get ball in hand on that two, now you can play a, uh, what I call like a, like an object ball position. So you can, you can play a safe and put the object ball in a general place in which you want it to be. It, I mean, you're not going to get it perfect, but you can control ball. You can control ball speed. Actually, I don't know how you've been watching, Kurt, but it, I mean, both players could play better, for sure. I would probably disagree with that general statement that you made, but I mean, he likes nine ball at least, so that works for him. I mean, Shane's been watching the whole time. He'll tell you both guys could play better. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm not really uh, familiar with with Clay's game as much as I am with Dunbar. But I mean he he clearly knows who Dunbar was and decided that he felt Well they played before. They played before, like okay. years ago. So he feels okay with it. Or played him in tournaments or whatever. Heck of a combo with the back cut. Terrible roll off the yeah. seven. Oh goodness. How gross. What a great little back cut combo onto the side. And to end it with that gross carom. So not an easy out here. Don't really know what to tell you. Um, you got to get over on the high side of the five to run into the nine. So meaning you got to be closer to the rail on visual top left. So you got to be kind of near the eight where you can run into the five or to the seven, nine. I wish I had a Sharpie pen where I could draw. Yeah, you, I mean, if you did, you just ruin your phone because it ain't going to show up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see if he gets there off the rail. He's straight. So if he would have been up and to the right a little bit and had the angle coming down into the seven nine, that's where you'd want to be. Because you break even the now, wrist. It's not his wrist. He broke part of his hand, actually. Wow. What a trooper. Who just says, you know what? Heck with it. I'll get up there and play. So is it a thousand a man each set? Yeah. See, they, they bet Dunbar and him bet 500, and I bet Dunbar 500. Okay. 
So even even and when I got some the, other stuff on the side. So it's actually more like it's more than that, but yeah, this was as far as what know, we posted. This is tricky. I'm not a big. I think you you just kind of thin the seven and, and bring the cue ball to the opposite side diamond. Is that a shot or coming off the rail? Like thinning, thinning the seven on the way out, you know, rail first, hit the seven on the way out, and the cue ball go down the table. He's calling the he's nine on the, the side. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I got to take a phone call. Hello. Hey, I'm just watching. Let me guess. It's Kurt Angle. I'm barking at you. All right, I'm back. So, uh, little Did you get uh, challenged to a game by Kurt England. No, no, I was actually, uh, Adam Maloney in the Mark Magnolia game. I've seen that. Uh, is, um, is that Pittsburgh or around there? Adam, yeah, because it's him? at that, it's at that place that Billy McCollum plays at. Oh, it's, uh, it's Rochester, PA is like north west. You might you might have to pull it up on Google. Oh, okay. Uh, it's um, <clears throat> I, I've actually never been there, but Adam is trying to steer away from playing on a red label bar table, and I don't blame him. Um, so his concern is that this place is a uh, Loose racks is is a red label, which I think it is. For, or is that a blue label top? It's a blue label what? top, but it just it does. I see it where it is. Like it, it's it, not that far off the turnpike, actually. From here, it's fifty minutes. That ain't bad. Yeah, it's kind of in a weird location. But yeah, the, Adam just wants to play on a blue label, so. And the Rochester tournament's booked for two days, but it's probably only going to be a one day. But I guess they're going to run a chip tournament on Sunday, so that uh, counts them out of playing their match there at Rochester. So what is a? Uh, is that place a hotel <laughs> that's got a bunch of diamond tables? Is that what it is? I, I think the. Uh, oh, you said you've never been there. Yeah, from my That's understanding, weird. I guess that maybe if somebody can in the chat can correct me uh, or enlighten me, is it's a hotel and then the the tables are in the bar section, like it's like a you know sports bar or some kind of restaurant or something. I'm not a hundred percent sure. We'll see what the you know the best way to ever learn something in life is to put up the wrong information on the internet and everyone will correct you. You got a little fortunate there, actually. Has anyone ever been out to that spot before? I mean, I've heard about it, but I mean, I don't think any major events have gone on there. Or yeah, I think gam Bill gambled there or whatever. I don't know. I think Bill's hoping to, because it's close to him, and, and I think he might have had some legal issues with uh, driver's license and stuff. So it'd be nice for you know to have something in his backyard. And you know, I trust me. I'd love to have something in my backyard, but it's, it's not it's a real tough. hotel, says Devin. They have four uh, diamond tables. No, oh. yeah, that's not a lot. No wonder they wanted it to be a two-day event. 
I mean, if they're trying to, what's the race? Um, I'm not sure what they were going to do. I remember seeing the flyer, actually. Yeah, I mean, if you got four tables, I mean, you can't do too many. Seven and five. Month, monthly style events. Hell no. It's seven and five. Or set race to seven, race to five, yeah. I mean, if you if you do if you have six tables, and you do a seven five race, it takes from two o'clock in the afternoon till five in the morning with forty eight players. We know that because that's what Jay Davis's tournament were. Clay is not comfortable with this ball, but I really like how Clay decides to get comfortable and has that you know, that willpower to get back up and, and self-discipline to get back up, reset, and adjust. And that's huge. So many guys will just stay there and just accept it. Like, dude, get up. It don't feel right. Get up. It helps you, you know, your confidence being up a few games as well. Even though he missed that ball, he missed it. Is it? Is it? Looks like it's out a little bit, right? So he, it shouldn't be too difficult to make this. Sometimes it can be just yeah, a it's hair off the over. rail a little bit. Okay, so it's fairly easy. You just got to make sure that you either soft roll it or you hit it with enough pace to come in between, and. That might be like too that. much. Like... Yeah. That's another one of those things you kind of – if you play in between, you know for sure you're going to be – you're, you're going to have a shot after. It's an American brand. It's just called the Andy Cloth. I think it's from a guy from Colorado, to be honest with you, or maybe Wyoming or something. Do you know about that, Shane? You know, I'm not real sure about Andy. Oh, man, what another weird angle. Great shot. No position. He missed it. Did he Ooh. miss it? Uh -oh. Andy scratched. Oh, Lord. Mm. <clears throat> it's the Booker meltdown. He's going to throw his cue on the next table over and ding it up. It is from Wyoming. The score is 16-11, race to 21, playing nine ball. We're going to play a race to eight ball, a uh, race to 21 of eight ball after this as well. <laughs> Originally, they wanted to do this at fiddle six, and I was like, man, that's probably not a good idea. There's just too many people around, too many distractions. This is like a private setting almost. Too many college too many girls even. Oh, that's never been a problem, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh no there's too many you know uh what was that crazy show that used to i used to come on and they would uh they would pay those girls like to be on just to, like show their their tops you know while uh i can, I, I mean mike sees always says like why don't you have a ring girl yeah yeah you need to step it up Girls gone wild. That's oh yeah, old. that's 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 old. <laughs> that's Girls. old, yeah. Yeah, like that one that's time it. I did a show at Chrome and a girl took her top off <laughs> on the stream, and then I was and I was talking to her and like got her number, and then she robbed me of like two hundred dollars. Talking about I need a I need a ride somewhere. Give me some money. I mean, that was before Jill, so it was a little elusive from that, from uh, thinking straight. 
You know, I figured out what Dunbar's doing wrong. His shoes are untied. He's probably got a hey dude, so ain't no laces. No, that's usually what he's wearing. He's wearing, I think they're vapor. No, he's masks. got he's got some Asics, I think. They are they are like not really laced up. <clears throat> For England, you were there when the girl took her top off. Yeah. Don't say that, Kurt. Patty's listening. It was on the webcam, dude. It was on a stream. <laughs> That's when everyone started calling me the Howard Stern of billiards. <laughs> nice. I was like, I didn't do anything. She just did it. I was, you know, well, I didn't say, why don't you do this for me? I never didn't. That place was wild, though. Remember, like, oh, I mean, Chrome was Chrome was I mean, incredible. It was one of the busiest areas, like clubs. Like one of the only things that people would go out and do. I mean, it was it was wild. Yeah, I met uh, quite a few exes there. See, there you go. Looking for another one of those spots. That was that was great. That place is a church now. You know how much holy water they had to spray in that place. Yeah, I mean, it was like. They had he had seventeen diamonds there one time. I mean, it was absurd. <laughs> we could have done it, humongous tournaments, but just couldn't get people to come out there for some reason. Well, just then the remoteness. It closed because a dude got beat to death by a bar stool. Yeah, I mean, I know there was a fight, or somebody got stabbed, or something. It wasn't during a pool pool night either. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that's the worst part is is anytime. For Watch instance, out. there's a new movie. There's a new movie out about pool. Did you see that? It's coming. It's called it's Break. Called, yeah, I think it's called Break. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and it's like showcasing the dark side of pool and, uh, you know, the hustler, all this stuff, and it's like. What a crappy shot by Dunbar to get on the three, by the way. Um, you know, and it's like, are they ever going to do like another? You ever see the Baron and the Kid with Johnny Cash? Yeah, I believe I have. I mean, the it latest pool little... movie was like Walk Away Joe featuring Buffalo. Oh, God. He was in it. Well, he was supposed to have one of the main character roles. He was supposed to be the guy that that uh, that Joey Augustin, you know yeah. that dude from like down Joey south. Joey, yeah, yeah. He was supposed to have that role, uh, but apparently Buffalo tried to talk to, you know, the dude from The Walking Dead. I forget his name. Uh, the main character. Yeah, he he oh. he like went to talk to him or take a picture, and they got all pissed off. And uh, I don't even. But you can see Jason in the movie is funny. I was like, I know that fucking crazy dude. This is before I hung out with him again. I was like, Are you in this fucking movie? So another poor he was poor shot. Before. Walk away, Joe. It was taking place at Lacey's Q down south. That's a good, good recovery. Reco- yeah, good, absolutely a good recovery. With a bridge as long as Bill Romy's, a 15, 16 inch bridge. All yeah, right. We're not Bear playing much big, big table. I mean, it's kind of weird to have a bridge that long, really. I thought that was mostly a big table characteristic. Yeah. All right. Dunbar's still in, trailing by four. 16, 12. Bird England is looking for action. I did my job, Kurt. Don't beg. Is Kurt going to the expo? I would highly doubt it. Man. You haven't been playing no pool hardly at all. It's so hard not to you know, when you when you play like me or Kurt or anybody in that range, you know, Ben Jones, whatever, it's like 
There's a lot of games you could find. Yeah, you can go up or down in skill level with your opponent. And, you know, there's a lot of opportunity and the challenge tables. I mean, if you treat the challenge room like like a job, you can make unlimited money. And then, you know, there were times when Chile and I put Kurt in playing games with the Canadians. Like, and Kurt's liable to not let him shoot at all in – you know, seven games, whatever. So it's just, uh, it's hard to, it's hard not to see those guys go. Kurt says he'll give play the last three. I'm sure you would. Yeah, Clay's feeling it. He's he just has better. Um, he just looks more comfortable. He's in control of his emotions a little bit more. And Dunbar's probably thinking, "I'm out of stroke. Things aren't going the way that I want them to. This is beginning to get frustrating." And I've been there. You know, when you expect a certain outcome, but you're uh, lack of play and inability to perform at your level starts the show. It just it brings you uh, down. Bill McCready says, I'll put Dumpster Jim in the box against either one of these guys. I mean, I don't think well, Dumpster Jim and Dunbar have gambled in a while. They used to play all the time. They were BFFs. All right, so so listen, Dunbar, don't get upset here. See him throwing his hands. You got a shot at the ball. You just play the safe. You know, this safe is as good as winning. That's a good well, safe. Yeah, why be so upset? It's not like you're hooked. You know, what's wrong with that? I mean, you he froze the guy to the ball, and you know the guy can't kick. I mean, I mean, he wasn't even, you know, excuse my language, he wasn't even freaking close. Uh, the guy can't kick. I'd be playing him safe all day. You want to close this four-game deficit, play the guy safe. I mean, look at this kick. Watch it again. I mean, whoa. He's a he's a diamond away. I see. He conceded the 6-9. Yeah. I mean, granted, it's ball in hand with a fairly straight in combo, but I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. I make him shoot it because he's trailing by. Yeah, you, you got to make him shoot it because you know what a, I mean? there was a there was some distance there. They were probably eight to ten inches apart. You're gonna give him some confidence, and next thing you know, it'll be sixteen, sixteen. I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. Well, obviously, but. <laughs> I'm just saying from a from a perspective of watching and what look happens at this in shot. the game. There's Clay showing some emotion when he when he hit that one. He kind of like threw his hands up, like. Ugh. That's TV Mike and Shane Action Jackson. Hi, Davine. Shout out to Davine. She's my uh, herbal remedy. Uh, I can't call her a doctor, but she definitely has me uh, taking all sorts of herbal, herbal remedies, rubbing stuff on my arms, rubbing essential oils oh, okay. on my feet. You know, there's all sorts of uh, naturopathic approaches to, to fighting Lyme and, and getting it into remission. And, uh, you know, there's been medicine men and you think about the Asians, they have you know, herbalist, and you think about the Indians that have medicine men and stuff. I was just going to go say, you're going to go sit in a TP and... <laughs> the, trust me, I would do quite a few things that the Indians do uh, if I had the opportunity and, you know, have uh, life-changing experiences, but I've been, I've been trying the stuff that she recommends and, you know, I can't say it's not working. I can't say that it is working. I'm 
I'm just uh, trying to find something that will will help me out. Can he make this three? He did, huh? Yep. That's one of those ones you just got to take what the table gives you. And just not not be too upset. Just be happy with where wherever you got. Sean Swisher, a Swisher visit, vision, tuning into TV Mike. Jonathan Hellion said, Mike, keep it coming. I'm driving tonight. I can't watch a lot, but I'm listening to you guys. Well, thanks for listening in, Jonathan. The score is 16-13. Dunbar just made a heck of a slice, and he's got a good shot on the six. And I don't want to put anything on him, but it looks pretty, pretty Mickey Mouse. This is another one you got to make sure you get straight across on and not get that goofy, funny angle. Funny angle, you'll roll into the eight. Well, we've been here before, Mike. And he's within two. 16, 14. <clears throat> BRB. BRB. He's leaving me all alone. Well, I wish you would have moved that window, Mike. <laughs> all right. 16, 14. Here we go. So the last couple times Dunbar was within reach, he let go of his cue ball and scratched. Let's see if he gets a reward here. It doesn't look like it. You got to play the push. I think I would just roll the ball to the A on the word Andy as the push. Uh, there's no benefit in jumping this ball. That's okay, but you could leave the guy a carom if you would have hung it up. A good player could slide off the side of the one and make the three if the three laid in the hole. Uh, guys, I will be right back as well. Hello?
And I'm back. What's up, Shane? I think Shane stepped away for a second. Um, he find he made contact with that one, but obviously this ball could be made pretty reasonably. Wow. But look at this. I don't even know what you do here. I guess you get ball in hand. I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, you just, I mean, what the fuck? How's this in 4K, Shane Jackson? He must let the dog out. We can get even closer. How's that? I can't see the other side of it, but obviously this is pretty crazy. Made that nine ball. What a shot. <laughs> All right, I'm back. What did I miss? That I looked at there's something going on up close. Yeah, the ball was like he made the nine ball. <clears throat> The eight and the nine were in the jaws, and there was just barely enough room to, to do Is anything right? with it, really. It's 16-15. Uh, All right. I'm in this game still. Let's go, Cheetah. Spread them legs. That's the break. Hey, Siri, how fast does a Cheetah run? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> what did it say? Probably 77 miles an hour. 70. Yeah, they can run fast. 
and short spurts they can run the they can run faster than just like anything I think. Well, that's all I need him is just to do a one or two game short spurt and take take the lead. Man. It's all going Dunbar's way now. We call that the good guys. I think, uh, and I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I think Dunbar. That's is a little a lazy, little... honestly. Wow. What was that? I was. How do you miss a ball that's over five inches big? I was going to say, I think with a duck, a, a little bit more well-rounded. Like you know, he plays eight ball, big table, and he's in more action. I think. But then, watching this, and I'm like, where are you at? He's definitely in more action. I might go in. No, nope. mind. Wow. All right, let's see if he can stay below this four. Sometimes people get they have a hard time with this ball and they draw it too much. They don't they they catch too little of the ball and they end up Wow. Smelling like a rose. But that's what they have. They don't draw it enough. You're supposed to draw it all the way over. It's a stroke shot. Get underneath the four. Shoot the four in the corner. I mean, that ball didn't have to end up like that. That's for sure. Is Dumpster Jim playing anybody tomorrow uh, in any tournaments or anything? Do we know if he's still in the chat room? I don't know what he's doing. He's he's playing as, as – he's running his tournament at Icebreakers right now. Okay. I'm looking to play some uh, bar table pool tomorrow. Not 100% sure I want to go to the Rochester Hotel event. No real reason. I just – I'd rather play, play like all day long than compete. You know, I've, I've, I'm seasoned enough that I don't need to play tournament pool. I need to work on my, you know, on my own self. All right. So I'm not sure what to do here. It's another weird situation. I think I like to bunt the four into the seven. I don't really see what – yeah, I don't know. I don't see – you can get hurt here. You can thin the one to the to the, to the the diamond logo on the bottom. You can stick the cue ball up table somewhere between the nine and the four and the seven to create a wall. You can do the same thing and, and maybe bank the one and the side and play a two-five combination. There's all kind of stuff. I don't really see a big reward why – yeah, that's a great shot. I mean, he could have accidentally made the five, but, you know, on, on Dunbar's push, it wasn't a real effective push. Like, not a lot of good could have came from it. Why not tie the four and seven up? You know, why not? Went for it. Wow. Wow. What do I know? I'm just a couch potato. I 
That's <sighs> not peculiar to me. Why not? Why not shoot the combo? I don't know. The ball's deep. It's going to stay there. You're not going to wedge them. You're not going to wedge them together. Ugh. No big deal. They're just playing a race to five for your money and mine. <laughs> right. Yeah, it is it? Yeah, yeah, even race to five now. It is a race to five for all the marbles. Hey, if anybody out there is uh, going to be available during the Super Billiards Expo, uh, I need someone to score the matches for my sets using uh, the app. It's free. I'll send you a link. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are you watching in real time or are you watching? I got caught up watching it on the big TV, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was... yeah, that just happened. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Well, this, given that he makes this ball, will be the first time that Dunbar has touched the lead the whole set. Yeah, correct. Rick Royster earlier said, okay, just give each other a ball in hand until infinity. They, they that, were given that, that shot in the corner when the eight and nine were laying like that. All right. Let's hold on to our cue ball there. Uh, all that backs or that whatever that was, left spin. And he's given up. Again, I'm, I don't, I'm not keeping like a real track, but he's given up quite a few scratches on the break. Just, uh, he's going to play the carom. You got to hit the nine to make a carom. Playing a safe. I don't know. It looked like he pointed in that direction. Oh, goodness. Well. 33 games in, you think you'd have the speed down a little bit better. And the only reason I'm critiquing him so hard is that I've played Dunbar. I've seen him play. I, I know what he's capable of. I've seen what he's done to me. I've seen him play in league. I've seen him play at States, you know. Um, you know, you know what the guy's ability is like. That's a bad decision. Yes. That that was not that was no good. All right. Can the cheetah take advantage of this position? Wow, what a shot. He had that weird angle to where he had to go to the rail. He came with it. But that was one of those situations where he kind of like played a – that was a great shot also. But he, but he had played that to get on the three kind of like weird and got that 50-yard line. Look at this chick calling me. I haven't talked to her in a long time, Mike. Oh, yeah. Can you see my screen? No. Uh, 
things I do for pool. Oh, maybe I can see it. I don't. Oh, shit. Uh, I can see ringing. it now. It's not ringing now. She's, uh, I don't know if you can see that. You got to scoot it nice. over more. The other way. I see it now. Nice young lady. Is that the girl from here? No, no, she's uh, this one's out west, like like uh, west coast. Eighteen sixteen, Dunbar's got all the rhythm. He does got the rhythm. Ooh. Does he have to play the carom here? Or does it no, not go? I think, it, I think it goes. But the pocket is tight. <clears throat> or not. Man, that ball's deep. So here's a shot that I like to work on with people and I'll put a ball in a variety of different, different places and I'll put a hanging ball. Look at this. Okay. It's going to hold up, but you'd be surprised how many people can't play position off a hanging ball and you know, they'll hit it and it'll stay there or they'll hit it and it'll fly around the table or they over roll it, you know, and a hanging ball to get position off of sometimes is like one of the, you know, you just got to think a little bit and think about how much of the cue ball is hitting it and at what pace. And it's just weird. People, people take the, the ball in the pocket for granted sometimes. He's got to get out of here to get his confidence back. How about that? The league room on 20 years, 2004. Or 2014, what was it? Yeah, it has been 20 years. Yeah. I, a, <laughs> I lost track there for a second. Oh, he's a little far. Hmm. You got to you gotta believe in yourself here. You just get up, believe in yourself, and follow through. Good shot. Wow, he overhit the ball even. Well, yeah, I think he'll be okay. But he, uh, you know, that's pure. That was pure. All right, I believe he just put a little top and left on this ball, go to the rail and back out. Uh, he's he's not sure. Again, that's what I like about him. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this <laughs> kid, I mean, when the, when the shot's questionable, he waits for an answer. Mm. Well, it wasn't yeah. super easy, but neither is this shot. No, he might have been feeling the heat a little bit because, you know, he's he's more than even money to make that ball. I don't know how we. I don't know how we hit that. That was. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, he's got a shot. It's never fun when you're froze to the rail and you're only working with, you know, the top of the ball. You're, you know, you're working with half the cue ball. Oh, my. It brushed its feet, wiped its feet, whatever. 18, Ooh, can, you, can you feel it down in your plums, Mike? Yeah. You got a 3-4 race here or a 4-3 race for the marbles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling the plums after that right there. Look at you. You're in the grease. The ones on the top you're betting also, the small ones, the 50s and the 200s and the 100s. No, that was from another game. Okay. But still <clears> down <throat> there, that's down there. That's pretty decent. Yeah. My cash app is quivering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no kidding. All right, so we got an open hole top in the top right for the one. If he can just kind of pinch it below the eight. I'm not sure if the six is taking up the pocket. Oh, no, that's why you got to pinch it below the eight. You got to really wow. draw that ball. And that's just, that's just kind of letting up on your stroke. He was more worried about you know, making sure the ball passed, making the one, and he and he let up on his cue ball. Now, with ball in hand for me, I like rolling the other way. I like shooting it and coming off the long rail because now he's got a he, he would have been rolling into the angle. Now he's he's rolling out of it, so that's why he's got the goofy back yeah, cut on his he's four. On, he's on the wrong side, really. Uh, right, shaking his shaking his head about it. Yeah, he, he tells too much with his body language. This is no no cupcake going top left. He hit the ball great. He, he got the good. bend. He got the bend. He could have got hooked on behind the eight if it would have went long. Now if we can just drift forward. All right. I think he's I think he's okay here. But this is where you gotta pick your spot and, and pick a definitive spot and not just you know generic generic spaces here. Oh, I don't see he's wild. Wow. I mean I mean he is, he's a wild animal, he's a cheetah. <laughs> You know, but what if you run into that ball? What if you run into the eight? What if you catch a funny kiss? What if you push the balls together? And that's where he's not playing definitive position, and he's just like, I'm going to draw, come in between these, and, and get up there. It's, I mean, I like seeing it. My money's on Justin. But I'd like to see him play a little tighter. All right, with the one-two punch, it's all you need. Good cue ball, finally, with a nice stop shot. One gets pushed to a place where it can be made. Nope, that's the five. Here's another shot. You might be able to go forward and, and, and beat the scratch, I think. But you don't want to go forward the twos down table. Oh, that was a cold roll, by the way.
And someone just texted me and said, I hope you never commentate on my matches. You're brutal. I said, I'm sorry. I'll be gentle. Wow. Yeah, he was wild. Wow. Whoa, 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 yeah. You know, I guess I just, I expect a certain level from from Dunbar, you know, given that I've played the guy. And when you, when you share that, that headspace with somebody in a match and you guys are singing back and forth, anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. I feel like, you know, Dunbar's done some really good things against me and he just, he's not bringing them. I mean, toward this, this late part of the set, he's played excellent. This is kind of weird. It's off angle. You got some distance. You got to cut it just shy of the hole. Big cue ball movement here. Okay. Mike. Yeah. Tell me about what? your plums. My what? Your plums. <laughs> My plums. <laughs> Can you feel it in your plums now? We got one game. We're one game away. But he looks like a different guy now. You know, from the beginning to, to now, it's like he's like he's found himself. Three, six, nine. Is he gonna challenge him to the to the jump? You know he's gonna take this. He's got a chili popper. How are you gonna push to for a guy who has a chili popper? He's gonna say, Hey, you wanna shoot it straight in? Nice sir. He's got a popper, does all the work. For $450, you can jump the ball like Justin Dunbar. Message Midwest Carbon Technologies today. I can't believe he challenged him with that shot. From now on, I'm wearing all my shoes untied. You're wearing your shoes untied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Might get underneath this eight. Oh, whoa. Weird spot. He got lucky here with a pretty decent angle. Still weird. All right, it's cuttable. You got to watch the scratch two rails. Put a little left spin, a little outside, bring it to the, the far right long rail. There it is. The cheetah. All right, Dunbar Justin wins a nine Dunbar. ball. Oh. I want to take a break and come back with the eight ball. Sounds good. Let's see a Jacoby. This commercial. is the only one of this style I got. That's of this resin. People will talk about this cue. I'll tell you that. I don't know what it is, but I've had so many people ask me about this cue, but nobody's pulled the trigger yet. Somebody pulled the trigger. And nobody else is going to be able to ask about it. So that's how that works. It's a one of one, get it, and then it's gone. 
All right, here's one that really stands out that was not made with my materials, unless maybe some of it was, but maybe that's why I picked it out. But I really like this cue. I mean, this is a real special one. Um, you've got multiple segments of casted resin in the burl dyed. You've got rings. You've got this whole crazy centerpiece here with all this wood figuring. Impregnated burl ebony and spalted maple. So the spalted maple is like in there, here, and in the diamond. And then you got these fine points that are actually really sharp. And this one comes with a black four. And this one's 3000 with a sticker on it. Probably going to offer this in. All right, looks like we're back to the action with the eight ball set. Am I, am I right? Mike, I think you might still be on mute. All right, he's got the extension. Great shot by Clay. All right, one nothing Clay over Dunbar.
Mike, where'd you go? All right, Dunbar's up with Clay's miss. All right, Dunbar's up. Run into the five here. No? All right. I would have thought he would have ran into the 11-5 with the left, but. Not really sure what his plan of action is here. I guess he just plans on giving it back to Clay to figure out. So problem ball 15, problem ball 11. So I think you got to get rid of the 11 first. Unless he can get underneath it. This is okay. That's good. Wasn't sure how much space he had. It's hard to tell. Again, I'm watching this on um, in, in 4K, but it's about 10 seconds behind on my TV, and then I'm watching uh, through a Zoom call. So um, sometimes it's hard to distinguish where the rail ends and where the bed begins but I think he did an excellent job uh, dissecting those two problems. Good draw shot. If he can float in between, he got a little straight, but if he could have floated in between the four or five, I think now he has to kind of punch it and get in between. Oh, that's good. He can play it in the side. Even better. Oh, we let it go a little. Wow. So it's this isn't a terrible position to be in. So now all the heat is on Justin. Uh, Justin has to get into a really funky place. And that's on the left side of the four or the pro side of the four. So sure, you, you know, you can pluck these three balls off down here, but you really got to make sure that you, I mean, he could get down there now, really. He could stun down there now. Just be careful. We don't run into the eight or he can stay to the right in the little area before the seven. So he could play the seven in the side. I think he might stun down there. Be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cue ball. And from here, you you lose the game. There There is no winning the game from here. Is he going to elevate and back up the four, bank the four? No. Yeah, so that's that's tough. I mean, I think I think he chose the right way, stunning down there. It was just the, you know, an ever so slight speed control issue, and he had a chance or an opportunity to, to take that game and steal it uh, due to Clay's miss. But, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't free. There was definite work to do. So I don't know if, if Clay's hand is giving him a hard time. It looked like he was racking the balls a little slower and maybe kind of uh, nurturing that, that broken hand and rightfully so. Good break on the straight down the middle. I like when the players uh, break down the middle as opposed to the side ball break. I like to see that, you know, run out. Let's uh, crack them wide open. All right. So with nothing touching, the 3-4-2, 
The seven's okay. The one six. The five's kind of tricky. The nine ball is tricky. Thirteen has three or four holes to go. I think the nine ball is the tricky stripe, and the five ball is the tricky solids. So you got to look at where's my breakout from there, and I think you can make the one and run into the five. Hmm. I I don't know about that. I think I think the shot was to try to pop off the rail and nudge the five a little more. If you think you're gonna try to play this five in the side, I think you better have like Tiger Woods or Jason Shaw vision. I mean he keeps looking at it, but I'm not sure if they're going to do a tiebreaker, uh, Mark Petrunio. Um, that might just be it for the day. I mean, these two guys playing back-to-back -back races, the 21 is uh, it's a lot of that's a lot of pool for the average person. What do I got? All right, so so Clay's wide open here. I think he can back cut the whatever that ball is, by the three. Is that the 13? I think he can back cut the 13. He can shoot the 10 straight in. I'd want to get into a place to where I could pump bump into this nine and make sure that you come into it in a way that it doesn't push it closer to the – that's not it. I don't think that's it. Maybe it is. You can put it with high ball. There it is. Good shush. Oh, he's got the 10. And if he can make this 10, they all play to the side pocket and he can play the eight, the top left. That was the key ball. Don't do this to yourself. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Now there's a shot. He can play the 11 off the green in the side as a carom. Always fun. Got to be careful where the 14's going and if the nine's going to push into a funny spot. Let's see what it looks like here. It, it looks cuttable, but it's hard to tell. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. If, if the two's blocking, that's incredibly unfortunate. And I can't tell if it goes in the corner or not. Well, that's what I do like about Clay. Like I said, he looks it over. He weighs his options. He waits till the table talks to him. And I think that's important. He's looking at playing the, the 14 off the back side of the six. Uh Does the five and the six pass the 14 is my question. Yep, four, seven, six, five. Nothing else to think. Ooh, he's got a little weird floaty angle here. Just make sure you put enough top to get to the rail. And gently. Good shot. That's the beauty of eight ball. There's so many options. And uh, when they're open like that, different ways you can do things. Uh, that's why I like one pocket. You know, there's... Um, you know, a thousand different shots every time you step to the table. You can take intentional fouls. You can roll off of any ball. There's a lot of creative things you can do. And sometimes eight ball kind of uh, uh, 
comes in second to the creativity in comparison to a game like nine ball where, you know, most of the time, if you do it the right way, the pattern is dictated to you and there's only one or two ways of getting out eight ball. There's a variety of ways that you can get out or run into trouble. All right. Dunbar with a break. Mike's back to change the yeah, score. All hmm. right. He kind of cut the ball a little bit. He didn't, he didn't dead center it like clay. Clay kind of gave it that Shane Van Bonen pop. Dunbar is going crashing into the rack. He came up dry. A lot of action. Clay, I don't know if you get to see that game, Mike, but Clay was doing a lot of good things and made a lot of good shots. The ball kept laying in funny places. No, I didn't see it. I ran out of the bathroom. Um, I don't know what they're going to do if we break even. We had someone in the chat. Play, uh, play Mark, something. Mark Petrunio recommended uh, one game of one pocket uh, for that. all the marble. Yeah. Oh, what a kiss. What a kiss. Plays the 12. Nips the one. Oh, heartbreaker. Mike, would you like a mint? Is that what that is? Yeah, these are Mentos. The Fresh Maker. I'm going to go play some pinballs where I want to do. You got the itch. Do you get the itch often, Mike, to play? Or, or does this kind of satisfy your craving or, or do you oh you're talking about pool no i do, yeah, do you... oh I mean, you said I'll... pinball i said yeah. pinball no no <laughs> no I, no uh... the hell is pool <laughs> no I, i'm playing the local tournaments and stuff uh-huh all right so let's let's look at this in a different light here can you play the five, six, two rails and get on the three and then seven, eight? And I think that's what, or you can shoot the three down, shoot the seven, six. There you go. Seven, seven, three, six. Weird spot, seven, six, three. And that's the beauty eight ball. You can, you can get kind of different spots and, Pick and choose, but you don't want to get straight and go in the wrong way. Wow. Who is he? Got ourselves a tight tied game. Is uh all your bets from the first set the same the second set, or did you pick up any? Or yeah, it's the same. Let go, or let go of anything? Okay, it's that was the locked same. in. Okay. All right, see if he stays to the left side here. You know, I watched – I remember watching uh, – look at that eight in the side. Now, is that good in this game? No, that's VNEA rules. Okay. He can re rack like or that, spot it. You know, I, I don't really like talking about him, but in this particular case, I remember a time when Zach McKee played Buffalo and they played bar table weight ball at Buckeye. That was crazy. And I'm watching that set. It comes down to Hill Hill. But what I didn't like about it was they kept breaking from the same spot getting the same reaction. Everyone was breaking dry. And, you know, if a spot doesn't work, I don't know how many times you, you know, how many chances or red flags do you give your ex, you know, and that's how I treat the break shot. If it's, if it's screwing me over and I'm breaking dry and I'm not getting good spots, you've got to switch, you've got to change. And both of those two players mentioned, they just kept breaking from the same spot and leaving themselves Empty-handed.
The one's a good blocker ball for his 11 or 15, whatever that is, 11. But you got to pick what is our out ball before the eight. I mean, I'm not sure that he knew or knows what that is. As he's still dissecting this late into the game. If he gets dead straight, he'll be okay. Or even going a little forward. So then he could draw back for the three to the eight. I like to look at the table and figure out what's the ball before the eight. And how do I get there? Like this is, I don't know. Uh, right. You know, I thought he was going to kind of punch it for, forward and shoot the three in the same side. Um, I don't know if he can go to the top right rail and then to the uh, Y and Andy cloth and shoot the eight in the bottom left. You know, if you can put like a center left spin, catch the long rail, hit the short rail, and you can play the, the eight in the bottom left corner. I don't know if that's there. You know, it's hard to tell the, the exact angle of what we're looking at. Have you seen any of the John Schmidt run today? Yeah, or, that's uh, close. Or the, uh, Jason wow. Shaw. Jason Shaw. I think he's good. Wow. Um. Yeah, did you see any high runs today? Or did anybody no, I haven't. see high runs from Jason? I don't know if he's Have done anything got... substantial. He's trying to beat us oh. 7 of 714 or whatever it is. Insane number. If anybody in the chat has saw oh, yeah. uh, any, any numbers from Jason, uh, feel free to type them out. There was a 100 and something up there earlier. Mm. I mean, he's not even getting warmed up until he it's 400 really i mean that's crazy to think about <laughs> right he uh he made mention of playing 14 15 hours a day on that same table yeah which is a lot i mean that's i always try to tell people who don't really play pool like we do as as fanatics um is that we don't just play you know two or three games on a date night or put your quarters up at the bar. If we're not playing four, eight, 10 hours a day, we're not playing pool. And it's hard for people to understand that. So for, for in, and for Jason to say he's playing 15 hours just shows the, the high level dedication to his craft. So four, one, Does the three pass the 12 on the bottom left? I would think so. Thanks, John Ash. It's he said close. 253. Oh, 253. So like, yeah. He's just yeah, so getting I like, warmed up. I like 4, 1, 6, 2, 3. Okay, just stun your ball down table or get on and play the two in the side. There you go. Great shot. Oh, he, if he catches, he almost caught a little clip of three. If he can play the three in the bottom left and get the right angle, he can leave his cue ball over by the 11. Oh, my. How about that, huh? Did he swing that bus driver right around yeah, the little, corner? A little fortunate, really. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, what do you do? You got to bank at it, right? You're not going to back cut this ball. Gross. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, great shot. 
and, and I would have rooted for whoever shot that ball, but that was just when you bank them like that and they just point, point, double out, it's, it's pretty gross. All right, Clay's got a little trouble here with the 12, 13. The 10 a trouble ball because it's so far up on the rail. He's got to get the right angle off the 14, which he does not have. Okay, now he has it. <laughs> I would be scared, honestly, to, to play any kind of safe uh, because the eight's so close to the side that you could two rail kick it or I, I would really I think if I'm gonna shoot I don't know man I think I'm gonna shoot the nine and try to go two rails into the purple but that would have been me I think you gotta play the 11 here Well, if not, he's what's he going to do? He's going to do the practice drill that I was showing that kid that night. Get the cue ball in the center of the table, shoot the 15, go one, two, three rails, shoot the 12 down. You know, or do you just roll up? Can you just roll up on the 11? I mean, the way he jumps, I mean, it would be kind of scary, really. Okay, do you hold the cue ball toward the middle of the table and shoot the 12 in the bottom left? Or can you shoot the 15 and go two rails and try to run into the 10? If you fail and you get below it, then you can just roll on top of it. You might even play. You might even be able to play it off the eight in the side, really. Yeah, it's hard to tell how, how much eight ball he has to play off of and work with. It's the Mackie shot. Okay, he's actually about he's as pretty good, good as he I think. Did. You just got to believe in yourself here. And he did. Nope. Oh, heartbreaker. Again, though, he, he overcuts those balls when he hits them. so wild now it's like <clears throat> it's like a, a reversal of, of the nine ball set now Dunbar's two plus over clay and it might stay that way the whole time and then clay comes back hmm. all right so I think I like solids look pretty good. Stripes are wide open, so no, I like I like opening with the ten and drawing back or the twelve. Oh, well, what do we got here? <laughs> the the drink girl was uh. I don't know. What's she saying? Probably about time or something. Oh, the lights are on a timer. <laughs> really, they Wait, shut off at 12.30, then you have to turn them back on. Um, Just cut the nine, right? I mean... Or just perfectly break them out, whatever. What are you what are you gonna do with the ten, Mike? Let's let's talk ten balls. So you make you the got, nine. You get on an angle to get on the eleven to to move it. To bump it toward the side pocket in the five. Is that what you're saying? I mean, like Mackie, he's gonna pop. Mackie would just break it out, just hit it hard, and try to 
run it somewhere. Yeah. Sometimes with that, it works, and then sometimes you you kiss it, like you double kiss it, and it stays there. Oh no, that's not good. I don't think. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe on the yeah. side, I guess. Does, I does, mean, can you play this ball on the side. I don't know if he's got an opportunity to do anything else, really. He he tried it once before. Wow. He's hooked on this one. Too far. So now when the distance is too far and you have to land into a small spot, you can almost forget jumping it. You have to land so perfectly right in front of it that you have to control the arc and the V of the shot. Try it right now. That's crazy. Yeah, try to land that's tough. Up. When the distance, yeah. Uh, even though he was using, you know, a great product, whatever. I mean, both products are great. The Predator Jump Q, the Chili Popper. But when that when that initial distance is is longer than the distance from the object balls, then it's just virtually impossible to land in there unless you're like Jesus Atencio or something. All right, Clay, get rid of that five. Even if you got to make it easy, go six, five, you don't really want to get rid of the six, but if it makes your life easier. I don't think the five's that bad, really. I don't feel like he picked a spot. I feel like he just was worried about making the ball. So he so he, he boo booed the pattern a little bit. All right, halfway point. You can play either one, but you got to pick where you need to be to get on the eight. He's gonna play the one on the side and roll straight down. Ugh. Yucky. Yeah, because so he's got a small angle, but yeah, but so. It's going to hit the round jump back out to the center. That's that generic pattern play, just kind of waiting. You're like, oh, they're all kind of out there. Dunbar had the same shot playing nine ball, but he got away oh, with but... it. I mean, he hit it pretty good, but you had to be way far above it. I mean, if this guy slices this in, whoo. Came out pretty good, though. Yeah, he's got options. Um, whatever way's not a scratch, I think you play it to the bottom left with inside. Low inside. I don't know, man. I don't really like either way. Unless you can cut it to the bottom right and go a few rails to your cue ball and let it out. Trying to hold that ball sucks. Yeah, that's trying to hold it. I don't know. It's just uh, stuff can happen, and it did. Whether you deaccelerate or the ball grips differently, you almost want to like swing it. All right, well, let's take a look and analyze what we've got here. Can we shoot the four right out of the gate and break open the seven?
Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, it, it's there to it's get rid of it. It's, it's definitely going to hit it. Yeah, and I think it'll open it up just enough. Don't don't crush it and and move these eleven. Don't put the seven in a bad spot. It's kind of in a bad spot now. <laughs> oh yeah, just a hair, huh? All right, now he's straight on the three. That's not not ideal. If the seven goes on the side, that's okay. He's elevating. Wow. See, that's the that's the Dunbar I know. So whenever I give him a little slack, that's just because I know he can do better. Wow. <laughs> oh. What do you say? Fucking cue ball moved. Let me see. Can you, re you rewind it? I didn't Did see it. it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I mean, he shouldn't have missed that ball by like. It looked like he was banking it to his hole, playing one pocket. I, I, I seen it. I seen that that shot. Them, yeah, it looked like it kind of moved. I mean, that's fucking weird, man. Wow, that just happened to somebody on the pro. That's what we were talking about. It was like a huge thing. It was Mario Heat. Yeah. Mario, he and Tyler Steyer, yeah. That's gross. The object ball moved like when he mm -hmm. was striking the ball. Like a millisecond before impact. Yeah. Just randomly. I don't know why. But it did look like the cue ball kind of did something, but why would it? Pool tables are, are fickle things. You know, there's divots and people slamming balls and you know the cloth takes uh indentations and the pool gods are angry and solar eclipse <laughs> another what i don't know heck what he was, was doing. that i don't even another, know what he was doing ask him if that one moved <laughs> <laughs> he tried to cross bank the two. He caught a double kiss. <laughs> heartless, Mike. I'm heartless. So watch him try to cross bank this two ball. And what happens is he catches the kiss and then it catches him in the side. It happened so fast on the instant replay, but that's. It goes to the rail, it clicks the two, and then it pushes in the side. I would have saved the 11. I would have like 13, 12, 10 or something. I don't know. I, I like the 11 to shoot the 8 in the side. I guess you can still play the 8 in the side if he gets right where, the, where his chalk is at. Middle, middle diamond on the top right rail. Just stun on up. Good shot. Look at that middle diamond. Perfect contact. Good shot, Clay. All right. We're tied up at four. Somebody buy a cue. But I mean, you Ooh. can see the nice all the work in this cue. I love this cue, actually. All right, guys, you know the deal. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. If you really like it and you want it, put it in your case. Give me a call. Thanks.
if you're looking at getting into some of the newer Still style Bill cues, says, does Spinelli want to play save Dumbo? some money. This was made last year. Right, he probably don't. And I will honor Spinelli. this price because everything was cheaper last year, actually. So you got. What is Mike C saying? Caught a chili popper hole. LOL, and I'm sure slamming that tip down don't make divots. What does he mean? That's your friend. Sometimes I don't speak C's. I was trying to take John to a tournament, but I can't get a hold of him. Well, you don't. His his. I got him a new phone, but his phone. He says it don't work. I'm gonna try to call him again. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to get up at 6 to take him. I mean, it's like Meadville, PA. No, he tried to break him out. Yeah, he hasn't even. I told him to go to Spectrum and have him fix it. And... Mike, see, what doing. explain what you're saying in more words than three words per sentence. The Q moving, period. I'm not sure what he's saying. Ooh, jammed up tight. Goofy place to be here. Uh, Travis Gillespie, uh, Justin Dunbar won the first set. Was it 21-17? I think. It was, he won by three or four games. Yeah, I think it was 20, yeah. Oh, okay, Mike, I get it. A, a divot in the table from jumping. Yeah, I mean, anything can happen. You know, that's, you know, balls jumping, landing down on the cloth, landing down on the slate, put little little divots. Mass A shots, jump shots, all sorts of stuff. So even if you get out, to a good spot here. I don't know if you have enough of the eight ball. Uh, I think he just ran dead also. Um, but I don't know if you have enough of the eight ball to play it in the corner. You might. Smart attempt, uh, poor execution. So I like shooting the 11, then the nine, break out the... 814. I mean, if you're going for it, if not, you could just. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to try to get that. So that's not the angle you want if you were trying to break out the 14. You would have shot like a a kill or some sort of stop or something. And if the 10 doesn't pass the three, you're dead. So you don't want to go plucking them off. You don't want to go lose all your soldiers or you're going to lose the, lose the war here. Now what? Yeah, I don't think that's... I don't, I don't think that's going to do with the 15 or the 14. Yeah, it, it doesn't help his case. Okay, so now <laughs> I would say jam him up and just play, play off the 1, but he might jump, jump the 12. You got to freeze him on the back of the 7. You got to just Get the Elmers and stick them. Rolling them to the rails, no good here. We've already seen that. But he's got a full look at the 15. Doesn't mean he has a hole for the 15 unless it passes the 5. But he's got a full look, which means he can create something. And that's sometimes the most dangerous thing. Man, I almost roll up the 15 on top of the f eight and <clears throat> I 
I don't know, maybe shoot the 15 into the five, cluster some stuff up. Okay. Or just break everything wide open and give the guy right. a chance to That's win. That's probably not what you should do. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube is fine. YouTube's fine. Uh, I don't see any problems with the stream. Uh, I have it on YouTube on my TV here. Everything's good. Sound is down, so I don't have an echo, but... Hey, Bells, you want to see TV Mike? You see my dog, Mike? Yeah. I remember. She's like, why the hell are you guys awake right now watching pool? I'm tired. Okay. Listen, Bells, if Dunbar wins, we can go buy some some bones. Right. <laughs> I used to say biscuit money. <laughs> All right. Big shot on the five coming up. A little too much rail. Not enough confidence. It's a long shot, but it's a shot. Yeah, sometimes you got to push YouTube twice. That's just YouTube. It's got nothing to do with it's just yeah, what YouTube it, does. Yeah, so if you have the live video, just hit play back to back. Like hit a pop, play, pause, play, and then over. Yeah. I think you're supposed to duck off the one. Two way mm. shot, I suppose. He doesn't try to kick this ball in, does he? Come on. Come I mean, what is this guy? I think he's Brian Pauly? Ah, Superman. <laughs> oh. He tried to he tried to rail first, back cut uh, that ball. Hold on, somebody calling me. Okay, that ball went, didn't have to. I think you just, you make it and you float into the five. No, this isn't, this is no good. This is no good. What, what was the point of that? To get to get there on the five, you took a hard shot to get on the five when you could have just shot something else and took took a chance of running into the five, and then you still would have had a shot on the seven. <clears throat> Try not to mash on him too much, but I, I don't feel like that was that was a good choice. In my opinion. Clay should have won that game if he would have not been so timid and just, uh, you know, ran the balls like he knows he does or like he knows how.
All right, as long as this uh, <clears throat> seven one or three one combination doesn't lay funny after he makes it and come back into the stripe, he should be okay. All right, ran a little far for the, wow, did he run a little far for the six? I think the shot was to play it for the six, but Now I'd be really concerned shooting the combo here and worrying about the two getting weird. Did it get weird? It didn't. It could have been real weird. It's not good when you're when your opponent starts giving you those all the time. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of a mental breakdown, and they're like, "Ah, don't even shoot it." All right, big break coming from Dunbar here. Eight rifling toward that hole. Nothing's touching. I believe Stripes is the golden goose here. 11, what is that, 13? 13, 15. 14 in the side. Oh no, 13. 14 in the corner, it goes. Okay, so 15. If you open them up nicely. If you open them up real nice. Fourteen in the side, a little steeper than than ideal, but it's gonna work. With it being this steep, you gotta worry about coming into the nine eight and leaving yourself weird, uh, pushing the the eight to the corner. And that's what he did. He tried to kill it and and play it so that he hit a bunch of ball to slow down the momentum of his cue ball. And when he did that, he caught the side pocket. All right, the seven on the side, I think. Does it go, or is that a three or whatever it is? The three in the side. All right, little, little help from Clay's ball. One, six, two. Don't get straight. Don't get straight. We can manufacture this, punch it out. All right. Whoa, buddy. All 
All right, looks like Dunbar's uh, picking up the pace, kind of holding on to the momentum, feeling the confidence. He's one set winner. He won the nine ball set by three or four games. This is set number two. I believe the score is six to four. Mike is away from the computer right now. Um, but, you know, there's been some mistakes. Dunbar has uh, more time at the table as well. So, um, you know, that's a lot. When, when, you're, when you have control of the table and you're shooting the balls and you're getting, you know, you're getting warm and the guy that you're playing is in the chair, he's thinking, he's a, he's a prisoner of his own mind. Uh, Nathan Cooper, it could be seven. I honestly don't know. I don't know about this rack. Back in the 14, doesn't really get you a lot. I mean, if you're going to roll off the side of the 11, there you go. Beautiful. What a nasty place to be. You gotta you gotta clip the side of the one off the short rail. Mm, another weak moment from uh, Clay's kicking ability. And and I only say this. I'm not trying to to bash anybody. I know uh, some a couple people said, "Man, you're really tough on these guys." I hope that they watch the tape and they say, "Man." I need to work on my kicking because that cost me the match. And I wish somebody would have told me. Same thing. You know, whenever I play a set, let me know. If you see something I did dumb, wrong, give it back. But but Clay, he needs to work on the on kicking the ball. He's given up a lot of ball in hands in a set and a half that he shouldn't have had to. Thanks for the score update, Mike. I found Mackey. Where is he? He's at Fiddlesticks. Just hanging okay. out. Nice. I mean, I'm going to pick him up tomorrow. and Yeah. Sounds like a date. And we're going to go out to uh, Tyler's tournament. Starts at 10 o'clock. There's going to be like 80 players there. I saw. It's going to be a nice benefit. Dunbar was a little jabby. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot, but. Jerry Ensley in the house. He's watching. Greg Henney, how you doing? All right. Ooh, could have ran into trouble there. I don't really know if that was necessary to flirt with that stripe. And this is another bad place to be. Um. Now, you can rail first this, but it's really important to measure this ball. So whatever aiming system, part of your shaft you use, I always recommend, you know, doubling the distance and kicking into the rail that way. That's also a great shot, just the soft kick the safety, but I thought he was going to go for it. That actually worked out 10 times better. I guess I just feel like I could have kicked it in. I think that's that's better than what. Yeah, than I mean, ball in hand would have been. That's not bad. Yeah, that's still. Oh my goodness! Come on, come on. Who is this guy? He jumped two balls. He jumped a six and the five. Oh. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's good, sir. You don't have to shoot the eight. Don't worry about it. You just made, you just jumped over uh, <laughs> two balls. Yeah, and, that was a nice shot. He's shot. he's been really on with his jumps. I, I I mean, he's he's really making it good, making making the cue look good. But the cue does perform good. I mean, the combination of the two together is just uh, it's a it's a good harmony. Chad John says that should be a new chili popper ad. We could have took three or four shots from from Dunbar today. He's just drilled with the chili popper. You gonna see all this shit I'm doing now? <laughs> Can you see all this shit I'm doing now? I'm going to do this right now. That's cool. I just see a gray screen. It's not no big deal. Oh. I'm going to open a Word file. All right. All right. So I think the red stripe passes the top left. So if it does, 9, 11, 10. And then it's uh, pluck, pluck, pluck. Okay, save the 10. It's okay. I think he's really feeling himself here, guys. I think he's he's there. I don't I don't think he's feeling the heat any longer. I mean he's goofy on this ball, but I'm pretty sure it goes. All right, or not. All right, Clay, you got to close the gap, buddy. You know, it's it's these kind of racks where the balls are wide open that you got to make sure you do it. Don't give it back. By all means, don't give it back. You got there. Too hard. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah, this is one of those ones you can kind of. Pick the hole you want to shoot it in. Shooting it in the bottom right's the, I the good one because you hang it up, you block the block the pocket.
Derek Reynolds uh, Dunbar won the first set by three or four games, 21-17 or Oh my, I was going to say, good little break out here with the eight. And he just kind of let up on it. I don't, I don't know, man. That was, uh, that was strange. That was not a real difficult ball. He was using this extension, so maybe that kind of threw him off a bit. All right, for Dunbar, no real value making that ball with uh, the cluster of clays 13 and 11. Clay looking to see if there's a combination with the 15-13. I don't believe it is, but maybe the 13 on its own is playable. If he can hit enough or kind of spin it in, throw it in there. Has he been playing with the extension the whole time, Mike? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's something new. Okay, C says it's been on there for a while. Uh, the last three racks, at least. Yeah, but I don't think he used it in a nine ball. The extension. When'd you put it on? I can't even notice it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know what? I mean, I should. Once I figured out he had his cast on still, I probably shouldn't have. What did so he much because it's not like. I mean, I, mean, I don't know how far off chance? from his game it is, but he said he's whatever. I mean, he's won tournaments, you know. Yeah, what did he? You say just he never did know. To, to uh, baseball injury, coaching. Okay. Well, you know the guy I was betting on the other night, uh, Dougie Fresh, while he was playing Devin. You know he sprained his sprained his wrist playing Devin. Yeah, <laughs> he tripped. Yeah, no, he own. did. He did <laughs> he somehow. <laughs> I don't know what he, he did. Over, he told me he tripped over his own two feet and he caught himself and put his hand in the pocket and kind of like stubbed his hand. And he came up to me and he said, "Wow." He said, dude, look at my wrist. And I'm like, dude, it's meaty. 
And he's like, yeah. He said it's it was swollen. inflamed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was all inflamed. <laughs> he lost on the hill. He lost on the hill. Devin missed the eight, and Doug made one ball, and then uh, got a little out of line, missed the second ball. But he said, he said, dude, he put, he goes, I put my hand on the table, and it just hurt so bad that you know I couldn't think of anything else. So, all right, Clay looks good here. He looks nine, ten. Make sure he gets to where he's at, and he can draw back just a touch, and just stun over. Don't let the six get in the way. He's got the right way. And this is uh, closing that gap to 6-8. To this is like, this is just a reversal of the last set. It was the other way around. Clay, Clay was leading by two, leading by two. Let's go. And, Let's get and, some and... confidence, kid. I mean, this would be, uh, uh, I mean, obviously for me, it's a blessing if he wins this set, but like, so oh, many times it. we do matches and like, okay, well, you think this guy's probably supposed to win that and this guy's probably supposed to win that. But in, in this case, you know, uh, Dunbar won the nine ball. I mean, John Ash played Booker like that and, and and like Booker won the eight ball and John Ash won the nine ball. And you would think it'd be the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, pool's weird, man. And, you know, I see it the most in in uh, in one pocket, but you know, two people of equal caliber can play, and then they can play somebody else, and it's like conflicting styles uh, don't always blend well. You know, some some guy might be a mover, one guy's a you know a great ball runner or whatever, and whenever they play each other, it's like. I'm just different kind of fireworks. That would be know. a miscue on the break, so I'm assuming it's Dunbar's break. I like re-racking these just for um, I don't know. I never liked rack breaking my opponent's rack in that situation. I suppose you could re-rack it. Yeah, I mean, even if you just like re it up or whatever. Yeah. So you put your hands on the balls. Yeah. Makes you feel like you like you won the last game or something. Need a so weird. It's all From mental. From here, it's man. about an hour and 20 minutes. No, it's in PA. Yeah, PA. It's north to north. There's like 80 players on there. Hmm. Well, he's still got to work out the 12, the, the 10. Although it kind of looks like it's dead to the pocket, but you'd have to move the one. So he can go into the the fourteen goes into the the ten green stripe, whatever that is, fourteen. No good. He tried to. Yeah. He put like more right than top. I think it was like a float. The thirteen's in a bad spot too. Yeah. At least it passes the one, which is good. And I think he can get to it now. Maybe he can you get know. something between the two and the three. If anything, the 12 ball. Maybe I think you got to get rid of the nine, actually, to open up the side pocket for the 12 or the 10. Yeah, get rid of the nine. Then you can, then you can trickle over for the... Uh, the 11 shoot the 13 up and and maybe play the 12 or the 10 in the side 12 in the side 10 in the top left if the 10 passes through that that lane of the 326 he left Dunbar out Kevin Nazir in the chat room I haven't seen that take name a, in a while. Well, he had to take a break from counting all of his money to join the chat room. Thank you. He said he would challenge either one of these uh, gentlemen to uh, a game of pocket billiards.
Yeah. It's okay. Play it in the side. It's okay. Then you give him like the last two and he forgot what, what the last two was. Or was it the last three or something? I think it was, like the, it was like the last two and the eight or something. Like and the eight. Well, that was a good shot jacked up. That's that's not no cupcake. I haven't had a cupcake in a while, actually. So for Dunbar, he's he's uh he's halfway there, and this is where you got to kind of you know do your thing. He's got a small lead. Get to double digits first. I like in these long races. I like to set small goals for myself, you know, and it, it helps you. Wow. But it, it helps you it helps you look at this race to twenty one in sections or pieces instead of just the a race to twenty one. You know, the first guy to double digits or you know I'm halfway there, I'm a third of the way there, whatever you gotta tell yourself. Cause they're a grind. I mean, I when I was younger and, and in action a lot. We would play like races to seven or races to nine, and you would just yeah. You need to play a lot of them. That's what Kurt used yeah, to say. Yeah, you just flip the coin and play them again and play them again, and the next thing you know, you're either stuck or you know you guys are dead even or something, and then you're backing it and jacking it, and that was gambling. And now it's like, okay, TV Mike, I want to play you, but let's play a race to twenty five or forty, and you know, actually, it's you like, know who started uh, that around here? Per se, is Kurt. Who? Well, he started doing the races to twenty and thirty and forty. I'm gonna step on his shoe when I see him because he That's he never started doing it around here. He shouldn't have got that started because what I don't He's... like about it is it's hard to play multiple sets. You know, these two guys, I give them a lot of credit playing back to back races to twenty one. The only time I've ever played consecutive races to 25 was with Jacob Bach, and, and I was tired and wore down, and he just kept wanting more. But it's hard to get a guy and say, hey, let's play a race to 25, and let's play another. And, you know, it's it's real easy to duck out of it and say, hey, I'm just tired. I don't want to play another race to 25. It's too much. So there's – that's what I I like that you can bet more. I mean, I get I it because, like you know, some people, if you're playing that short race, you might lose two sets and still flip the coin. Yeah, and then and then, and then you know beat your opponent mentally and come back get even and then maybe even win a well, set or two if you keep playing. Yeah, they both have um, their own their own flavor, and and they have. You know, like I said, like like we were talking about, there's a beginning, middle, end, and and all that stuff in these longer races, and there's a lot of time to make it up. But I like being able to flip the coin again, and and that's why I like playing the. We used to play races to seven, races to nine, and I think eleven. And if it was like some kind of, you know, stellar matchup, you would go to thirteen. But I mean, twenty five. 30 and and what we've been seeing 40 from a guy like bill romey i mean this is just uh it's getting absurd i mean what's next 50 i'm, I'm gonna beat you 50 games like dude take it easy i'm gonna beat you to a pulp 50 games you know it's it's demoralizing you lose 50 games. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Like, what am I going to play Booker? 50 to 20 or 25? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if I have a game with him. What a shot that was. Uh, I don't really get him anywhere at all. 
Yeah, <laughs> running running death though. <laughs> uh, I think you, I think you just you just nudge up on the five, right? Or thin the thirteen and leave it on the five. I, I might have to leave it alone. I think you, I think you leave it alone. Four, four. Well, that doesn't work. Never mind. I was gonna say shoot the, uh, shoot one of his balls in, like shoot the one in it or something. But then he's just gonna jam you up on the five eight. I like I like feathering the the thirteen and rolling over on the nine. I don't know. I like leaving the five there as much as I can. You know, maybe shoot the one two combination and just give up ball in hand. But I, I feel like he's just gonna jam you up behind the five eight. You know, that's the kind of the chess thing you gotta think about is what do, what do I do and what's he gonna do back to me? What what can how can he hurt me from here? Mike sees good. Go back to the ten of heads. Uh I don't well, know. Well you know Kurt would like to do that. Uh ten of heads are for the young man. Ten of heads, uh, you know, for the people at home that don't know what ten ahead means, it means that, well, that actually worked out really good. He tied up that ball. But ten ahead means you got to be ten games ahead of your other person. So if I win one game and then TV Mike wins eight games, that means TV Mike is only seven games ahead of me. So you have to beat the guy and be ten games winner to whatever number he has. So it could potentially go on for a day and day and days long. So ten of heads are kind of kind of played out. They take a long time. If it's if it's a really close match and the competitors are are, are fairly equal. Oh yeah, that could take days. It could take days, and I've been a part of that. They are not fun. I think one of the longest sessions I've played. And a headset straight was like uh, 32 hours. I played a 28 hour. Um, but they're, I mean, you're not, you're not doing anything. All you're doing is playing pool. You use the restroom when it's not your turn. You eat your chicken fingers or your pizza when it's not your turn. You drink your coffee, your Red Bull. You take your uh, extra Actually, supplement. that might be one of the best things that could have happened to him by making that stripe in the side, even though he gives up ball in hand. Oh. Is that congested area? But he can probably just break it out here. But I think he can get it out right here. With the seven? He grabbed the seven ball. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this. Unless he runs into the eight pretty good. Don't get trapped behind it. Double, hit. double hit. Oh, unbelievable. That's uh... wow. Yeah, I think there might have been a better way to, to run into those balls. I mean, that was. He was he's trying to get eight, too much. He's on the eight on the corner right now. Yeah, he was trying to get too much action out of that cue ball to open the eight up, and he pushed through. Yeah, but you can take ten of heads, throw them in the trash. I mean, I think you got to be a young man to do that kind of stuff, and you don't, and you can't have a job unless you set boundaries and say, "Hey, we can only play till so long, and we pick this back up tomorrow." But playing, you know, run till you're done, ten ahead is just uh, it's torture. I'm sure Kurt will try it again. Oh yeah, I mean. 
it is it is wild there's a point when you play a 10 ahead that you uh, you catch a weird gear and you're in a slightly delirious state but you see the patterns and the and the balls in in such a crystal clear and like vivid way to that it's just so easy it's 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 really weird it's probably around the 24 hour mark i don't recommend it <laughs> but all right let's let's look at what what he's got here how do you get the one to the at the Five. two down there and the six down there too. Yeah, the six is the six is good and playable. So three, seven, one. Oh fuck! He just one took his good. eye off the ball. You know he did that once earlier in the side side pocket, like a relatively easy side pocket shot. All right, this nine passes through sloppily, but it went. Yeah, that's uh, you got sixty viewers on a Friday night, Mike. There's a lot of things going on tonight. Actually, I haven't even looked at uh, YouTube. YouTube's probably got a lot too. Nice. Thanks for uh, everybody out in listening land sticking with us for these two sets. There's like hey, thirty Mike, on Mike, YouTube. There's a lot of things going on tonight. Oh, why'd you dub me up, Mike? Thanks for uh, everybody out in listening land sticking with us for these two sets. There's like hey, 30 Mike, on Mike, there's a lot of things going on tonight. If I could do anything, I'd put a little more bass in my voice. Can you have a button for that? More bass in your voice? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I do in mine, but not yours. Oh, nice. <laughs> you get all the bass. I get the I get the helium. All right, it's tricky to spin this ball over because you're going kind of behind the six. When the when the cue ball touches the cushion, it's going to go behind the six just like that. Yeah. yeah I've so been there. I've been there a million times. It, it never works out. Ugh. Watching some of these shots sometimes gives me nightmares, like it, like a flashback to a – I think you just said screw it. He hasn't missed a jump yet. All right. If he makes this chili popper, I mean, what do you think he is here? Two inches, three inches from the ball? Less than that. Less than probably that? An inch, inch. Probably an inch. He's an inch. He's got to yeah. get over. Okay. Yeah. That, all right. Well. Asking a lot there. <laughs> that That's tough action. Well, Mike, see, the, the problem with giving somebody 10 going to 30, that's because they need 30 to put the spot, blah, blah, blah. So 10 ahead should win quick and not have to play 50 games. The problem is nobody's going to play you a 10 ahead if, if, it's, uh, if it's not an equal game. So the way they play headsets for people who aren't of equal caliber or fairly close – is I would go to 10 ahead and you might only go to five ahead. And it makes it really, it's different that way. Or you play 10 ahead and, and a guy gets a wild ball or, you know, the last two or the last three or what, you know, whatever the wild eight, the wild seven, whatever. So you, there's multiple ways to play a headset, but either way, they, they take, they, they basically take a long time, but you know, no one's playing 10 ahead for both parties, and it's an unequal match. Keep talking. Kurt Engelin will probably come in here and offer somebody the last four. Yeah. So he drew that ball back pretty far, but I mean, he got out of it. But Yeah, I but saw yeah, that. Like, he kind of took it too far, really. 
But like if somebody of a lesser ability wanted to play someone like Kurt in a dead even headset, they would have to do something like Kurt goes to 10 or 12 ahead and they go to four, four ahead, or they get, you know, uh, whatever, one of those stupid games Kurt gives up with the last three or the last four, and then they play 10 ahead that way. That would be a way to, to balance that out. So racking the balls, I think, would hurt my hands as I watch him try to tighten up the rack with that uh, cast on. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, he lost, and maybe he would have played a couple couple balls better if he didn't have his cast. I mean, I don't know. Well, that, so. that, that ball missed in the side – you know, maybe he has a little bit of a monkey on his back with the pain. And, you know, I know whenever I'm, you know, hurting or whatever, you, your, your brain, your, your brain and mind is, is on the, the pain in your body and not so much what you're doing. So he might have let up a little and gave way to the pain and, and not focused on that three ball that he missed in the side. Pit Stop Pub, Meadville, PA. Uh, Thirty dollar entry, race to three and three. We're looking at like eighty players tomorrow. It's a benefit for Ed Carlini, who passed away at the PA State Tournament. Apparently, wow, very, un very unexpectedly. Wow, Tyler's second cousin. I'm sorry to hear that, man. So if you guys want to come, it's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a, a big tournament. Pretty sure it's a Calcutta. I mean, that'll be pretty crazy. What's the uh, what's the format like? Three three on valleys. Okay. Anybody's ball game. There's eight tables. There's two different locations. One's a block down the street, and the other one's where it is. But they both have four valleys in them. How about this shot that he opened up? But I don't think it gets him anywhere. I think he can get down there, but he's going to have to come he's with another. Draw the shit out of this ball. Yeah, he's got a punch. He's got it. Um, but he's got to come with a, a really good uh, shot here to to open this up. I don't know what he's looking at, but I know that I don't think that goes. I think you got to come into it, even if you get behind it. Let's see. There he is right behind it. Wow. Oh, no. Well, that was a valiant effort. That was, he got right behind it. Like I said, oh, my. He's dead froze up. It, this has happened to him. Uh, in the last three or four games, a couple times, I think it's <sighs> here's that swing, here's that momentum swing for you, Mike. This, the bad things is balancing out for Clay. Now, here's something that Dunbar does that Clay hasn't done, and that's like me measure up his kick shot. Good, good attempt. All right, Clay, you got to take advantage of this table. You're probably supposed yeah, to play the two ball on the side, right? Uh, two in the side looks good, or the or that combo. I mean, if it's actually, wide. yeah, that that looks pretty good. That does look good. Unless the two goes in the corner, I can't really tell. But I think that combo is all right, dude. You could shoot that combo and roll up on the left side of the eight, and then he doesn't have a hole anyway. I don't like this. I don't like cutting the, the seven. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking of there. 
absolutely not. That was not the shot. He he went down at it. It was like a. So he did this earlier in the night, if you remember. He elected to play some kind of bank safety thing instead of actually just shooting the ball and like running into stuff and and letting his talent go. And he gave up the game instead of instead of shooting, he tried to duck and the duck didn't work out. He might be able to play even, but that's it. Uh oh, Mama Cheetah's on my tail. That table, yeah. She said, Shane, don't make me come for you. Mama Cheetah. Listen, Mama Cheetah, my money's is on the on the Dunbar family. I might not scratch. Should have, but I didn't. Yeah, he caught a couple kisses there. He has enough of this nine, huh? Wow. So he has a combo here. It's a, a three ball combo. I see it. But it I might be shooting it. I think it opens him up. I think it's it's not a bad play. Okay, well, it's kind of you know it was weird. I mean, you can never say, "Oh man, well, he hit it really ball. hard too." That too. So it, it might have went if he would have hit it with a bit of pocket speed. That that kind of gentle speed that the balls uh, tend to slide in and the cushion favors. I don't feel I don't feel like Clay had a spot there. Looks like we have a cheetah in the back there racking the balls. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. He said this ball uh, he, skidded. Yeah, I just saw I watched it. It did like a – and for, for people that don't know what a skid is, is when you hit the ball and it slides with like a like a clunky top spin and it doesn't slide with the back spin. But there's – yeah, that side, he's missed quite a few balls on that side. But it had a weird, a weird clunky roll. And it's like the ball turns over in a weird way. And, and it doesn't react and it doesn't take the true path. Well, if you're Dunbar and your stripes, you can maybe... Bank the 11 and leave the cue ball above the five. Oh, look at that ball turn over. What's going Are you sure this is a blue label? There's a blue label on it. Check his 11 out. It go. He banks it and it turns <laughs> over like. Hmm. And if, if people aren't sure about. Red labels and blue labels, but the, the height of the cushion was different on the red label and blue label. The red label uh, was a little bit higher, which trapped the cue ball uh, and, and hit the cue ball at a higher point on the cue ball, which made uh, the cue ball kind of get trapped underneath of the rail, which made it react different. And the blue rail, the, the blue, blue label, the... Uh, the wedge part of, of the cushion kind of hit the ball in the middle or center of the cue ball, creating a more true uh, rebound. 
So that's why people always ask, is this a red label or a blue label? Because a blue label will bank more true and the red label will bank a little more short. All right, so he comes between the 10 and 15 here, or does... I, mean, I was about to say, is he okay on this? It's like... It's weird. So he could he could possibly go between the 8 and the 15, but then he has a real good chance of overrolling it and going past this mark. But if oh, you go Lord. between the 10 and the 15, you can skim the fi 15 and get weird. Did you see what happened? Um, are you watching the main one, or are you watching the, the YouTube? Uh, yeah, I watch. I I bounce back and forth. I got my phone over here for the comments and. Oh goodness, he's gonna try to play it off the, That's off the edge of this. Thing. Yeah. Oh, what an excellent attempt! I mean, he. Yeah, he's feeling the heat, man. You see the head scratch. Well, I pretty much. Thought he was in a bad spot when he was on that angle. Going to crash into those balls. So not not terrible to shoot the bank here. You can shoot the 14. You can shoot the bank. But again, they go short. They go short. Every, I mean, it's weird. I don't think he, he has a pocket here. I don't know what he, you know, you just, it's like a, I don't know, I just bump the, bump the anything, bump the 10 to the cue ball to the rail. I wouldn't even mess with downtown. I wouldn't even touch the, the 15. Don't even think about it. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but if you overhit it or do something, just just nudge the ten to the right. There you go. There was a lot of hesitation in that fella. He didn't want to do that, but you've waited this long. You might as well just wait it out a little bit longer. Okay, sorry, Glenn. I, I guess I did give a wrong. Uh, wrong explanation so glenn says uh both red and blue label had the exact same nose height the bank had right hand spin on it which is why it changed angles on the end rail okay yes glenn glenn hancock said i know the difference between the red and the blue label since i am the one that made the design change well i'm sorry glenn and thank you for the education So both had the exact same nose height, and the bank had right hand spin, which is why it changed angles on the end rail. All right. Thanks, Glenn. That's, your, that's our, our daily dose of knowledge today. Mike, if you take anything away, now you know the official reason from the guy who had the alteration made oh my what do you do here Simple mistake. Can he kick this ball on the side? I think he can get behind this ball. And kick it in the side.
If you're going to do it, get behind it and look at it. Find your point on the rail. It's kickable. Or you could just roll over and give it to him. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know if he was trying to put the 8 in the path of the 12 so that he wouldn't have a shot. That's kind of a difficult thing to do. So I guess Glenn said the back end height of the cushion on the red label was one and three quarter inch high and the nose height was one twenty ninth one twenty nine three I don't know how to read that one twenty nine sixty four Mike House refractions. Well, they're getting a little scientific in the chat. That's uh, that's over my head. I'm mostly just a ball pusher and a ball pocketer. But uh, I appreciate the work that you did to the diamond table. I do enjoy the blue label. So thank you, Glenn. One twenty nine sixty fourths of an inch. Strangest fraction ever. Oh, we got okay, he's all right. Yeah, so I so if you if you lowered the back end of the cushion and then leveled it out, it was kind of sorta. Of, I was kind of right on the the same page as what you were saying, but uh, I don't know. Again, that's uh, I'll just get back to doing the commentary here on the on the match at hand and and cheering on my player, but. Dunbar ran himself into a little bit of a hole here. He's going to try to come into this four. And hopefully the cushion levels out for him and he can kick the four on the side. All right, for Clay, they're all out in the open. He's only got one purple ball of traffic. It's all right, don't sweat it here. You just uh, play the 13 if it looks more natural to you instead of the back cut on the 10 or whatever that ball, I think it's the 10.
nice little back cut. So we can 13, 14, 9, pop off the rail 8. Okay. You almost got in a bad spot. You almost got glued to the backside of the only ball. Well, I can't say the only ball because the eight ball would have been a bad ball to get stuck to. But, you know, there's there's not a lot of traffic on the table and you almost got stuck to one of your opponent's balls. You got to work around that. All right, Clay clearing them off here. Closing that gap again to two. And if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly what we saw in the first set the other way around. Clay was leading by two, Dunbar was trailing. And at the end, the guy who was trailing caught the gear and closed out the set. Pretzel break. So you know Pretzel. the cobra. You know the cobra. How do you find himself up in here? Did you share it to him or something? Oh, Glenn Hancock. Yeah, the real King Cobra. Yeah, I know who that is. No, I was I was uh, given a misinterpretation of uh, or a miss. Uh, I was misinforming people on the difference between a red label and a blue label. And he uh, had his ear up to the pocket and he heard me. And he came here and corrected me. And then they they used some uh, some fractions and some big words, and uh, I let them hash it out in the in the chat. I just said, "Hey, I know my role." I poke well, the ball. He's a high level table mechanic. Oh, he's 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 the real King Cobra. I mean, he's the dude. I wish uh, I wish he would have came back to Breakers to redo tables at Paul Motti's pool room. Um, yeah, he's over in Washington State. Yeah, he was. He came through. He did him once. Once or twice, actually. Oh, okay. Maybe more. You might correct me and be like, I did them seven times. I have no idea. But yeah, did you get cheese or honey mustard? What'd you get for your pretzel? Nothing. Just a uh, bag of pretzels. No, it's just a bag of pretzels. Oh, a bag of pretzels. Okay, I yeah. thought it might have been like a hot pretzel. I'm going to say you're pretty hardcore if you just eat like a regular pretzel with nothing on it. He isn't that far behind. He's just gotta really be confident. No, and that's and that's kind of I don't know if you were there for that game, but he he tried to I don't know. It's it's like it's like in some spots where he has a bunch of balls on the table. He tries to make some kind of safety, and it ends up selling out, and he loses the game. That's a pretty good show. Jump yeah, out. I'm. I'm Jump out. I'm impressed with his uh, his eight ball game. I like some of the things that he does. Especially if he got just enough of this red to go all the way up. I'd like to hear the story of how he got the name the real King Cobra. Oh, he's in a bad spot here for shooting. Yeah. 
you can shoot a kind of a cool shot here. You can freeze him to his own ball. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a weird spot to be in as the incoming player, but it's actually not a bad play. You know, he can't really spin it in the side. He's working with half a cue ball and a thin cut to cut the two. The safe is kind of, sort of okay, but you know the guy's going to try to jump with his ball on the side. I think he sees this he... ball. Okay, even better. To me, it looks like he sees it. And if he has to jump, he might only be – oh, he's jumping, but he probably only jumping maybe like a third of a ball, so it's not even that big of a deal. And the ball's headed in that direction with a stopper. Whether he catches the four or he catches the five, he catches the four, he's in a good spot. He catches the right side of the five, he rolls over on the nine. Or he could just draw the hell out of it and not do any of that. Yeah, people don't realize what an endurance matchup that these races, the 25 are, 21, whatever, and playing two of them. You, you really start to feel the, fati the fatigue. And if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not staying hydrated and you're not snacking, I'm not talking about eating. I'm talking about, you know, fruit cup, nuts, cereal bar, you know, something. Uh, you will fatigue more and quicker than you know someone who's eating. It's like you got to take care of yourself. I mean, I don't know the last time that these guys took a break or a restroom break or you know, or, have you seen them eating anything? Uh, Clay's just eating pretzels now and drinking. Soda. Okay, so this soda's a little bit of a pick me up, but you know, there's a heavy crash there, so you know, I keep um, you know, tips and tricks from the you know, from the case for me, I keep like cereal bars and nuts and and stuff like that to to snack on because you're in it, man. You're you're locked in. You don't want to eat too heavy, and then you, you lay there on the table full and whatever. But you, you also don't want to neglect your, your body from, from nutrients. I mean, you're playing, you're sweating, your adrenaline's going, and you, know, you lose focus. Oh, there you go, Mike. You can pick up uh, the real King Cobra gig it. there. I thought he missed it. That's not very good. It's doable in the in the corner, but he's gonna lose his cue ball, I think, unless he can play it. If he can draw it, I don't even know if he can do that. I don't know if it's there. If he can low right, maybe get on the top right side of the eight, play the eight in the side, but I don't know if it's there. Now he can shoot that stupid bank he's been trying to shoot all night. <laughs> Guess what it did? It went short, Glenn. It went short. All right, Clay's going to pluck off another easy rack that Dunbar got down to the final couple balls and made a boo-boo. All right, make sure you know where your eight ball's going here. This is important. Seen it too many times. You make the 10, you roll into the eight, cue ball stays on the left side of the eight, and you're stuck behind the eight to shoot your 13. So you got to make a choice here if you're going to slightly elevate or you're going to play it with enough pace to get the ball out of the way. And he's going to go elevation. Wow. 
Interesting. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I it's mean, okay. he, you would think he's yeah, get out, but the t- the ten came back around to say, "Hey, let's get in a little tighter." All right. Uh, I believe I two rail it. I don't know if I one rail this. I think I two rail it because you're coming into it a little more natural. Okay. Well. All right. Yeah, I think uh, it depends on how much, how elevated I am over the eight. But if I could two rail this ball, I think that's the way I go. Oh my God. You just made the shot. You missed it. Because I was looking at where the ball moved. You just made it. What a shot by Dunbar. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm saying. Wow. And he almost scratches. I mean, he doubled the pocket. Did so he make he it did two, two rails or one? Did he make it I two rails, Clay? Did. One rail. Straight in. He one, he one railed it? Yep. Wow. Well, Clay, Clay was three games ahead at one time. So, you know, we're, we're, we, we're past the halfway point. And we're coming up on two thirds. I mean, they're open here. I think you got to save the four. Oh, man. Listen, go buy your guy a candy bar or something for real. He needs it. He's he's exhausted, dude. That's a quick change over innings. All right, work it out. The one's kind of goofy. He got playing, fortunate. Yeah, now. yeah, he got fortunate moving that 15 out of the way.
Make sure to fit that window. Gotta fit the window. You didn't spin it enough. Oh, Lordy. Well, now the A's tied up. Hmm. I, I mean, thought he was all right, but he had to spin through there. All right, he kick hit one. But either way, you're dead in the water here. I mean, Dunbar's just going to either run out or, you know, dink off the side of a ball and leave you, leave you bad. <laughs> Shelly said, Shane Jackson has forced me to eat and drink water at many tournaments to stay hydrated and nourished. It's true. I mean, I've been like, dude, you got to, you know, F and eat something. We've been here for 12 hours. Like, you got to leave. If you don't eat or drink while you're playing and you're playing one of these sessions, uh, the, the edges of the ball are not crispy anymore. And you'll catch yourself hitting balls weak and you'll like you'll you'll notice little hiccups in your game and in, in the way that you're performing because you're just you're just you're depleted. I mean, sure, you know, we all have uh, some extra reserves on us, but you just got to stay, you know, got to stay nutritioned up, man. Jason Shaw's on a 259 ball run right now. Look, they're all, all over right. the place on that one. Yeah, big wide break here. What's up, Russell Blackburn in the chat? Cody Kazarian, Travis Gillespie, it's your good friend Shane Jackson here with TV Mike. Uh, we're on set number two with Justin Dunbar and Clay Davis. First set was a set of nine ball, uh, which Justin took down. Whoa, there's the lights went out. Oh, you can't see nothing again? Uh no no they the lights went out there for a second but they flipped them back on. Oh you mean in your your oh okay. On the on the pool room I think. But this is set number 2. This is the 8 ball set. These guys have played 21 and 17s, 38, 38 and 9s, 47, 47 and 13 is 60. They've they've currently played 60 games of pool. Not bad for a Friday night, huh? All right, does the red pass the purple? And if it does, where are we playing the eight? If he can get to the, I can't tell the between the. There's plenty of room between the rail and the six. Oh, not another Dunbar. Yeah, he's hooked. He's done this quite a few times. This is just it's crazy. When you gotta really lean into this shot to get to get the popper. 
because it's like way out there. Oh, I don't even know about this. I mean, the Q jumped great, but I don't know if it can perform a miracle. It's too far out there. You would have to use uh, a bridge, which isn't impossible to jump the ball with the bridge. But it's difficult. Uh, in my experience, the Kamui bridge is a clear acrylic bridge. He's trying it. And yeah, he is. Look at him go. Go ahead, buddy. And I'll, and I'll tell you, the other hard part about this is getting the proper angle and making sure you stick with the elevation and you don't push out and through. You got to make sure that you still drive down. So if he doesn't drive through uh, or drive down, you'll see him push through and he'll run straight into the orange. Do you ever see them stack two bridges on top of each other? Yeah, I've seen people do that. <clears throat> He's got to make sure he drives down through or he won't get the push. Uh, he was almost there. Good try. For all up on the table. Yeah, this is in New Orleans. I would love to do that. I, I need to work that into every game that I play. Well, yeah, now. because it would help you out a lot. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> it would just open up so many that's the only. That's the only room that you're allowed to do that. He missed it. So, this is what I'm – this is the fatigue, man. This isn't a hard shot, and he, and he laid it up. He's beat, man. And I'm not saying Dunbar's in, you know, the best shape, but he did just play, uh, you know, some longer sessions with Romy. Wow. It's, it, it's your win, kid. Take it and run with it and break and run the rest. He, mm. he gave me this crazy look like, what the fuck? 13-10. Well, it's not that Dunbar's – it's not that Clay's winning. It's Dunbar's losing some of these. I, be I believe it was at least three games this set that Dunbar was hooked on the ball before the eight. Like a real Booker situation. Oh Lord, did you say that? <laughs> well, I tried to awake the awake the beast. I haven't heard from him in a few days, so I figure if I say his name three times fast into the mirror, that he'll uh, he'll just appear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mama uh, Cheetah said that he better step it up, and I agree. You know, she holds the power here. I mean, she could just. Okay, so 13, 15, 11. Eight in the corner. Unless he can get the 11 now. I don't know if he can swing around it. You can swing around it, then you can play the 13 in the bottom left. Even Mama Cheetah said, these errors are exhausting. This guy could be home already. 
What's up, Larry Nation's in the chat. He's watching. He just stopped by the house and picked up a carbon fiber shaft. Okay, so maybe he can catch this with inside and catch. If he can't catch the rail, sometimes you can catch the left side of the seven and get the love roll and get straight on the on the eleven. So let's see if he can. There it is. There's right off the seven. And he got pretty good. Right off the seven, he didn't scratch, which was great. I don't know what to tell you to do here. I don't, it looks like he's got either the wrong angle or he's straight in. If he's straight, he could just stop it. There you go. All right, you just got to stay down, hit it with a nice, confident stroke, and commit. He missed it. He didn't commit. But this is a lot of stuff to work out still. Yeah, these are nasty. Yeah, these balls are absolutely uh, tricky. If you're on the underside of the six, you might be able to break them out. I don't know. But I think you've got to shoot. I don't think you can just duck. The last few times he's he's been in this scenario, he's tried to duck. And it's hurt him. Like, why not just swing around, try to run into these balls? Shoot the four. Shoot the two. Go one, two rails around the one, seven, and crash into these. If you play the safe... Dunbar can kick this ball in from just about anywhere. Don't give up. Try to get out. Make it happen. Work it out. And the one probably wouldn't have been my choice. But What would you think? You'd play the four because you're already on it. Yeah, I would have played the four, <laughs> and then I would have I shot the two and went like one, two rails into it because he he didn't get great. Um, so now you got to draw back to the bottom rail maybe come to the bottom rail and, and pop off. I'm not, I'm not sure what his thought process is here. Two, seven, six. Uh, no, terrible. He's going to try to cut this on the side and break these balls out. It's pretty steep. And, and really it's actually, well, if he can do it, I don't know how far down the seven is. If it's like right on the, the center pocket line, it's okay. But if the seven's past the center pocket line, it's kind of hard to spin it, but you are coming from underneath the balls and pushing the six, three and the five up table instead of toward the eight or down table. So let's see what he can do. He can just he missed it. it. And even touch the he ball. missed it. Too much angle. Too much angle. Yep. Yeah. That's the problem. If it's too far down and you try to throw it like that, you got to make sure you have a, a big portion of the ball to hit, and it, it might have just been if you if you draw a line from the center of that pocket. I think it was down too far. Unfortunate. Had an opportunity. Dunbar gave it to him. It was hard, but it was there. You know, it, it sucks when you play somebody and you say, man, the guy played great and I just didn't have opportunities and I couldn't do anything and the guy beat me. But when you're getting the opportunities, whether they're great or not, there are still opportunities and you should be grateful that you got them. I mean, all, all he can do here is cut the 13. He's looking at making sure he doesn't come off the 8 and scratch or come off the 6, 8 and scratch or just – am I wrong? Or what's he, what's he looking at here?
And if you don't like them, just, just dink off the 14 and lay it up on the Andy. <laughs> oh, I can definitely tell the uh the numbing from the procedure today is worn off. <sighs> Give me a second, Mike. I'm going to step away. It's kind of fucking hurt though.
All right, Mike, what did I miss? I'm back. Mike? All right, the score is 1411. Thanks to uh, someone shot me a message. Um, I had to go clean out my CPAP machine, get ready for bed. I've reached the age of, uh, in which I have a CPAP machine now. So, had to get that prepared. Clay with a break and run. Okay. Thank you, guys. Clean the CPAP. Got a little bit of a quesadilla here. Clay with the big center ball break. Got a lot of activity. Looks like the 10 is going to trickle. All right, let's count them in fives. Five, 10, 15. They're all there. I believe somebody earlier that said that the players are feeling the exhaustion, and I believe it. I mean, I've ate three times since this match started. I haven't seen these guys eat anything. All right, Clay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, not the easiest, but not the hardest. I mean, it's kind of a... It's not a real hard shot. I mean... 14-12. Is it 12? Yeah. Uh, he right, can Dunbar's hear you if you're right next to me. Dunbar's rearranging the furniture here. He tried to bump that 12 out of the way. Really good attempt. Uh... In the meantime, he slipped and made a 15 ball, so he's losing soldiers by the second here. He's helping Clay. The 14 is 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 hurting Dunbar. He's got to do hello. Something. I should have told him. It? Don't tell him hello. He's betting against you. He can't hear. Who he can't it? hear. They're not plugged in. Clay. He said, "Hey, Shane." I hey, said, Clay. I said, don't tell him hello. He's betting against you. <laughs> <laughs> a, I am too. I'm kind of all in, man. I'm uh, I'm swinging at it. That's a pretty good shot. If you're Clay and you got to come with this shot, uh, I don't know, man. You shoot the four ball combination. I think you trickle up and kick the 10. No, I would have I would have soft kicked the 10. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised, man. It's uh it's one in the morning and you just you still got some viewers. Either still they got uh, I got 40 viewers on YouTube. It's in 4 in the morning. Oh, you got to turn that down when you click on YouTube. I hear myself, and it makes me want to jump off a cliff. Yeah, uh, Mama Cheetah Jordan said, uh, this fool is putting people to sleep. Uh, I, I believe so. I mean, I think people just, uh, they turn on TV mic, and they either listen it's to them or they, hit, or they hit mute, and they just listen to the, to the sweet sounds of seduction from TV mic. You think he should try to make the one ball? That's what he's doing. Yeah, it's 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 a it's okay. Damn. Because even if you don't, he's gonna roll you up on the five eight anyway, and, you, and you're blocked on the nine, so it's it's kind of irrelevant. Sure, he could hit the nine, you know, if he was out of that trap. But what is that really gonna do? Anything? I'd probably still put him there. I think I just roll him right on the eight. I leave the one there and just roll him on the eight. Well, now he's going to do the shot you were just saying because yeah, he left I himself mean, nothing. I would have left the one there just mm. for sake of like if I ever had to shoot a ball at it, it made the hole bigger. And and then he couldn't like kick at the nine or do something in which would result in that pocket favoring him. It's always going to favor me if the ball's there. Just think, Mike. You can go on the road and just like pay me forty dollars to do commentary from the couch. And that's like five dollars an hour. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a low wage, but you're really not doing. Uh... Yeah, that wasn't. I would have liked to see the eight open up a little bit more, but you know, open up the six. I guess develop the six a little more. But if you pay me five dollars an hour. I can sit at home on the couch and do commentary with you. I mean that's how uh, that's how Ray does it with all them other guests. I mean, like Jeremy Jones and all that. Yeah, I see Shorty over there rock, rock, uh, racking the balls. So I mean, I don't know what's going on, but So, in my opinion, he's kind of running into a bad spot here because he doesn't have a hole for the six because he didn't develop it earlier. 
And when you, you run get into this out, six, or well, I see what get you're it. saying because the nine has taken that pocket. Right. So if he would have developed it earlier and did the the shot leaving that ball in the hole and developed the six, he would have opened up the spot for the six. Now you're going into the six and it's going to the right. No. Just like this. Oh, no. Well, that's exactly what Shane just said. You're going to move the six over and it doesn't have a hole anyway. Oh. You got to take care of You got to take advantage of this, Kashak and Clay. This could be a two game swing right here. Hey, Mama Cheetah, can you can you mess if you're still awake? Can you message uh, the hubby and tell him to eat a Snickers or something? I mean, he's turning into a bitch. Ah, uh, what's he doing? It's like the guy doesn't want to win. Yeah, but that's why that. But you know, early on, you got to look at how to open that up and develop that six ball. Leave that whatever it was as a one or a three or whatever it was the hanging ball. Leave it there. Nestle them in. Give yourself more opportunity to open that up and develop it. If you don't do it the first time, YouTube works because fine. He, Just hit it twice. Where are you let's, getting? Con- let's go, kid. Dustin in Michigan says the YouTube stream don't work. It does. You just got to hit the screen twice and push play. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching it on YouTube still. It's been, I'm telling you, man, that quality, that even in this Zoom call, the quality is pretty solid. You know, what a big swing this is because you know and I know if Clay Davis wins this set, that's it for the night. I think they might play some cheap as a tiebreaker. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Hey, cues are on sale to make up for excessive gambling losses. <laughs> I got a lot of money in queues. I just got to turn it into cash. Well, I was going to ask. It takes a while, but I mean, there's some great pieces there. You didn't run any, uh, any, uh, any raffles. Where's where have your raffles been? No, I haven't run any since uh, the state tournament. I did. All right, Clay, dry again from that <clears throat> from that massive head ball break. Leaving Dunbar a lot of opportunity. But but what a what a big set. You know, if, if Dunbar doesn't give these these away and I mean they both make mistakes, I get it, but you know, you're one set winner and you're in if you don't bear down and get this cash, you played all night for nothing. And that that never sits well with me. It, you know, I, I feel like a loser if I break even. All right, work oh, it I'd out. Feel, oh, I'd feel like a fucking prince if I broke even. <laughs> well, yeah, you. I know. <clears throat> but you, you've been there, right? Like you've you've either staked Mackie or you've been in a game or betting on somebody, and you guys win the first set and you lose the second set, and all you did was pay table time, eat, and travel. Right, and you're. And it's like, and the last thing you want to hear the guy go, well, let's play a set for less. <laughs> yeah, Mama Cheetah, make sure he eats something. I don't, I don't care if you got to send him a carrier pigeon, but you know, get that he guy. Just, he just got it, water. Yeah, what does that do, Mike? That, that I mean, there's no, there's no nutrients in water. What does John Mackey like to eat? He doesn't eat hardly um, at all when he's playing. YouTube just uh, gave me the spinning wheel of death. 
Has it fresh. been? There's no problem here. Okay. Okay, we're back. Don't get on the back side of this 10. Oh, goodness. So, so he, uh, not enough. I got like three. Steve A. Ofter said he's turning his sound off. That's cool. So you can you can punch into this eleven, or you can try to go around it, but it's kind of hard to hit it with that much inside. And then, uh, you mean the twelve ball? The, the eleven's the, way down there. Yeah, the four and going around a lot. The eleven. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like the uh huh, difficult. Ran himself into into the hole again. Because he didn't hold on to it. He didn't hold on to the, the inside spin. He had like just enough inside that when it made contact with the ball, the spin died. And you, if you're going to hit that shot, you really got to hold on to the cue ball longer. Cross bank in the side. Yeah. I don't I know mean, if it'll go that I don't even way. know don't, if he's got enough of the face. Right, to turn it. He has to turn it. And I don't think he has enough face to turn it either. Oh, my. I was told that Clay Davis is going to win the set 21 to 16. <laughs> yeah. That would balance it out to where they both lost the set by four. I think. I think I did that right. All right. Easy peasy. I made a joke the other night. I said, I told Bill Romy, I said, when they're all out in the open, like it's just play them in order. <laughs> play them in order? Yeah. Just... When they're, yeah, when you're playing eight ball, still play them in order. He, he <laughs> well, might play better. He might he's play a it nine better. ball player. Yeah. And I said, if for some reason you're a little out of line, then you could shoot the other ball. But I mean, you, you need a path. You need an instruction manual sometimes. And it's not bad. It's just He's just not the most experienced eight ball player. So I said, you need uh, some sort of blueprint to go on. Yeah, see a good shot maker, though. Yeah, oh, absolutely. All right. So make sure you gives yourself a little angle don't get too far on the inside of this ball and don't get stuck to it oh lord is there a space is there space can he elevate and shoot the if there's a little bit of space you could throw it can he throw it and get the cue out of the way and this is one of those shots where you got to throw it and get some power and you could dunbar it like earlier where he double hit the ball no Shorty's racking the balls again. Okay. Okay, or you could just dink off the left side of the green and stick him down on the Andy. You can't make the one in the corner. You can't make the one in the side. Right. The sevens would be blocked by the stripe or the or the black ball. So yeah. No, don't try to just tuck behind it. That's no good. You got to go off the side of the – this is no good. Okay, but now he's got a bank at the seven. He's got a bank at the seven at least. 
and he's got a window, I think, to run in either run into the eight or come in between the eight and the one. That surprised sure me, that. actually. I don't know if he can. I mean, he can at least see this ball to the corner, at least a natural angle for the twelve. Uh, he to me he gave he gave this up he gave this rack up um, and if he if he can't see enough of the fourteen to play it inside it's not a bad shot to hit with a center ball and play it in the corner. Nick Williams, thanks for tuning in and watching this late at night. Forty three viewers on Facebook. It's TV Mike and Shane Jackson. Just oh, uh, he can see it right in the side pocket. Wow. Yeah, thanks a lot for. Uh, Sitting in with me, Shane, the entire time. I yeah, for sure. It. Just recovering from, uh, I had some injections in my back today, so I'm pretty homebound for today and tomorrow. As I is it heal sore? Up to... is, it, is it like cortisone? Or... Yeah, they did some kind of pain relieving injections, but, you know, there were six needles in my back today, and they penetrate oh, through all the, all the uh, muscle tissue. And at one time he said, don't tense up. I'm like, dude, you're sticking needles in my back. I, yeah. you know, I can't. See them. It hurts, and they and they go deep, and then they and then when they put the medicine in. It's like you feel all the pressure from the medicine. Just, it's a real unpleasant process. And, uh, you know where the where the injections were made, the the muscle tissues is is pretty sore. And then, you know, I still am battling with you know the Lyme stuff and. It's just, uh, it's, it's not one thing, it's another, man. But it is what it is. You just got to, it's just like playing a tough game and you just got to grind it out and, you know, do the whole thing. If I can't play, I'm going to give back to the community one way or another and watch pool and try to offer my insight and advice in this 14-14 thriller. I think he made one that time. Yeah, he's been he's been coming up a little dry on that that head ball. Head ball is great when it's working, and when it's not, you're you're at a huge disadvantage. I think stripes are the move. Uh, yeah. I like getting this ten out of the way. You're close, but you're kind of interfered with the fifteen. How do you feel about the green cloth? Do you, uh, after seeing blue just about everywhere you go, um, how do you feel? Are you indifferent? Are you more hip to blue or are you leaning toward gray or are you a traditional man? Talking to me? Yeah. I'm, I'm used to seeing the green here, but the first time I seen it, I was like, oh, well, because blue is <laughs> like everywhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, they probably do make electric blue Andy cloth. I'm sure they do. For whatever yeah. reason, everything's green here. They, um, uh, you know, at one time, you know, blue was the new green and now gray is the new blue. Uh, I'm not crazy about gray. I don't think I really like that. Yeah, it's a little it's a little too boring and drab in my opinion, but um kind of makes the table look dead on a stream too, to be honest with you. Well, like it just has a the hot spot in the middle of the table on a gray cloth is like really white, really hard to look at. So you got to make sure he's perfect on that 13 and I think he's okay and if not he can run into the the three ball a bit to get that forward bump that he needs I mean if, if where is he does he eight well I guess the eight goes on the top right by, I think it goes by the, by the one 
there's that little love bump that he needed. And here's, again, this is the exact thing that happened in the other set, just in, does it in go reverse. Down there? Does, it, does he go in the other set? If not, he can go around this ball three rails or punch out one rail. Yeah. I mean, I think it goes in both sides, but this side for sure. The other side I wasn't sure of. But this was kind of like the the momentum change from the from the first set. Nice job. I mean, a little bit of it was a little sloppy, but he got there. I mean, it's it's not over with yet, man. Dunbar's no, a pretty I mean, strong closer. I mean, he did close. Really well, the last set, and he kind I mean, of. I mean, he was he was down what sixteen eleven playing nine ball. Yeah, and then he he took yeah, like the five last games, four, man. Last four or five in a row, yeah, it was it was pretty wild. I mean, once you're up like that, man, you just you can't let up at all. You have to stay on it. Absolutely. I mean, going into this, I mean, I made bets before I even figured out he had a cast on, but <laughs> I just I just took him because, uh, you know, I don't know. I just took him, really, because I thought he was probably a slight favorite in nine ball. And since there, we're playing two sets, you know what I mean? So, uh, but I mean, he's a little green on, on action. You know, so this is good for him, but uh, obviously, I hope I hope he uh, we break even and then we do something else or whatever. But let me out of this so I can put a fucking down payment on a Godzilla pinball machine. Well, how much was the pinball machine again? It's like nine thousand. Whoa! <laughs> is it awesome? I mean, it got to be awesome for that kind of thing. Oh yeah, they're all awesome. It's a stern. Like where would you even put it? You're on the road too much to have a pinball machine like that. Oh, I don't know. I'm just I'm just fantasizing really. I'm gonna go back and watch some some more YouTube videos. I mean, there's a lot of different like tables out that are really cool that would be cool to own, but I'm also thinking about a virtual pinball machine. Because then uh -huh. you could play like hundreds and hundreds of different tables. And virtual pinball these days is super advanced. Like the table will shake and all kinds of shit. But oh, okay. It's obviously just a computer. It's just a it's it's just a computer. It's not mechanical pinball. But it, mechanical pinball, even a brand new machine, will break down. You got to clean wow. it, change the rubbers, do all kinds of shit. But it's real fun to play. I mean, it's more fun than virtual pinball. Look at this clay is coming alive, dude. He's seen these are, it. These are these are all open, really good. I mean, this this for sure is. He screws this yeah, up. He, it's something strange going on. He he uh, he picked it apart well. I mean, it was wasn't the hardest of racks, but he got through it well. I like how he's taking a little more time. Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah. you can overroll this shot. Uh, but whoa! I didn't, I didn't know he was going to go. I thought he was yeah, I thought it. I thought he was going to try to kill it. I mean, this is a little more interesting. I don't know. The eight's like. Uh, I don't know, man. I I think he. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just held it. I think. I mean, he now he's got to just travel all over the place. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm worried about him now. I mean, you can't hold this ball, or you'll be up by the the orange stripe. I mean, maybe he can do a Dunbar and come to the corner, two rails and out. He can go a Bill Romy and go four rails. I mean, I, no, don't think I, I, think, he, I don't think that goes by. Could he do the Dunbar and go up to the top rail, hit the That's Andy, and spin it back to left? Look at this. Oh, 
That's the shot I was thinking of right there. Two rails up in the corner. Dunbar has one option, if I'm not mistaken, and that's to shoot the 13. Yeah, because he got on, on the side of that ball. I don't know why he's so upset. It's not a bad shot. If you can do this shot here and you hit it with left-hand spin, you catch the short rail, the long rail on the left, and you go down in between the 10 and the 12. Now you've created distance and you have a blocker ball. So buckle this pocket with left and come down table. Don't try to hit this with inside. If it catches and it spins, there you go. Left hand spin, one, two. All right, well, he went that way. I would have tried to go deeper. Oh, now he's but got a lot of there. options. Yeah, now he's, he's got a lot of options. That's the power of a uh, center ball bar table. I mean, you, you can barely pick that ball up and put it in a better place. Of, well, a, in regards to being in the center. A little uh, Petey Pablo here, a little freak -a leak Not exactly the best placement. I think I would have picked the ball more than just generically getting back to center. Because this... You can you can chunk this fifteen. Okay. What do you think? Get rid of the eleven, right? Tricky, tricky. I think you shoot the eleven and shoot a stop shot or draw it to the short side of the twelve, and then you can play anything you want. I think you can play the nine to solve one of the problems on that side of the you, table. Just to put a ball. You can play the nine. I think he's intimidated by the pocketing the nine and drawing back for some reason. It's a little bit longer of a shot. Okay, 14. Okay, nine, I guess. I'm sorry. You missed it. What do you do? That's so strange. Yeah, he either miscued or he incredibly overthrew it to the right. Better break I mean, play. Here, let me take a he, look at it real quick. He he didn't even hit it at the right pace, Mike. He didn't even hit it at the right pace to get back down table. If you see, he kind of deaccelerated and hit it like a dud. So he just look left himself slow. bad. Look how slow he hit it. I mean, he wasn't going to get there if he hit it with the right spin. And then Clay finds a way to get in a weird spot. He might be able to pinch this bank and it goes short. He's going to play it in the corner. What a shot. Well, that's a smart play. Yeah. Um, what's the shot? What's the shot? Soft kick. kick. It might be a kick behind it. Yeah, the to kick to the short rail on the top and, and uh, soft kick at it, like a one-pocket shot. There's people watching. No. Why is he drunk? Listen, if you win this set, I'll talk Booker and I'll buy you, buy you, uh, buy you a, a stripper girl. He tried to buy me one the other night. I'm like, I'm good.
No, I mean, I mean that was to me that was the right shot. He just hit it poorly. Yeah, well that that was two shots he hit really poorly. Listen, the man, there ain't no, I'm gonna tell you right now, Travis, there ain't absolutely nothing to celebrate right now because this dude will fucking tear you up from behind. He's very capable of it. Oh, uh, he is he telling you to prematurely s celebrate about this well, match? He's, being he's just like he's. Uh, I don't know. I mean. He's, I've I've seen I've seen too much shit in this game, man. I've seen so much shit I shouldn't even bet on what I do. <laughs> no, it pulls so gross. I mean, honestly, I watched one time one of my favorite stories to tell is uh, we were betting on uh, this this guy uh, Doug uh, from the Carolinas, and he was playing Ben Zimmer and he was losing and he was complaining about the tag in his shirt. Oh, is that that, is that that older dude that plays real fast, real natural? He's like a bald dude. He's been around yeah. a long time. I stream, I streamed him down in, uh, down in North Carolina, <laughs> actually. But you say yeah. he's at Fiddlesticks or some shit. What was his last name? Yeah. Um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, they call him junior or Doug. Fuck, what was his last name? It'll come to me. But but he was playing Ben Zimmer, and the, it had reached two o'clock or two thirty. They closed the joint up, and it was just us. And he's like, "This tag, this tag, this tag on my shirt's bothering me." And we're like, "Fucking rip the tag off!" He's like, ah, "I don't know." And then one of us was just like, "Take your shirt off." Dude took his shirt off and ran out the set. <laughs> it was like what the fuck he looked like Austin Powers in his hairy ass chest Doug Young was his name one of the wildest things I've ever seen yeah I remember the dude was like pretty wild on the, on the table he was like a real quick player real incredibly natural I mean just yeah natural talent try to ask him how to do something like hey Doug you shoot combinations better than anybody I've ever seen how do you do it well man the ball just kind of you gotta hit it like this and then it, that other one turns and it does that and he was just like you're like well, he sounded like Boomhauer from King of the Hill oh okay yeah and you're like what the fuck did you just say to me I don't I'm not even following yeah when me and Derek were down there uh, he was at that tournament that's the right way to play that shot Except he didn't want to tie those balls up. Listen, man. Don't get relaxed, I'm telling you right now. Do not get relaxed. If anything, go do some fucking push-ups. Don't get yeah, relaxed. And get, tired. get a Red Bull. Three thousand. It's an I nine. Yeah, it's cool. Talking about my computer, my streaming computer, my main one with the dual screen. Yeah, that dual screen on your computer is pretty cool. I mean, you need an i9 to pump out 4K. All right. Just going to try to go into these. Play the, the 15 in the side. All right, Bell Bells. Oh, it's potty that's, time. That's the, uh, that's the nine ball. He's going to play the 11 or something. He's playing the 11 in the corner. Like a carom? Oh, my. Yeah, what a trick. It was like a dead carom. He didn't get left anything good, though. Or maybe he, oh. see, maybe he sees an eye. If not, he can jump it. That's for sure. I'm going to step away and let the dog out. Come on. Oh, 
I shouldn't even bet against him. He's like, I'm like, dude, you better fucking just sit down and stare at the table. That's what you need to do. Nice shot. This dude has not missed a jump shot except for maybe one out of like six or seven. Eight ball is funny. I mean, how? Which pocket does it even go in? It's like... It goes in the other side pocket. That's it. Or maybe it goes in the corner, but I think the six is in the way. Six is in the way. So let's see. I don't know what's the move here. I mean, these solids don't look very good either. But I would think that he would have an opportunity to play safe if he gets to the next inning. At least run a couple balls and play safe. Dane, I don't know if you're uh, coming back in in a second. I mean, what kind? Of, what, I don't know what kind of shot there is here, really. Let's see what he calls. Shooting something. What kind of hero shot it. is he trying to do? Yeah. Off the, in the side? Yes, eight off the one in the corner. Eight off the one? Yeah. I think, or no, he just called it in the side now. Oof. Well, he actually did Clay a favor by opening the ball so much. I'm telling you, man, you gotta bear down. You can't fuck around with Dunbar. He's tough. But yeah, maybe yeah, maybe he did learn from the first set. Because I mean, honestly, uh, Dunbar's a strong eight ball player. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I mean, Dunbar's making some boo boos, and he's allowing Clay to get some confidence. But Clay is, he's using his head a little bit. He's not. He's no pushover, and I think he's showing us that. I mean, and get, give the guy some, you know, extra credit. I mean, he's got a fucking cast on him. Don't like the shot? Shoot a stop shot. But I think it's – I think these are really – either you shoot the five or you shoot the six. The six is a hanger. I mean, I think the five is 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 high, pretty, but the one is enough to. Whoa, I'm not whoa. sure I like all that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say, whoa, whoa, fella, just calm your. There that's you a, go. That's, that's I mean, shot. that's a good shot, but I'm surprised it didn't just try to get out. Really. Well, <laughs> it's doing this type of stuff has burnt him more times than it's helped him. Dunbar's kicked him in. Mm -hmm. Or he's played, yeah, or he's played jump. bad, yeah. Or he's played a bad safety, and and it let it leak out. Or Dunbar's jumped it in. I mean, he ain't so, jumping this in, but no, but but I definitely think he could have, he could have ran out there. Um, it's a, it's it's a smart shot, but at the same time, it's burned him in the past. So I don't know why he would have stuck to that. <laughs>
Well, he didn't even get a hit on it, so I guess it worked out good for Clay. Yeah. So the whole time that he was messing around and uh, waiting for Dunbar to shoot all that, he should have planned out the run out. Yes. Absolutely. Because now he's already kind of goofy on this ball. Um, maybe he's straight in. Actually, I can't tell. Okay. Five, sometimes four, the angles, yeah, sometimes the angle's a little, or the, uh, the view is different. Wow. I mean, this you know, is, uh, this is not how I expected it. I'm not going to lie, Mike. I, I thought that Dunbar pulled the rabbit out of his hat in the nine well, ball. Listen, man, like I said, the, uh, this this dude is a fucking cheetah. He's a cat. He can grind it out, man. He can. That's what I'm saying. You can't. If if I'm Clay, you can't. You can't let up on anything. And no. you're lucky. To, you're lucky to be in this position. To be honest with you, you can't no, take. Don't make him. Granted. Don't make him feel bad, Mike. You're trying to get him to win. Well, I mean, I'm not telling him that, but I'm saying that's <laughs> that's the reality of the situation. Yeah. If you're, a, if you're ahead of this guy this far in a set, you're actually lucky. This is true. I mean, uh, I think he can play better, you know, Clay. Dunbar can definitely play better, but for whatever reason, this is what the score is now. So, well, you just got to fucking ride this out. He's four games away from getting... Getting you even. So, huh? Well, I'm sure Dunbar will play again. He's just, he's a good guy. He's a good gambler. I mean, if we, you know, if Clay wins this, I mean, it's, they're even anyway. So, <clears throat> but I'm just saying, don't ever count this fucking dude out. Dunbar is a a fierce competitor. I made money with him. I made money. I've lost. I probably lost more money because when he started playing, I was betting against him mostly. But sometimes, you know, I'll bet with him. I never jump in a stake with it. You know, I just side bet here and there and stuff usually. Yeah, that's what people got to realize too: is that, that it's nothing personal and it's always just business. You know, betting with them, betting against them, or whatever. Yeah. You know, as long as people, as long as people don't get their heart broken, you know. I mean, it's like, listen, man, I love you, but I don't think you can win. Or even if you know it's a dead even match, you you're gonna you're gonna bet on one of them. Yeah. I mean, just like you know, when when we used to play Booker, I mean, we were we were betting against. I bet against the money, you know. Because you know you can win money, or you you know side bet <laughs> with Danny Martino or Booker, or, you know, or for that matter, that's what people come after me for sometimes. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm in a bad game sometimes. I'll, I'll side bet more. No, I do not want to bet five hundred dollars more, Dunbar. <laughs> Trust me, if I did, he'd probably just fucking tear the whole cloth off the table and run out. I know. <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like that's what he needs. I really I'm, do. I'm not. I'm not doing that. And, and I'm not talking shit about him. I don't know if he has. He just messaged me talking about let's bet more. You know, I'm giving Dunbar all the credit in the world. He, you know, this Clay Davis don't know. You can't let up on a guy that's a tough, a a tough competitor. You can't. A, a real life cheetah that's going to cut this twelve ball in. Oh, 
This Untude runs threes. I mean, we haven't seen it now, but Dunbar can run threes. Yeah, I don't think, uh, looking back, I don't know if anybody really put more than two together. I don't know if they even did a two. This table makes it a little more difficult, right? Uh, I think he was hoping to get this nine ball, but he doesn't see it good <clears throat> enough, I don't think. To me, it looks like it's half ball hidden. Hmm. No. Yeah. You still got the seven to get out here. But he could possibly get into it right now. You see the shot? I mean. Uh, you mean the two balls of the corner? Two to the two in the corner. Punch it over to the to the seven. I mean, it would be more ideal to get on the underside of the five and run into it that way. Um, but it's kind of already pointing in that direction. I think he wants to play this so he can figure out these two balls here. I'm, I'm assuming the three probably goes. I know, but he had the two already there. That was like a safe ball. But you could have used it if you ran into Actually, some kind of six. Okay, he's pretty good now, but he's still got to get the seven out. Yeah, he's still got to get the seven out. And what I don't like is getting the seven out late into the rack. I like to try to remove that problem as soon as possible. So you shoot the two, right. get underneath of the five. But I could try to do the same thing, even if it's like some hellacious breakout shot. Yeah, fucking who cares, man? Rearrange the furniture and it works in your favor because now – all sorts of new things have developed. And yeah, he can this, get out with the five. He can get it out. And you can also get stuck behind this 12. You gotta clip the you gotta clip the 12 correctly. Well, that's a problem now. Yeah, I would have Professor Shane is right. I, no, I mean I mean it's always it's always whatever they say, yeah. hindsight's 2020, but I, I would have tried to get into it a little sooner because everything was open. That was the only trouble ball. The, the two ball was a safety net, and I just felt like, you know, fuck it, just go for it. Wow. Hey, if you want to get a chili popper, message uh, Randy Dininger on Facebook. Some guy was asking. Yeah, chili poppers uh, was about 50-some, 50, 50 40, 50. I'm not sure the exact number for the expo. Uh, if you want see, one, see what it's going to be this hard. This is why he, he didn't get out because he didn't, he didn't get on that ball right. a big opportunity for Dunbar, actually, if he can make the balls. I mean, that's the problem, dude. He's missed ball in hand tonight already prior to this, so it w doesn't surprise me. I hate saying that. I mean, he hit that ball so chunky, it was, like, embarrassing, really. 10, 9, 14. Let's, let's sort of look at here. Just a little top spin, and you'll get there. Good baby cheetah. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm going to tune into, uh, let's see here. Current high run from Jason Shaw's 259. Nothing crazy. 1715. You think this is where it happens? Uh, Mark Magnolia is playing Adam Maloney here at Loose Rex on Sunday. Nice. I thought it was going to be me, somewhere else. Find me a game Sunday and I'll come up. Zimbardi or somebody that I can give a spot to. And I don't well, they're have to all bet. listening. They're all listening. Hey, if you guys are out there, somebody want to play me Sunday at Loose Racks on another seven foot diamond uh, to get me warm for the expo it can be $50 sets, $100 sets, $200 sets. Nothing too crazy. Just looking to, uh, you know, get the arm loose. I'm going to give it tomorrow one more day for my back to heal up. Uh, just because it's real tender, but I, I really want to hit some balls. and I would really like for it to be uh, on a seven-foot diamond. So if you're out in listening land, you let me know. There we go. The cheetah is surveying the table. Punch the four. What's down table here? Those are two stripes. Punch the four. Five. Two. Seven. Eight in the side. Oh, there's a six ball there. Mm. Four, five, six. I don't know. Four, five. Let's just make the four first. Kind of jacked up over these balls. Oh, goodness. He might have oh, gotten to a man. spot. Yeah, he, he did. Might've... He did. He can't see this. I mean, maybe he can see the seven, but I don't think he can see the two or the five. He kind of, like, I mean, bunted he's got the it. Three. He's got the three. Did you see how he kind of let off of it when he hit it? Like, instead of, like, a a real confident, like, I'm going to smack this with solid or with, uh, you know, straight in. No, here we go. He's shooting at the five. Oh, I guess you can oh. see it. It's a bit of a What's going to Get out of here. Get out of here. Wow. Sometimes... When you're out on the savannah, you get lucky. You find your next meal. <laughs> out in <of> the savannah, <laughs> African jungle. I don't even know if that's where cheetahs are at, but I can yeah, ask. I believe so. I believe so. Hey Siri, you could, you where could ask Siri? Yeah. Africa and Asia. Did you say where cheetahs live? Yeah. This is tricky business, too. I almost want to shoot the three first. Draw over and try to knock into the six. Or leave myself the angle to, to get back to center, punch off the rail, shoot the two and punch off the rail and come back for the six. I honestly feel like you got to shoot the three. It, it's a it's a more difficult shot, but if he can if he can swing it and bump into the six, that's okay. And if he doesn't, he comes back to center, and then he can shoot the two in the top right corner and pop off the rail. So you're, you're kind of like taking a chance at the six and your constellation prize is the, is the two, but 
Uh, okay, so now you have the same shot, but way harder. Now you have you no can't, safety. Yeah, you can't see the six at all. You have no safety net to come into the six ball. Before you had the two balls of safety net. He wouldn't. He wouldn't think about. No, he wouldn't jump this. Now, can he get to a place and bank the six in the side, or is the six frozen to the rail? It is not frozen, but it's close. It's close. So he might be able to do one of those things where he he's shooting away from it, pinches it with low and inside, and shortens it up and, and banks it in the side. But I mean, he has to basically be like right where the 15's at or higher. What the hell? Mm. No, he's I dead. He's, I don't know what he's got to do. Cross he's side. dead. It's a weird cross side angle. Doesn't go. He, it yeah. kisses. He's, he's, he's hoping that physics isn't a real thing. And Sometimes I wonder, you know, from playing one pocket, how much that stuff's been ingrained into my mind and, you know, seeing it and do other people see it or do they just believe it's going to happen? But, it's, you know, if if there's if it goes, I mean, I, I would be incredibly shocked. Wow. You almost got it to go off the carom. It wasn't yeah, really clean, but it was going over. There. Right. Yeah. It wasn't natural. Then again, you know, it goes it goes. I mean, all right, Clay's just gotta gotta take the broom here and sweep these off the table. They're out in the open. Pick your pick your pattern and go. Don't get lazy. See, so many players just go. Oh, I'm just gonna dink it in and just see what else is what else is there. Oh my! Hey, Mark, you if you're still watching, uh, if I'm coherent on Sunday, maybe I'll come up <laughs> and do that game. I mean, you don't like we're doing a 80 player tournament with eight tables in two different locations, like a block away from each other, and it starts at like 11. Eighty players race to three and three. I mean, it's gonna be a long night. I don't even know. Like, I'm gonna be going to bed and getting up at six o'clock to go get Mackie and drive out there. Okay, don't that freeze a, yourself. That was, that was a tough shot. Yeah, and it's and you know, that was a tough shot under the pressure. With the two game lead, and he's it's not over. He left himself frozen the rail here. It's over. This young man is uh is impressing me with his My nice job. With his broken <laughs> arm and broken hand. Yeah, I gotta be crazy to to be like, oh, you know, yeah, we'll bet a thousand. Uh, oh, by the way, you still got your cast on? Yeah. Whoops, a daisy. Well, it's not over with yet, man. Until it gets to twenty one, I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean. 
I would have thought that Clay was supposed to win the nine ball, or more more than likely supposed to win the nine ball. And he didn't. And uh, Dunbar's, you know, likes eight ball more. Well, just it, because yeah, you it like is it. Bit, it is a bit backwards. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the other way, like I said earlier, it was he was trailing by two. Uh, Clay was trailing by two. Clay was trailing by – or Dunbar was trailing by two and then spread his wings. But it was just weird. I mean, they never really got – until the end, they never really got – it was two or three games. I mean, they were they were pretty neck and neck. I think this is a – I don't know how they fared in, in you know – you know, many moons ago, but uh, it know, seems I, like I it's a pretty know, close so, game. I don't know if they've they've been in action before, but Dunbar's played them in tournaments several times. I think he should get rid of this stripes at the top. I don't know what he's doing. I guess. I guess if you want to shoot the combo, get the guy to nineteen. If you miss, I would have. I would have put the cue ball in that wedge somehow. Or put ball in hand and shot the combo. Okay. Be careful here. Be careful running into this six ball. If you can get around it, great. If you have to run into the one, okay. But you got to pick a plan. And you got to play an educated guess of what yeah, side of the one am I going to run into? I mean, I think you're going to run into the six. Okay, so can he work around it? To it's hard me, to tell. To me, if he can, if he can put like top and right, can he go around it? If not, can he elevate and hit low left, throw the fifteen, and run into the one? That's the shot I think I would shoot. If it's there. And again, I, I can't. He's going to try to load up with the inside. Yeah, he hit the six, um, all right, but he had a lot of energy in it. He had a lot of energy, and he got uh, some good fortune. I, uh, that's <laughs> terrible. Terrible to say. I, I'm not one to to bash another streamer, but I was watching a particular stream, and they kept saying, "Fortune favors the bold." Fortune favors the bold, and they must have said it like, I don't know. I mean, I've been 50, saying that for years, but I'm not going to say it every fucking rack. I mean, come on, dude. They were saying it like every three racks. It was like obnoxious. I couldn't watch it anymore. Mm. Well. Fortune didn't wow. favor nothing here. He left wow. him a tough shot. I don't know if the two goes off the seven, or if he has know. to play the four. Two. If he has, if he has to play the four, it's it's not an easy shot. He might be able to play the one. Is he calling the side here? This is. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe the two just goes past the seven. Oh, he played the he played the Mackey shot and he played a good well, watch except out, for seven. the seven just got in the game though. Oh no. That's no good. That's no good. You're right. You, you, you hit that too hard. You don't need to Yeah, you don't need to fram it. You need to leave it alone. Leave leave your balls uh on the upper half of the table. It's either gonna go, it's gonna go or it's not. You don't have to fucking warp speed it. Well, yeah, the ball went in, and that, that other ball traveled a long ways to get back up there. Oh, so that's it so absolutely great. didn't need to. He's going to hopefully get the angle here. Slow down. It's close. It's close. He could probably draw into the 14 into the 11 if he can't come in. I really don't see much benefit running into the 7. I think you got to run into the 14. Yeah, like that. All right, well, that worked out good for him. All almost, right. He almost didn't have the right angle. Got to check your plums here. Uh, I mean, long, straight-in shot. 
no, I mean it's a bar table. I, I have a hard time saying that, but it's 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 a decently long shot for this size table. You're elevated. You want to shoot a stop shot. It's late into the night. Set two. You're down a set. You're about to close it and win. Can you do it? How are you feeling? Broken, broken hand. Two in the morning. He's going to shoot the five instead and float it. Shut up. That ain't no good. Is he stuck? I mean, I think he can maybe, maybe make it two way. Oh, he can just tuck. Can he just tuck it? Can he just like he's, he's play? Gonna let him see the fourteen. That's the problem. He can see the fourteen absolutely, and it looks so. like he yeah. can either hit it with the side and come up on it. Just make sure you don't scratch in the side, or you can come in behind it and kind of push it to the center of the table. Like a one pocket shot, you're gonna hit this with inside and come in in deep. It looks like he's gonna put inside on it. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Okay. Whoa. Well, we're not getting friendly here. He said, no, sir, you have to shoot it. A nice piece of blue resin kind of runs all the way up. These segments into a solid forearm, but it does have some character in it in these little spots. This one's fifteen hundred. All right, back a big. Minute. All right, I'm gonna push mute as well. I'm gonna brush my teeth.
All right, guys, I'm back. Thanks for holding. This rack is kind of ugly. Appreciate you guys sticking around with us. Now it's kind of a tricky spot here. When it when it comes to soldiers here, Dunbar's outnumbered, but he has control of two pockets almost. Gotta watch that spring, don't let it get I don't know if Clay can play the two or the seven two. He can definitely take control of this pocket. And he made them both. I don't know. If you're if you're Dunbar, I think you gotta shoot the six in. Good contact. What did you what did you think about shooting the six ball in there? Like just shoot shooting your opponent's ball in. I didn't see it. Okay. I mean, he ain't out of this yet. He ain't out of the savannah yet. No, he is not out of the savannah. Nope. And it looks like he might have. I don't know. I <sighs> Again, when it when it comes to soldiers, Dunbar's down a soldier. He can shoot the 12, but there's absolutely no benefit unless it would somehow hit the one and open it up. This is a good shot. Take the eights pocket. Good shot. I mean, it's playable off the back side. And these guys are moving and grooving. They know it's the end. This is the official end game. Clay again with that terrible shot that hasn't worked yet. Where he tries to block the lane with the... Unless he was just trying to bunt it by the side. Oh, Justin Dunbar with the aggressive move here. Clay's just going to... I would think he would just thin off the two and make the... the whatever yeah. strike that is. I put yeah. Uh, I want to say it's a 12 ball. Okay, I took my glasses off, so I can't see anything. <laughs> well, it gets a stripe, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I think that's the shot. Make sure it doesn't go too far, because then you leave him a piece of the 10 to shoot in the side. But 10 playable in the side, I believe. He's doing something with the 6 ball. Okay. Okay. 
if he has a piece of this 12, he can he can nip the seven on the way out. I don't think so. You don't think he can uh make this 12? No. I don't know about that. A good player can spin this ball in the seven. Yeah. And the and the two comes up and the cue ball is stopped by the stripe. It can go bad and go wrong and go in. They could follow the twelve. Um Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean I think that's your only shot. You're not gonna shoot the six and try to come in between them or something, but just just be careful that when you come off this two that you don't go in with the twelve. And there's no possible way to wedge in between the two and the seven, I don't think. Pool, a thinking man's game. For some, I should say for some. As Mackie says, eight ball, a man's game. <laughs> hey, you know, he, he plays he plays it well. He sees it good. He sees the, the layouts well. He makes it easy, and that's, you know, the the easier you can make a hard game, uh, you know, the better off you'll be. I think he's saying the cool. two is not frozen. Yeah, but what's he going to do with it? He's not going to roll in the, to the hour right side of that two ball. I don't think he can. I think you're supposed to shoot at the seven. Yeah, I, I think mean, this you, isn't, you know, I think you're supposed to go it, for the seven. Yeah, I think you, well, he's ducked a couple times uh, in tonight's matches that I was like really shocked at. Um, where do you play this? In the side or in the corner? In the corner, right? I don't yeah, know. I don't it's know. not that bad at all, really. E either one of them look okay. Whatever it is, it has to go. I mean, that's the pressure that you feel in this in this particular spot. It has to go. So bear down, stay down, and roll it in. Oh wow. Oh, no. oh. I think he I think he moved his body there. Well, well, maybe you know he's... what? The seven ball's a little covered. He's gonna have to shoot. Well, he's gotta do know, something. He could shoot the, the six or the two, I guess. Yeah, you'd have to yeah, you gotta get on the eight for sure. So it's not it's not as easy, but I mean it's like that children's song. You got the whole world in your hands. And you gave it away. I think he's playing a two-way shot. I mean, he's banking the seven. He's banking the seven. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what, how much pathway. I'm wa I'm only watching on the Zoom call now, so I don't know if the eight seven is a is there a hole there. Did he get a window? I don't think so. What? Cease is probably in, uh, in bed. Mm hmm No, no, we're not shooting the 10 off the rail into the 14, are we? That's what he's doing. Hmm. That's what he's doing. That's what he's looking at, at, at least. Do or die, really. Absolutely do or die. 
It sounds more like die. I mean, I hope it goes. Wow. What a shot. What a wow. shot. What? I mean, it's not over. He's got to use the bridge here. And at this hour, using the rake sometimes doesn't... Uh, oh, he can reach it. Take let it loose a little bit, come back down. What an excellent shot that was. I mean, that was and he you gives know. it to him. At this at this hour, after all of this, you're shooting everything. I would think. At I mean, he got fortunate. He has so much money that you use the uh, dollars as your bibs or what? You about to throw it around <laughs> with some ramen noodles or what? I was texting somebody and I was counting money. That guy bought a carbon fiber shaft off me tonight. He's calling the six ball. Okay. Open, open table. So it ties up the one seven, doesn't have enough of the two, can shoot the four and the three. Maybe he can shoot enough of the two. I would think so. It's probably what you got to go for. Get my money ready to, to give you since I'm about to lose this set. Wink, wink. All right, big ball kind of elevated over the 13. Got to play the one on the side. That kind of a weird angle. Big shot, got to go. Good shot. Um, a bit bouncy. I mean, should be okay, but you know, again, at this hour, after you know, eighty games of pool or whatever. Yeah, we already played a race to twenty-one and nine ball, and it almost went right to the end. So that's like forty. Yeah, I think they both have I think they both have around forty games each or close to it. Okay. It's good so far. I think you if I'm clay, I gotta shoot the seven and then the three. Because if you shoot the three, you can get caught up in the in the jungle of the thirteen and twelve. And if you get stuck there, I don't know, really. I mean, he's looking at it, but you can get, you can get kind of get stuck in there and get stuck on this bottom rail and then have a weird shot on the seven and not have a pocket for the eight because the, the eight sides looks like it is, it looks like it goes past 13. But I don't know about the 11. If he has to, if no, he, has, I don't, I don't he, think so. If he gets stuck on the bottom rail, then he's, he's got to kind of roll the seven in with top. So then he's, he's kind of forced to shoot the eight in the, in the side. But I mean, we'll see, we'll see what, how it plays out. You know, he could rail first, this go right underneath the 12 and get right back to where he's at. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how he plays it. Or you go rail first off the three, you catch the back side of the 12 and you scratch in the bottom left. I've done both. He's going to try to draw out. Oh, spectacular shot. 
But you see how you could have caught off the back side of that 12? Oh, easily. That could have changed that been... a lot of things. Yeah. I think you go in the corner past the 13. Either that or you come across and play it up here. Yeah. Coming across is okay. You can play it in the... Or you can play in the other side. Can he play it in the side off the 11? Is that there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Nice out. Good out, kid. He's going on the side. He has to go on the side. Well... I'll make my comment after this shot. I don't want to say anything. Something about it he's not he's not comfortable with. Is it over the thirteen or is he worried about coming into the scratch or yeah, he's over the thirteen. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, that's a bad mess. If you're Dunbar, you just got to breathe and just uh, do what you know how to do and don't don't leave yourself frozen to the eight ball. What a uh, Clay was, he was, he did it, he did everything right, you know, and I think that's what hurts. All right, these are tap, tap, tap. Should be okay here. Just bear down, make the ball. We got the angle to go down a little bit more. Find your line. Keep your eyes glued to the table where your spot is that you need to run into. Come on, man. What's all that? What's all that jazz? What's all that for? Really? Why couldn't he just roll down to the center diamond and play the ball on the side? Well, I mean, what what's going on here? Why does he need to do all that? 18-18, ladies and gentlemen, race to three. Oh, very dramatic, 18-18. That was highly unnecessary. Man, scares me when they do that shit. 18-18, Mike. Let's check the plums. Race the three. You're on the hook. Soft break. 12 catching it at the end. There it is. 
This is this is uh this is nerve wracking, dude. What the hell? Shoot the one. Do you do you open the one and does the three pass in the bottom left? Or it only goes in the bottom right. So you could one, four. The two doesn't play. The two doesn't play nice with others. Man, I think you got to go for the solids. And you think you got to draw into this 14 and develop the two ball. I almost don't want to shoot it. I almost want to just fucking thin the five ball and put them on the Andy and just. Tie up the five ten. I don't in this in this position. You know, sometimes I don't want to be the guy to make the move. I would rather make moves with you than be the guy to make the move. What do you do? What are you What are you taking? I think You've he's taking the solids. You think he's taking the one and well, doing the two? For or? the fact that the 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 five is in front of the nine. Uh, I mean, I don't even think stripes are too bad, really. But yeah, stripes aren't terrible either. You can run. You could shoot the thirteen and, and bump the four. Oh my goodness, that's what he's doing. I'm missing something, buddy. You're just... ten ball or the eleven. I think you I think you play the ten and bump the bump the nine because the the fourteen shoots down to our bottom right. But then you're dead again. You get rid of the eleven now? I think that's I what know. he's gonna do, actually. I don't know, man. I think that's I, what he's doing. I, I don't want to. I don't know. What I think I would have taken solids. No, no, what's going to happen here? What is going to happen here? Well, the four ball is still kind of tied up. The two balls. The limited. four doesn't pass. I mean, I guess it does. It looks close to me, but. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> How about just that? Ran into, yeah, just made two, solved two Everything. problems. But now he might have to play the four now because he blocked up pocket. He sure did. And I'm watching on the Zoom call, so I got a lot of uh, a lot of hot spot on the rail. So I can't tell if it passes in the bottom right or not. If it can if unless he has to play it soft into the cushion. So it accepts it. I think it goes. He just wow. fucking jacked up and fired it. <laughs> yeah, clean as a whistle, man. Race the three for all the marbles. This guy has the plums. I, I like I like how methodical he is. I, I want to give that to him. I really think that he, you know, he he looks it over. He's, he and he makes sure that he's he's good with whatever decision that he makes, and like when he gets back up and down and stuff, I really like when I see a player do that. I guess he got to a window to make the five. Wow. Yeah, he could five one three two. He missed it. Shut the front door. 
Yeah, but he didn't do anything didn't for leave, Dunbar. He, not really. He didn't do him too many favors. He, I mean, he's got to back cut the 11. That's it, right? I mean, what else has he got? If you back cut the 11, you got to put top and play it to the bottom rail. That's that. I mean, and hope unless it goes straight, unless it's the tangent's going straight to the side pocket, you got to leave them down on the bottom end rail. Yeah. And again, make sure you avoid the side and you go with and you go with top top spin if it's there. There's Help a shot. is on. Help is There's on the way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but but now what? He so still now, doesn't have too much. So now do you thin the nine and, and try to one pocket him behind the fourteen uh whatever that is? Do you get ball. do you get loco and try to jump the three? God, this is scary. You can't play the nine and make the five because he shoots the one in the side. I think you gotta bank at this nine and try to cluster up the two. He could mass A. He could mass A the 15. I don't know if it's there. I'm just I'm just talking out my rear end. He's jumping. Oh, God, this is scary. I think you got to jump real. This is a long way first. to jump. It is. I think you got to jump real first. Oh my! Rolling in. Okay. Uh, because I don't have it up and running, did anybody say they were going to stop by and hang out and play me some cheap sets on Sunday or no? Uh, nobody said that yet. Anybody interested in? Playing something on Sunday. There's going to be a game up here on Sunday. I don't know if I'll be here because I might be too exhausted. Or All right, he's he's going the wrong way a bit. He's got to pull it, or he's going to run into the fourteen. Okay. Way to hold it together. All right, guys. We're in a busy pool room. We've got some great improvements in the industry here. You can now get an entire month for a free trial of Let's Get Streaming TV service. You heard me. It's a fantastic deal. You can't turn down. We'll help you configure it, and you will have an entire month. Hit up TV Mike, and we'll get back to you and get you going. The best apps, the best tech support, the best service you can get in this industry. I promise you, you won't regret it. Get our deluxe package for forty-four ninety-seven a month. Cut the cord, cut the box, go mobile, and let's get streaming. Hit me up. Thank. You. I don't think he's gonna make one this time. Nope. All right, let's let's evaluate here. Thirteen. Steel City Bill wants to play Zach Edwards. Oh, okay. I suppose that would be pretty fair.
I don't, I don't know what to tell you here. I mean, you can't really back up. The... Look at the table. I'm telling Clay to focus. He's talking to his buddy. Like his fucking Sunday at the Apollo. Focus. I mean, you shoot the 10, I think. I don't think he's going to back cut this red. Hey, Tom Jones. Good player. Him and Mackey hit a couple of good sets the other day in the tournament. He absolutely outplayed Mackey the first time. And then Mackey got his revenge somehow. That was a long tournament. 35 players played on six tables, raced to three. Didn't get done till like four, something like that. Three. Yeah. Dude says, yo, Mike, where's Mackie socks? Well, where's Mackie at? That's the first question. <laughs> He's not in this match, brother. Is we'll he going to shoot the... We'll see him tomorrow, though. Is he going to shoot the 10? I mean, is that if you want stripes, that's the only shot, right? You can't, but you can't spin this 11 in. I don't think. I can't tell. I think he wants to, but it's really it's little, steep. It's a little aggressive. I think you shoot the 10, and then you can get to your 14. There's not a solid available. Does the 13 go past the 5? Mackie's far goes to 6 12. Uh, I would say no. The 5 is pretty much in front of the center of the side pocket. All right. So, so can you take solid, shoot the. Whatever that is, the 12 into the 5. He's going to try to back up this ball. I knew it. He did it. Wow. Yeah. Well, young man, your work's not done. The 9, 3, 13 in the side. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I almost like soft kicking at the 15. This ball must go on the side. Unless he can draw the nine into the cushion, into the 13. He may play, may play the Q into the three, into the 12, 13, into the five. Or, or snap it and come into the cushion and not touch the three. But then you know what can happen. You, you go through the window. It's so gross. It's better just to go into the three, I think. You snap draw this and catch the window. You're, you're sick. Oh, wow. he's sick. Wow. I didn't see that happening. That was, that was cold. Yeah, let's watch that again. <laughs> I mean, let me just see what happens. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Okay, so... I think he catches the backside of the nine and then caroms off the five and scratches. Oh. I mean, that's pretty random, honestly. Yeah, I didn't like see two, that. I mean, two different things happened there that probably you didn't think would happen. Yeah, he snapped it good. I mean, he hit it. He hit it good. That's gross. Well, they're all out in the open, Clay. Big. This is a big game for him. I mean, just the same as you. I mean, he's either stuck two thousand, or he's uh, or he's even, or a thousand, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, in his mind, he's playing for a thousand dollars right now.
and you said it earlier, he is a little green, I think, as well. So, you know, how much experience does he have in this, you know. This end game pressure situation. Yeah, it's much different. I mean, much different. And being down the set, you know, even if you were dead even, you'd be feeling the end game pressure. But this is like, uh, you know, real pressure here. Steel City Bill, uh, Zach Edwards is saying, come the fiddlesticks is what he's saying. Steel City Bill, if you lost a road partner with uh, the other Bill, we can go. I want to play some bar table Sunday. You know, it sucks. The expo is all bar table. Was so I, was, I wasn't paying 500 for the, the uh, pro event. Uh, Man, I'm telling you, he might get something funny off this five to the eight. Yeah, I didn't like uh, – I got a little scared here for a minute when he ran into it. Oh. Oh, Lord. What was that? That was just a – you know, you remember Windsor Louie? Uh, I kind of do, I think, from Hall of Fame, yeah. Yeah, Windsor Louie from Hall of Fame. He told me those are the yips. And what you just experienced is that young man getting the yips. And he jumped up. Wow. A cheetah tastes blood. There you go. No big deal. Shoot it. That's either either way is okay. You can shoot the uh fourteen or whatever. Get on the fifteen. Roll down. Shoot the ten. Go two rails and shoot the eight in the top left. Or you can shoot the the ten, but you're kind of straight. And then you got a weird angle on the fourteen. I like shooting the the fourteen. Yep. I don't even like getting that straight. I like leaving it right about where it is. I don't like getting that straight, personally. But now if you can hug this rail and you leave your cue ball one diamond from the side pocket, and you have that like back cut where the cue ball goes into the rail. You can go two rails and and leave it like right where the chalk's at. See, this is no good because you're straight. So he should have left it hugged on the rail. Now you got to come with a draw stroke at three in the morning. No, you don't want to. Really got to make sure your cue's chalked up well. Really evaluate the situation here. Visualize where you need to get and how many revolutions it takes to get there. I'm supposed to get up at 6 o'clock today. He's going to leave himself on the rail. Oh, my goodness. Not too bad. Not, it isn't.
Has he has he hit down on it? Is he gonna go up? He's hitting down on it. Mike. I'm gonna go potty real quick. Check my check my pants. I was gonna tell you to check <laughs> your pants. <laughs> oh man. All right. He made one on the break. I think you got to take solids here. The four balls kind of your trouble ball. The two passes. If you can play the two off the stripe down there, you can develop the hole for the four. The stripes are not that great because of the nine ball. The six is, and if you take solids, the seven's blocking the hole for the stripes. So, uh, uh, when it comes to opening shots, I don't really see anything that I like. Maybe the six off the eight. I don't know if he can twist this 11 in. If he can twist the 11 in, that's all right. But you still got to deal with this 9 somehow. I don't know, man. I don't envy this. I don't envy this shot or this position. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you really do? Do you play the ten on the side? It doesn't even sound that doesn't even sound good. It sounds terrible, actually. I think you just said fuck it, whatever that fuck. means. Well, the, I mean, he's really in a bad spot. I mean, mm -hmm. he made a ball on the break. The eleven's. I don't know how much you heard of this, but the eleven's tricky. The six might play off the eight. He might be able to play the ten in the side. I, I don't I don't really see anything that's like jumping out at me. Like I would be happy to shoot, you know. Oh wow. Uh not a five. Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean I think it hit the ball. Path. All right, I'm gonna watch. I mean, I think it's a foul, really, but because the bridge what? moved a bunch did of it, balls. The bridge moved the balls. Or the did the ball hit it? it was I don't good. think it hit. I think it, it was good. I think it looked think funny because he, he had a bridge on the table. Yeah, no, I think he pulled it up in time. But it's still not. Oh, this is this is ugly. This is ugly. For all the marbles, this is real ugly. My God, Facebook's about to shut off the stream. No. Yeah, it's like you have ten minutes remaining because I've been on air like eight hours. I have to restart it, guys. When do you do it? Do you think we can get through this rack? Ten minutes. Yeah. I mean, I won't have to restart YouTube, but I will have to restart Facebook. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to lose it. I'm I'm on the Zoom call, but I feel bad for everybody else. For the other forty Facebookers. Okay, so 
don't open the two. I think you just soft kick at the 14. Yeah. Oh my God, it didn't go. But that's okay. Oh man, what a uh, what a whatever. Look at this shot. <laughs> okay, you ready for the shot? Twelve bump out the nine. Okay. Don't even look at don't even look at that combo. Knock into the nine right now. You have an opportunity. The four and the two are are jammed up. You got all the all the good stuff. Oh my goodness, you got all the good going for you down in the bottom right. If you're Justin Dunbar, you ne you need to move this nine ball. When do you when can you do it? You can do it right now. With the fourteen and the fifteen being down there, you have so many opportunities to break open this ten that you need to focus on your trouble. Oh, I just want to shake him. Yeah, that's great, dude. But what now? Shoot the Martin's 10 and try to bump. Who is? Adam Martin. Maybe he'll nice. play yeah. Some bar table nine ball. That'd be fun. He's a good player. That'd be, you know. Yeah, he's a good player be... for sure. Be a good challenge, especially if I play uh, expo format. Adam, if you're not doing nothing Sunday and you want to go to uh, Loose Racks, play some Super Billiards Expo format nine ball. See, this is what I don't like about this, and I, I felt like he should have got the nine out now. I don't know if he has enough of this fifteen to spin into it. I would say no. I mean, he, can even, he can. He can. I don't even know if he can see it. Yeah, he's in a bad way, man. He had to move the nine early. We're up by Icebreakers, Adam. It's in Youngstown, about 10 minutes away from Icebreakers. Can he mass A it? Can he, like, shoot that, like, elevated spin cut? Well, that's pretty insane. There it is. He's looking at it. What is it? What else is he gonna do? Shoot the twelve into the corner, into the one. I just I don't I don't know what he put himself in a real bad spot. Or a good spot, however you want to look at it. There's also a shot here you could bank the 15 in the side, but that doesn't really get you anywhere. It might block the eight hole. It leaves the cue ball under the four. This is okay. It's okay. It's not great because the four is going to go off the two if it don't go clean. I looked at that, Tom, if he could take over the pocket where the one's at, but I'm not sure if he could have got the 12 through there. Or if he did it with the nine, he still sold out the five two. Adam, I'll play some like uh two hundred dollar sets of uh that's a good wow. shot. That two hundred dollar sets shot. That's a very was, gutsy shot. Of super billiards expo style race the two out of three. Uh, races the five. So race the five, two out of three sets for two hundred. I think it. I think we tie it up. We're just gonna leave really because I mean that's already late. These guys probably want to leave, and we'll just have some other time. They're absolutely uh, playing. Fucking, this is it. I mean, these stupid races. Play all night long to play it. Play two games for a thousand dollars. $2,000. Good 
Okay. Weird on the five, running into the nine. You can run to the nine, get stuck behind the 14. You can also draw yourself into the side pocket. You can also back cut the shit out of this five ball. I doubt they'll flip oh, a quarter for the flip game. a quarter for a couple of dollars. I mean, I've I've been in that spot and I flipped a quarter to see who paid the table time. You know, because I don't know what it is there, but I mean, imagine they've racked up a little bill. But here we go. So playing into the nine, see if he gets hooked behind the twelve, or if he pulls it in the pulls it into the into the side. It's, it's risky. Play the five and roll back to cut the bottom left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Does the eight pass the 15? I think the answer is no. All, all these nocturnal warriors coming out. Bill McClellan. Just hit it with speed. Nocturnal okay, warriors. Can... Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> late. It's 3 a.m. right now. Oh, goodness. I thought he might have scratched. He's going to scare the shit out of me. Does it go down here in the bottom left? I can't really see. I would think it kind of does. It's weird because you're cutting it into the 15. Travis, I, does that go? Oh, he's going the other way. He's going the other way. I said, does it go past the 15? No. Okay. Well, fuck this tough shot, man. This is a tough shot, and considering the circumstances. Wow. That's a big shot to make. That's a yes, big shot is. to make, kid. Nice oh, job. Get it. He's got one get more off. to go. Get off his jock. <laughs> oh, funny. dude. I mean, most people are going to fucking <laughs> shit their pants in that shot. <laughs> I'm going to jump Absolutely. three feet high in the air. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. You can't, I mean, you got to stay down on that shot. That was tough no matter what it was, but yeah. especially uh, because it puts him on the hill and he's breaking. I was, I was actually I mean, that was thinking a big that he, shot. he almost yanked it in the side there. They could the scratch before that. a huge shot. But, yeah. It was a good shot. I was just giving you a hard time. Clay's like 20. What is Clay? 23. Yeah. He's about what Dumpster that. Jim is. Dumpster Jim's 24. From the back of the head, they Guys, I got to restart face. the Facebook feed, so just come back. Oh, goodness. Hurry up, guys. I mean, I'll do it. It's uh, It'll take me two seconds, but. Everyone, come on back. Here we go. This is a good match, Mike. Yeah, they're all going to flip out. People are gonna be like, uh, "Where'd the match go? What the fuck happened? Do they? There's some weirds happen. Tell me when it's up here on, at least on Facebook. It should be back right now. It's on the Got TV it. Mike page. You found it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the 13's weird. He just drew to a weird spot here. You could play the 14. Make sure you don't hit the 8 or hit it and move it. John Ash is back. we got 10 viewers so far. Welcome yeah, back, I don't think guy. it'll take too long to get at least 30, 30 people. 18, 22, we're growing. Steel City Bill found out how to work at technology. Yeah, so he's got to he's got to get this thirteen out in the open. Um, man, 
his only shot here is the 14 in the side, but he's trying to figure out what to do, what to do with this 13. If he could get above, if he can get above the, he didn't get above the 12. Does the 12 pass in the top left? Uh, pass the six, I would say yes. Okay, so he can shoot a little stop shot here and play the 12 in the top left. Cue ball goes into the four and into the 13. Problem is, if you don't get it out now or in the next shot, yeah, so he's looking at this, punching it just a little bit further down to get you the right angle to go into the four and the 13. This is good. Yeah. This is it. This is, this is the key to this rack. That's why he scratched his head. Dumpster is playing better than Dunbar. Yep, Dunbar he is. should it's play a... Dumpster next. That'd be a hell of a match. Yeah, if, Dun if Dumpster's playing better than Dunbar, then Dumpster's uh, been under the radar a little bit. Okay, here we go. Big shot coming up here. Really focus and execute. Either way, if I lose this set, I've had a lot of good time watching this match. Uh, well, it's passable. It's I mean, passable. It's not a horrible combination. I mean, do no, you want to play the combination? Or do you want to play the nine? I think you got to play it. I don't know if it'll get any better than this. And it's off angle. You just, the 13 is going to go to the left a little, but you have the nine to bail you out. Wild Bill Lepley's watching. What's up, buddy? Okay. Long shot here. So it's an off angle. King Christ. He don't like it. He don't like it. Yeah, Tom Jones is a 700. He's too good. Unfortunately, he's getting ass raped in Fargo. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, obviously he got a, spot a solid me. player and everything else, but, you know, anyone's going to tell him he's not a 700 speed player. I beg you. He's different. got a lot Fargo. to live up. He's got a lot to live up to. Fargo tells me different. Look at this guy. Fuck. Oh. Is he gonna run out on the hill here? Break and run out on the hill. Show show the real. I mean, he's got a little funny angle on that nine. He's gonna draw between the two and the four, maybe. I mean, I, I think know. he's got an angle on that, you know, a little bit hanging on the left side. Oh, they're hanging all right. They're hanging. He's got big ones. They're hanging down on the fucking ground. This kid, he's just running out on the hill. No fear. Snap back. He's going to snatch this ball back and shoot the 13 in the top left. I really can't tell what angles he have. Is he straight or is he going to to our left? No, I, th I mean, I think he's on the left side of the nine. Okay, he's going to spin this. Man, scary time to load that ball up with inside. You know, it's not a bad shot here if he could shoot the nine. If he makes this 13, he shoots the nine on the side, hits the eight, it opens up past the two. It pushes forward and opens the two up. That's if he got underneath of it. You know what I'm saying? So he could shoot the 13, roll straight down. K.O. Mouse. He's watching right now. Well, the, shot, the shot on the eight could be kind of funny, really, because of the way it's laying. I like, I don't know, for some reason, I like shooting the nine and then cutting the 13, kissing off of the five gently, and then you're going to be placed over on the side, near the side pocket. I mean, we're getting our money's worth here, Mike. This has been, this has been pretty eventful. 
I don't like that long ass bridge though. I like the way he's <laughs> taking his time on all this though. He he is uh he is taking his time. This is good. Noodles, Brian Alfredo's out there watching. 40, 40 people on the Facebook stream in a quickness. All right, here we go. Oh, I thought he was going to pull the trigger. I thought we were going to see something. What do you? How much? I mean, this guy is he's he's uh, he's making me nervous. I mean, you can literally talk yourself out of the shot here. I mean, he's thinking about putting a bunch of right on this thirteen. What about just playing into the five? Right, like if you just if you just cut the ball, and you take the gentle nudge to the right of the five. Play into the five. There you go. Just gently. Wow. That was a nice shot. That was a real nice shot. Holy cow. I should get 200 for, for even mentioning it. Well, I thought, you know, I thought Delmar was listening to your commentary all the time, but every time he said he should do this, he fucking did everything opposite. No, I know. It's so bad. <laughs> it's just... Friday's opposite day, you know. All right, this is it. This well, is what get, this got to get back there. You got to get back there a little bit. This is people say, you know, this is what this is the training shot. This is the mighty X right here. This is half of the mighty X drill. You're long, you're straight in, you're for the money, and you have to draw back and control it under pressure. Mighty X, baby. I don't know. I think you got too far. No, I think he's okay. I don't know, man. I think he's okay, Mike. Don't say that. John Hennessy plan. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm betting the other way, but I think he's all right. I don't think so. That's gross. That's that's the mighty X drill, man. I'm telling you, that was it. Straight in, draw back. He's got to kick it. Oh no! What was that rap song? Can we kick it? Yes, we can. Yeah. Oh my God. Dunbar, take a drink of water. Focus. Get rid of this two ball. I'm so nervous, dude. Oh Lord. I tell you, if you're Clay, you're sick right now. You're absolutely disgusted. You got to get rid of the two. I think it's like two, five, six, four. Or, yeah, I mean, I, I'm getting rid of the two. See, I'm different. I like to be in the center a little bit more and shoot the two and pop off. I don't like that going into it. Shit. See, he's already funny. He's already weird. He's straight on the four. You shoot the five, you're going into the eight. It's just I like to shoot the two and and pop off the rail and pop back out. And he wanted to play into the rail and roll forward. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking guy oh Mike I tell you he's just gonna jack up and pop it in shoot the six and go around finish with the five 
You're not jacked up over this five. Stop it. Come on. Shoot the six. I just realized it's three in the morning and I'm cheering at my iPad. Is this what people that watch football does? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. He made this shit hard on himself from the beginning, with ball in hand. I guess you could shoot the one and and just stay below him, and that's okay. Mama Cheetahs can barely watch. I see that. That's a funny icon. What about shooting the five and coming coming back down for the one on the other side where he's at? Mm. Yeah, the opening shot, he, he rolled into a bad area instead of popping back out. He should have popped in the center. Oh yeah, he uh, was uh, he was mad because that that one shot the other night that was like a bad hit that he said you know it hit the rail or whatever, and we all seen it. And then he asked me later on, he's like, "Did you see it?" I said, "Well, yeah." And he's like, "Well, you should have told me." But I mean, that's usually my not my thing to get involved. You know what which, I mean? Which bill? Steel City bill. When he. Mm. I mean that's fifty yard line. It's fifty yard line, but it's okay because you just shoot the five and then you get on the one and if you miss the five, you're down table, so he can't cut the eight in. You have to shoot the five. I, I don't know what he's looking at. There's no other option. Right? If he's below the side pocket, Clay can't cut the eight in. <laughs> Jordan said, can he please phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, well, you mean, just got it, You know, it's not too hard, but it's 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 the the moment, what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, but why you just gotta you just gotta shoot the five, man. I mean Clay's not cutting that ball from where the one ball is. He's not gonna I mean, if he's the one ball. I mean it's tough to shoot a ball straight in with this much pressure. He was just playing a set for six thousand the other day. He missed it. I mean, he had a real long bridge too, though. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut this in. Fuck. I don't know if you can. I think he has to kick it, dude. And I've been talking shit on him kicking balls all night long, so you know he's gonna kick it in. <laughs> I can't watch. I'm gonna close the laptop. <laughs> I just turned. I just, just shut turned the stream the off. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No, Withrow. Uh, I mean, I really have to look at it, but maybe he can he a, back cut it. I don't think he can back cut it. I think he has to kick at it. Soft He's gonna, a little bit. Oh, uh, McClellan said he, that guy called him a piece of shit. Speaking of no rail, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no rail. I think you should have back cut it.
God, just make sure there's chalk on your cue when you shoot this one. Are they playing one by two? <laughs> we haven't even talked about that. Ooh, it took a little weird turn back to the side pocket there. It was rolling in and then it rolled out. Ooh, daddy -o, here we go. One game for all the marbles. And literally, a lot of marbles are oh, at I'm stake. Fucking sick. <laughs> uh, I mean, guys, Zach and, and, and Steel City Bill, I mean, there doesn't need to be names being called. And it is a grown man game, but let's let's keep it PG here. Boxing and your UFC fights, okay? Do you got a Fire Stick, an Android box, an Apple device, another web platform? We can help you. Adam, I'll shoot you a message for sure. Send me a message and check it out today. Okay. Here we go. This is it. They're not playing win by two. It's one game. Win by two. It is win by two. Okay. okay I yeah. can breathe. I can breathe a little bit, man. Jeez. All right, Zach and Steel City, get your guys a get yourselves a room if you're going to argue and fight. We we got a we got a hill hill thriller here. Um, Jordan, we're playing win by two, so it might it might go a little while here. Mike, you just going to stay awake or what? Fuck, man. What the fuck am I thinking? Yeah, Mackie, you want to go to a tournament? I got to get up at 5 to get you. I mean, can you cancel? Yeah, if I just don't show up, it'll be like, uh, where are you? You can't call me. I just duck. <laughs> uh, that's a good tournament. I mean, it's okay. I can sleep in a car or whatever. Who the fuck? Is? Hey, one of my least favorite feelings. I mean, I like to get, I like to get stoned and all that stuff, but I don't. I hate being delirious. Oh my god! All right, let's go. BRB. I don't know. If, I don't know if he has anything to shoot at his solids. The three. I think the only ball he has to shoot at is the. Or is he? Yes. Oh, he stripes. My bad. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you guys want to argue it out, you know, put it put it in a private message or something. Um, you know, it gives the game a little bit of a bad look, you know, with the name calling and all that stuff. Try to, you know, try to run a, a pretty decent broadcast here. We got a real good game, and we just want to leave the uh, the focus on these two fellas. All right, Dunbar with the shots of the solids in the side. He can dink the one, dink the seven.
again, Zach and uh, Bill, if you guys want to make a game or cuss each other out or whatever, just do it in the privacy of your own message. Sorry, man. I'm not trying to be a, you know, a dick or anything. I just want to watch the pool. We could talk about the match, not what happened yesterday. All right, so four on the side, five, seven on the side, or corner, eight. And all right, little pop up forward here. Jake Strom, good morning. Thanks for coming to hang out and watch. Dunbar's made light work of this. I believe the eight, I don't know if it passes in the bottom left. As I'm watching on a Zoom call. Yeah, I can watch the pool and let him argue, sure. But, you know, it's it's whatever. We don't need to be saying stuff like that to each other. Oh, my goodness. That about gave me a heart attack. Ooh, Dunbar. Oh, I don't know where Mike went, but he's he's not going to be happy when he comes back to update this score. The score is going to be 21 Dunbar, 20 Clay Davis. The cheetah is going to get a real good petting if he, if he wins this money. He's going to be purring all night and morning. Oh, what was that? He didn't do that all night. That was the first one of those that he's done all night. So Clay, Clay has a chance here. Clay has a chance, hypothetically. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Hypothetically, Clay could break, or he could run these balls and break and run two, and the cheetah never... Gets out of the cage. I forgot they were playing ball and ball and hand behind the line. Yeah, it was it was probably nerves on the break. I I almost feel like he had a lot of momentum. He, he should have maybe headballed him or if I don't even did he headball break him. If you're Clay, you can't get worked up here. I know it's a lot of nervous energy, but. He can't get worked up. He kind of threw his hand up a little whenever he bumped that 11. So I think I think you got to play the one, the six. Oh, I don't know, man. I think you got to play the one, the two, the six, the seven, five. You gotta get rid of the two. The two's kind of a weird ball. So I would go one, one, two, six, seven, five. But what do I know? I'm just a couch potato. This is okay. I think it's too steep, in my opinion. I think it's too steep, and I don't think he hits the eleven. I don't know, man. I would have I would have tried to get rid of that ball downtown and then worked all those balls in the in the north side of the table here. Okay, he can back cut the seven. Okay. Oh no, he ties up the eight. He's losing soldiers here by the minute. He's got the two, the six, and the five. And the eight's not in a real good spot. You really need to think about this. Can he go into this eight ball with uh with it would be right hand spin? Looks like he's putting left on it. Okay. Just forget what I have to say. Okay, okay, he's good. He's good here. He can back cut the five, run into the 13. And get a shot on the six. And 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 from here you just gotta kinda take what the table gives you. 
and and trust on your skill. Okay. Now, if I wish Mike was here, everyone make sure you watch the hit on the eight. Okay, so if he has enough of the ball, he should be able to shoot uh, just a real chill um, stop shot. But we got to make sure that the eight moves. So make sure he shoots some sort of stop shot or punch forward a little bit to get the angle. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. That's such a heartbreaker. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I feel for the kid. He was so out. That's just uh, – that's heartbreaking. Wow. Uh, shout out to, to Clay Davis. He played his – uh. He played his plums off tonight. He played really good. He shot a really good shot there. Oh, wow. I want to thank you guys for coming out and spending the evening with us. Uh, it's been an eventful night with Justin Dunbar making one heck of a comeback in the first set. Uh, neck and neck pretty much the whole way till the end. Uh, set number two looked like it could have went either way with a two game uh, that, you know, back and forth, just, I'm just stunned right now at the fact that that ball did that. Uh, and I'll tell you that I'll tell you the worst thing in night, you know, and I've been there multiple times. It's not about the shot. It's not about the money. It's the drive home. It's the two hours that you got to drive home or hours to drive home. And that stuff just replays in your mind, and you're just so frustrated. What the you fuck? Just... I didn't even see it. I don't think oh I my can God. see it. Mike, let me tell you, the kid was running out perfect. He was doing everything he was supposed to do. He he got a shot, and he kind of drew into the eight ball to open I'll it up. I'll have to look he, at it. He hit the All eight right, ball. I got to so tear quick. down. Um, yeah. All right. I need to uh, cash up you guys tomorrow. Send me a yeah, message. Yeah, you uh, you Fuck, have Venmo, I a, Mike. I need an hour of sleep. You got um, Venmo, Mike. I do. I hate using it. It's you got you can PayPal use, me, but I'll send you my PayPal. PayPal. Okay, maybe we'll yeah. do that. All right. Good night, man. All right, All right. here's Thanks, a great guys, piece and, uh, to get into for, at an affordable price. In. He's he's sick now. So in yeah. the same family you'll, you'll be sick as you see shot. It was so some good. of the new, newer other pieces yeah. that come out, but this uh, is one of the ones that right, survived from last. Some batch I made, and this actually has the rare and very expensive discount Honduran the, rosewood, LOL. like that other cue with the full uh, blue hybrid casting. But this was made last year. See, 23. I have no idea why inlay pattern to it. Rosewood, bird's eye maple, Carolina leopard, and jasper. This is probably the jasper. Um, it has a wrap. And this ring and these really unique points. All the way around it. So yeah, you can get a deal on this one for fourteen hundred. Charot leopard. Ha! Ah, I said Carolina. Can't read it. I think the purple is the Charot. I suppose you could Google it. All right, guys, hit me up. This is another one from last year. Uh, this was kind of a misfit, actually, because it was like laying around in the shop, and they didn't they didn't finish it for a while, and then eventually I just ended up getting it with another order. I was like, oh, okay. So obviously, it's a stabilized casted burl hybrid. It's got a segment in it. 
Ebony, it's got these pink rings with blue rings. It's from 23. So yeah, it's a great piece of pearl. I mean, it's really, really unique. There you go. This is a more traditional looking cue. Even though it's not exactly traditional because it's got inverted designs uh, throughout and the wood is inverted but it's not a uh, casted or resin style blank um, three or four different kind of woods are in this I don't have any clue why it's still around to be honest with you um, 1700 bucks it's got roasted maple which is keel wood zircote and Hollywood. Um, I've had a lot of people look at this cube but nobody just grabbed it. Somebody almost grabbed it in a raffle but they didn't. So I still have it. Hit me up if you want to pick it up. Here's another one that's extremely nice. It's been around a while. I have no idea why. <clears throat> Let's start with Tiger Stripe Maple, which is dyed, impregnated. Tiger Stripe, you have to see it in the light, but it, it has this wavy type figure. It's, it's wild, so you see it. That's why they call it Tiger Stripe. So then you got Mother of Pearl, and you got the brass insets, you got these rings, and it's throughout the queue in three places. Then you got the points, all around it. This is a 2000, 2100. I'll do a little bit off on this one. I'll do a little bit off on some of the cues that have been around for a while. And this is like, this is a pink. And although pink is many times feminine, in this case, I remember several guys that were like, man, I love that cue. I would rock that cue. Come and get it while it's hot. Doing a lot of promotions here. Here's another one that's using actual keel wood in a really dark cocovolo. So obviously this is Cocobolo, and this is Keelwood, as it's called Roasted Maple. Keelwood is actually just heat-treated maple. Uh, it's what they make Keelwood shafts out of. There's another key that was designed pretty much from this same template using different woods, uh, Keelwood. You know, Booker's got that one. But this one is uh, 1300 You put on up a budget and get something really nice for a more affordable price. All right, here's another nice piece that's been around for a little while. It's 1500 Zircote, Bacotti, Bloody Jasper, which is this red stone, and gold webbing. So you got this whole design thing here on the butt. Textured wrap, another ring, and then you have more Bloody Jasper in the points. 
and there's two different kind of woods in the points and then you have all the way at the top arrow points with bloody jasper in it so yeah you get a good deal on this one too 1500 bucks Here's a nice little cue I got um, a few weeks ago at the Wisconsin State Tournament. I picked it up. For the price, it's a nice little piece. It's got all this buffalo turquoise in it. And then you got to look real close, but in this point, there's a brass dot in the middle of all of them. And obviously, it's not too elaborate, but it's a nice little piece. Some wood figuring. This is great for like a thousand dollar raffle or something like that. It's eight ninety five. Bird's eye maple, buffalo turquoise, eighteen point seven ounces with an ultra pro shaft. Hit me up. All right, guys. Here's another cue. This is from last year's batch. Somebody won it in a raffle, and then they want, didn't want it anymore. It was never played with. So, I mean, my inventory is all clean. This is mint. This is a very rare Honduran rosewood burl. It was the first cue that was, that was sold or, you know, raffled when I got my batch of cues last year uh, for a reason. I mean, look at the wood. And then it is an epoxy hybrid blank with turquoise and gold webbing um it was 1800 i'll do 1700 on it it just doesn't have a sticker although i might send it back and get one but i mean there ain't nothing wrong with it it's mint you know obviously all my stuff's high quality check it out send me a message